Hey guys, welcome to the stream. Just bear with me one moment, I just need to pop a tweet letting people know that this is going on. And then we'll get started. So we're going to be playing the Old World mod. A pretty heavily requested mod. Which essentially focuses on Warhammer 1's map, but like heavily increased detail with pretty much every single race available. But some legendary lords are not available. Just bear with me a moment. See, I can only bloody get the link after I've gone live. So it's just bear with me. Hang on. Okay, cool, that's done. I got too many tabs open, let me just close a couple. Okay, that's better. Okay, where did that other tab go? Looks like I closed it. Okay, it's fine. Let's go back to it. Okay, it should be set up. All right, cool. So we're going to be playing as Quick Head Taker. Bring me to my men. Because I was having a look around at which would be the most interesting. Yeah, there's some legendary lords that aren't in it. So, for example, look at the Dark Elves. We've got a few legendary lords that aren't there. We've got in the name some of extras. Magnus. But the extra ones don't really do anything. So, for example, you go to Bretonia, you can play as Chilfroy, Roland, the Marshal. But these these campaigns don't really have any detail to it, so I don't, I don't do the point. So, we're going to go Skaven as no, Quick Head Taker. Because it's been a while since I've played Skaven. And I think because it's a heavily focused campaign... And it's got a lot of more detail around Carrick 8 Peaks. Let's uh, let's play the Carrick 8 Peaks game. In terms of setting, we're just going to enable Endgame Crisis and just just leave it quite basic because I'm not interested in like dealing with that headache so much. It's not. It makes the campaigns not fun, so just keep it on basic. Because this, I'm going into this completely blind. Uh, All right, and let's jump in and see how we go. Yes, yes. Have you played this before, Legend? I went, I downloaded it today, and I played about five battles. <laughs> I just went in, basically had a look at which factions had relatively interesting start positions. I was tossing up between this one and Carl Franz, and I was like, uh, Carl Franz is a bit... Eh. So I went with Queek. Do live streams still negatively affect your channel like they did when you did them daily? Uh, not currently. Not really. It depends on the live stream. If I play like Starfield, then yeah, it will. But if I play Total War Warhammer, I'm usually okay. Things are much more stable now than they were about a year ago. But that doesn't mean it's time for me to come back full time. I, I this. It's not the right time. Okay, so I, I reckon all of the campaigns pitch you up with an enemy army that's about as strong as yours. And because most of your armies will start off with pretty basic units, some of the initial fights are pretty damn rough. This one's not so bad, though. So we got a 50-50 chance of ambushing here. Doesn't matter if we don't. It would be better if we do. Mountains of Mars. V became a member for 11 months. I'm so sorry that I'm going to miss the stream. I hope that you... Good, we did. Hang on. Um, 
Just give me a sec. Sorry, dude. Yeah, we'll fight that manually. Um, I'm so sorry I'm going to miss the stream. I hope that you have a great stream and that you stream a bit more. Much love. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Well, this will be the last live stream of the year, so there won't be another live stream until January. As for next year, trying to figure things out for next year because I think there need to be some changes to the format and the channel a little bit. Um, there, things are... Is it changing times, and I need to change with those times? Carl, uh, Carl France campaign after DLC. Uh, maybe. I mean, that'll that's like friggin' April, so we'll see. All right. So, 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 so. How should we go about this? I reckon we just block off their exit and just bomb them from here. Because like their units are still significantly stronger than us. Let me get in a little bit closer. Oh, I don't want to get bombed by the enemy artillery. But then again, their range is higher than this. See, if I charge these guys into here, they're gonna get bombed by the iron breakers. I prefer to like thin them out a little bit first. Because, yeah, we can knock out those grudge throwers with uh, the menace below, no problem. Alright, stay back. We'll see what they do. Let's just stay back. We'll hold this position so they don't get away. Maybe we should let them get away. Maybe I should be staying up here. Because if they get away, I can just... I have no idea, actually. <laughs> That's the thing about playing a campaign pretty much for the first time. No idea what to do. Alright, I don't think the grudge throwers will be able to hit us from up here. Then again, the quarrelers will be. They'll probably try to run away. I'm really not sure. You guys hide over here. We'll see if they run up this way. Can you move back a little bit more? You two stay there, and we'll just see how we go. Okay, I want you to bomb those iron breakers. Yeah, let's see what these guys get up to. I am right to Lose your head. I seem pretty intent on just leaving the battlefield, that's fine. Right, lure them away a little bit. Yeah, they're gonna get shot at. Move back. Now, I'm fairly sure that if they leave the battlefield, they're going to get wiped out, but I really don't mind if they don't get wiped out and we have to chase them down again, because we should have enough movement. Main thing here, just try to get some really easy wins in. All right, this one here is isolated. How the hell are they catching up to us? Come on, they're just dwarfs. Just don't want to take any damage, basically. I mean, nice and healthy. It's almost two years since Warhammer 3 came out. Yep, it almost is. If I make an army comprised of five plague claws and five warp light cannons, then defend them with Dawn Vermins and Heroes, would you call that a doom stack? No. No, I wouldn't. Okay, we're back, we're back. Yeah, I know, shitloads of Fs in the chat. Yeah, um... It was just a bit of, um... Turbulence. This stuff happens. Yeah, let's just, just move on. Bit of an Aussie internet moment. Should be used to it by now if you're a frequenter of this channel. Hopefully that's the last one. 
But yeah, this this is not uncommon. Yes, master. Scary. Quick, quick. <laughs> we serve. So yeah, a huge portion of their army has already left the battlefield. Cool. Making the rest of this pretty easy, I think. Somebody mentioned the credit program earlier. Is it dead? Nah, not really. The the way it works, it, well, it's going to work. Is it? It's it's more like it's um, it's uh, getting a bit of a refurbishment. Think of it that way. It's just getting a overhaul. What what it ends up turning out to be afterwards, who knows? But they're not going to get rid of the credit program. There's a lot of speculation as to what's coming with it. It's probably going to be accepting a lot fewer creators and most likely going to be like their favored creators so you know me just kidding um who knows who knows who knows it might actually end up being a really good thing in the future but it, it was definitely in a position where it was not very popular with a lot of people some some people love the credit program and that's full that's cool some people really benefit from the credit program and that's great and some people really don't and that sucks but uh, not everyone benefits from it, which is unfortunate. Cool. I have no idea if there's going to be another battle, so we'll try to run down as much of it as we can. But we took one, uh, two casualties. Almost perfect. But yeah, we really wanted to make sure here that we took minimal damage because we've got other fights that we need to do which is the best warhammer for you one two or three that's it okay exclude warhammer one from the equation completely that one is completely outdated the big problem between warhammer one and two right so there are pros and cons to warhammer one uh, sorry two and three um i feel like the game is better for veterans for warhammer two but in terms of like raw content warhammer three is better it's just that it's not as well implemented. So you could argue Warhammer 2 or 3 is better endlessly and not get anywhere. So it really comes down to this. Warhammer 3 has not really achieved the high notes that it was anticipated to. Legend of Shiny Forehead. Yeah, I see that. Um, let me just adjust my thing here maybe i can maybe i can put on a filter just just uh let me just hang on a sec uh i think we're on a bit too much gain if i drop down the gain a bit maybe that will that didn't do much white balance sharpness saturation maybe drop that no brightness drop that down Contrast, increase it maybe. All right, what do you think? Does that look better? I still got a shiny forehead. It's just the light's bright. I don't know. Could turn off the light. Alright, let's take... Oh, look, if I go with replen... How did this one take damage? Um, if I go with replenishment, or... I think we should go with money. Run things. Tell all quick comes. Any special plan for Christmas? No, I'm just going to spend it with family. Alright, so we start off with 10 units, and there are 10 units in this garrison here. I think it's still a pretty difficult fight. 
where you get two hero units, which you can essentially use to run around. And since we're in full strength... Plus we have artillery, which we could use to bomb the... We could use that to bomb the, um... The towers. Yes, yes. Quick always wins. Plus we'll get menace blows. What, what? We do have Storm Vermin. I think that's a really risky fight. But I'm gonna do it. Kill, slay, Everybody name. likes a risky. Not Root Marcher. Uh, well, I didn't need it to get to the next position, so... Woo! We don't have a spell cast. So what's this map look like? Is it the usual? Yeah, I thought it'd be this one. Very common dwarf map. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna see what I can do with this. Uh, it's Clawtastic did a five pound submission. Hi, Legend. Really enjoy your content. Can you use Hills and Warhammer 3 for gunpowder units like in FOTS? Also, Heal tier list when? You can definitely use Hills. Um, it's not the same as it is in FOTS, though. Not the same. It's really just about line of sight. Um, yeah, it doesn't feel the same like it, it does in FOTS, in my opinion. But yeah, Hills are definitely good. They're good in every single Total War game. Uh, Jay Gothia 92 did a membership for 23 months. Will there be a charity stream at some point? Potentially hot seat to take some of the stress off you. I have been thinking about that a lot. And what I'm going to do is the next next charity live stream, I want it to be a big one. Probably the biggest one we've ever done. Um, and I'm going to do it when we surpass the Total War official channel in subs. So... That is scheduled to happen sometime next year, but we will see. But yeah, basically, another charity live stream will happen. As for when, hard to say right now. Kyle did attend a Hey, Legend, glad to catch you live for once. Your VODs have been keeping me entertained late. Entered lately? Okay, no worries, dude. Thanks for the super chat. Uh, Chaotic, Chaotic Cubism did a five pound super chat. Always great to see you stream. Thanks for the years of entertainment. Thanks for the years of entertainment. No problem, dude. <laughs> I live to entertain you guys. <laughs> oh my god, he's just like Ron Burgundy. Whatever you write, I will read it out. <laughs> I'm here to entertain you guys. So, it will use up a fair few volleys to destroy a single tower now. It's not so easy to just demolish the walls like it was in, say, Warhammer 2. But that's okay. My plan here is to cap the towns, cap the victory point using these two, because they're faster than these dwarfs by a pretty significant margin. And use these troops here as mostly a distraction. Uh, Troll Witches became a member for 40 months. Are you not Otainted? <laughs> okay, thanks dude, thanks super chat. Appreciate you. Membership, actually. Best way to climb over would just be over here. They'll never get there in time to stop me. And then we just go around and like cap all these points. Once we've destroyed a tower, they can't rebuild it. Does this multi AI behavior or strength? Not sure. Don't think so. I've heard people complain about the AI in this mod. Alright. 
let's start getting around over this way. How are they going? They're a little bit tired. That's okay. They're going to get exhausted when they go over anyway. Shouldn't need to worry about that one there. Okay, cool. So that used up half of our ammo. Let's move up a little bit. And just in case this ends up going to shit, we should try to bomb them and thin them out a little bit. These two by themselves should be able to take out a couple of dwarf units without any trouble. But my biggest problem here is the clan rats are not going to be able to fight dwarf units. Clan rats are really bad against early game dwarfs. Not like they're something that you're supposed to rely on a lot. Good, 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 good. So yeah, Plague Claw Catapult's definitely a unit that you can rely on. Awesome amount of damage there with just one volley. Can't be bothered trying to break through this. Better just climb over. And I think what we should do is rest once we get over. Because otherwise... They're going to be exhausted. It's going to make it very hard to outrun these dwarfs. I'm in no rush to get over here. I need to make sure that if I can run, run fast. Got to move fast. Don't you feel the graphic is more cartoony, like, sorry, than Warhammer 2? At Lich War, I mean the theme, more darkness. Mm, that's That kind of stuff is not really something that I really focus on. I think graphically it's pretty much the same as Warhammer 2, personally. So, like, I just... That is not one of my main criticisms of Warhammer 3. And that's cool if it is for you, but that's just not something that I particularly care about. Okay, good numbers of kills so far on the artillery. Yeah, they try to dodge a little bit. I've left these guys up on the wall at the moment. They're trying to recover their fatigue. And it's, it's working, they're getting there. They're getting there. Okay, let's move a little bit more over this way. How are we going? Good, they're not rushing at us, that's good. Good, just winded now. Another thing with, another bonus of doing what we're about to do is it's going to leave all of this particularly undefended. So if I have to launch an all-out attack, it's, it's not going to, they're not going to be able to repel me quite as easily. Alright, time to go. We don't want to be fighting these Dwarf Warriors. And with the changes to sieges, I actually kind of like letting them build up a little bit first. Before I start cap- oh shit, we can't go this way. Let me through, please. <laughs> yeah, we can outrun them. Because, yeah, once we destroy a tower, it's destroyed for good. Now. Which makes doing this... Like, you're not going to be able to win quite as easily by just capping all the points, like you did in uh, pre previously. But you can clear the area of all the towers before the main assault. Which is nice. What's going on? Is there something in the way? Yeah, there is. Okay, we have to break through here. Alright, we can pop down Menace Blows whenever. Best to use them as a distraction, so we'll just we'll see how we go. Because they can't cap points. So once this barricade is destroyed, it cannot be rebuilt now. Alright, going up this way. I did want to cap this point, but I just, I'm just going to go around the long way instead. What happened here? This one here just took damage, I think. Did they just... Like... What happened there? Oh shit, I'll just go around this way. 
Yeah, yeah. Because I want to cap this and demolish all that stuff. Because two heroes have quite a lot of capping power. If anyone comes in close, we'll use the menace below just to hold them back while I get rid of these these points. Look at this, they've left all this completely undefended now. You need to use your army to split the forces. I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. We're just focusing on this first. This is fine. I'm not trying to necessarily cap the town square straight away. Mostly trying to get rid of these towers. Cool. They, even if they recap that point, which they definitely will, it's not going to be worth anything to them. Is Bonebreaker mount good for Skaven heroes? Yes, it's a very good mount. Especially for chieftains, because I don't think it increases their upkeep costs at all. So this is a unit that we could fight very easily. That is not going to do much to us at all. Uh, yeah, let's just, let's just keep going. Next stop, this position here. Yeah, if we fight in here, we'll have more capping power. We'll get rid of that tower and the barricades. Who knows, we might actually still be able to cap the point and walk away with zero casualties. Maybe. Cool. Okay, and this one here. Let's try to hold them back. Ah, uh, it's too late there. Because that's not going to provide any capping power. Maybe if I can, try to draw them away, if anything. Okay, just try to cap this before this gets capped. If for no other reason, just to get rid of all of these towers here. Because once that's been capped, we won't gain victory tickets. I don't think that's going to work. Because it takes longer to cap this point. I don't think that's going to work. Gonna have to try again later. Let's come down over here, maybe cap that. We don't want to be left in prolonged combat. We can quite easily just run right through them because we're nice and small. And dwarfs just don't have enough holding power there. Okay, anything over here that we need to do? Like, there's nothing defending this. We could go in now if we want. Look, this one here is, is uh, stalking. Let's just go up. So minimal damage done to our guys over here. And they're constantly running around is making them exhausted. But yeah, making making this here required in order to capture that one, well, I think that was a really good change. Because if this was prior to the patch, I would have captured the city now. So they disabled me from doing it. I'm going to pop another one of these down to fight that miner. Let's get you up and over. Although that will detect him. Mm, it'll be fine. Alright, I need to get over to here. So let's break through this way. Yeah, it did a bit of damage. The artillery here. I could destroy... No, just leave it. I might have to win this by army losses, and I'm going to need that balance of power. Just don't use it. Get rid of these. kind of annoying what they've done with barricades. They didn't make it so that there's like multiple attack points here. If you've got single entities, they compete for this tiny little attack point right in the middle there. Really bloody silly. Really, really silly. Taking Karakade Peak's a priority? Yeah, because it's close by. We start off really close to it. So yes, it will be a priority. we got one more menace below left.
So yeah, you can see here, they just can't rebuild that tower now. And towers, low level towers are not really much threat to single entities, so you use your single entities to clear out all the towers. If you've got flying units, which the rats don't, but if you've got any, going around and like taking out all the towers as they're being built before the main attack can be really useful. Of course, if they've got any kind of missile units, that's not ideal, because they'll get wrecked. These guys, yeah, they're almost done. I'll bring them down as soon as this tower here is removed. Cool. Start capping that. Sneak on in. The Skaven way. Although, admittedly, not Queek Headtaker's way. Okay. No, 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 don't, don't fight that. Let's just keep going. Alright, this area over here is pretty safe to come and attack now. So, let's do that. Cool, we can just walk in through the gate. Move them up. No barricades, no towers, all gone. Then we use these guys here to draw as many units as possible over here so that the main assault just doesn't really have any stress. Isn't Quake's way just a rush and kill? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Like I said, not necessarily Queek way. But the Skaven way is to sneak. I don't really consider Quake to be very intelligent. That's not his primary trade. He's just a bloodthirsty rat. Essentially a storm vermin. Like a really good storm vermin. Oh, they're still prioritizing the fucking walls. The, the ladders, I mean. That's annoying. Time to kill, kill. Okay, I might actually capture this this time. Lose your head. All right, we should keep them busy here. Quick, unstoppable. All right, you have to you have to bring in your units one at a time because they're like, oh look, it's a ladder. The more difficult way of getting in. Let's use that. Don't go in through the door. It's like, imagine you own a house. Or you just live in a house. Ima imagine if you live in a house, right? And you have a front door, but you also have a way of climbing over your fence in order to get down to the into the back door. And every single day, instead of going through the, the front door, which is open, you climb over the back fence to get around the back. That's the level of intelligence and pathfinding that they've got here. Mmm, iffy, iffy if they're gonna make it. Oh, for f fuck's sake! <laughs> oh my god! Even when you babysit them, they're still like, I want to go over the ladder! Jesus Christ! <laughs> the door is open! The door is fucking open! <laughs> Alright, and it looks like we'll get it, and that'll destroy this. We won't keep it for long, though. Hang on, hang on, back up. Okay, it's been under control. Alright, in order to gain victory tickets now, I have to recapture this one. Stupid! 
for clan for me. Okay, you move up a bit more, up, might be able to bomb them. Clan rats are now ready. For the famine time, strain the cup and Oh, for fuck's sake! It's not hard! There's a door there! It's open! Go through the fucking door! My god. Whatever, just let that one finish it. Just, whatever, just, just get, get up on the fucking... Yeah, man, dipshit. We're killing them, but we're not capping that point. Let's get out of here. I don't want them taking excessive damage if they don't have to. Let's go cap this point. Force them to come down there and recap it. How are we going over here? Alright, we got a unit of dwarf warriors coming down. We'll pincer them in a minute. Devil's Triangle became a member for 41 months. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. It's a long time to become a member. I really appreciate it. Try to let the storm vermin really get in there. Now, yes. Why is this one in guard mode specifically? So this one here is not doing much damage to us, so we're trading pretty well there. Ready, ready. Try to get around over oh, here. Yes. How would that bug be with the mod? The same battle map as always? Yeah, it's got nothing to do with the mod, it's just it's just the game. It's got nothing to do with the mod whatsoever. That is a base game core feature. The uh, the ladder bug. And it's been in the game since Warhammer 3 first came out, and it's so annoying! Weapon team stack or melee rats for head taker? I actually try to build more thematic armies in Warhammer 3. I used to just go full weapons teams in Warhammer 2, but in Warhammer 3, because the game's significantly easier, I usually just try to have a bit more fun with it, with the themes that they have. So, um, I'm actually not sure what I'm going to do with Queek at this stage, but I don't think I'm going to go with a weapons team army for him. Unless I absolutely need to, because shit hits the fan, which I don't think it will, but we'll see. So yeah, if this was prior to the patch, I would have won the battle by now. So they've they've stopped the cheese of it. They have stopped that. How much damage have you done? Yeah, it's not too bad. The more units we dogpile in this one unit, we'll see here there's a leadership penalty called faster, stronger enemies nearby. Of course they're dwarfs, they're still gonna fight near to the death. And there's also this one here giving them extra leadership. But that one there is difficult to hold on to long term. They don't bother trying to reclaim this position, but they definitely try to hold on to that one. Okay. 
When is the Halfling DLC coming? Well, you got half of a DLC with Shadows of Change. Does that count? I don't know. Does that count? Probably not. Is this Warhammer 2 or 3? This is Warhammer 3. It's a mod. The the old world mod. I mean, you can tell it's Warhammer 3 because of this. This stuff isn't in Warhammer 2. Over this way. Don't even say it's firing. Bits of you didn't go Ikit. Well, I go Ikit all the bloody time, so... Mix it up a bit with something different. Ikit star position is essentially the same as it is in base Warhammer 3, so if we're going to play this mod, might as well play someone where they're in a different star position that has been fundamentally changed. Like, Skaven Blight is still just Skaven Blight. Just be the same thing. Might as well just not even play the mod if I'm gonna play Ikka Claw. This one here I think is taking enough damage. Quick is still good. Sleeping back. You can just recover his fatigue. I think we've pretty much destroyed every single one of their towers now. They've got nothing left. So now we're just waiting on army losses. Oh jeez, that took a while on this. But at the same time, the results I think are pretty good. We're bound to get the army losses fairly soon, and these guys got smashed. Really badly. I'm being critical. I know you just like Ikit. Ikit. Yeah, yeah, I, t I didn't think you were being critical. I was just saying, like, I can't just play Ikit Claw every single time I'm playing Skaven. I get it. I get it. Hell Pit is redone to Hell. Yep, I was considering that as well. But I, I have played Clan Molder more recently than I have Ikit Claw. Um, um, um Quick Head Taker. And I think that's the army losses. Nope, it isn't. These guys here are just routing us. Warlock chose me, me. Good. Okay, is that the army losses? Because they shattered. Yeah, there we go. Cool. All right, that is that is pretty good. I think. So yeah, if you put in the time and effort, you can get some really good results out of these sieges. Sixty-nine. Slanesh is happy. When is Vectik making a return? Oh yeah, um, I've got him saved as a character, so I could I could bring him back in. Yo, I forgot about Vectik. Lazy Otter did a five dollar super to Hey Legend. Hope you're having a good day. I just wanted to take the time to say thanks for the great content you have provided over the years. No, it's been my pleasure. Thanks for the super chat. Hopefully, more to come.
Since this mod makes the map more conglomerated, does it make things like the Autotide actually powerhouse? Okay, so I have played literally one turn of this. I can't answer that question. I downloaded the mod today. I'm going into this pretty much blind. The abandoned settlement and colonized cheese doesn't work anymore. Yes, it does. It just can't be your only settlement. Alright, so... How much can we put this up to? Three. I'd rather just leave it at one. For now. What are the mod's main features? It's the map. The mod's main feature. It's basically Warhammer 3, but look at this. Uh... The map is... Hang on, if I go to this... This is the map. It's just the old world. But look how... There's actually more settlements in the just the old world than there is in Immortal Empires. So it's like a really heavily uh, focused map. And it's got most... It's got all the races, but most of the legendary laws. Not all of them. That's the main feature. I think there are some slight tweaks here and there. But... This looks pretty similar, so I... I... Don't know. Arnold Lang... I'm not gonna get this right. Langinus did a 5 euro super chat. Always a, pl a pleasure to watch you play campaigns and been absolutely loving all the Shogun historical total war lately. Keep it up, Legend. Alright, thanks, do appreciate that. Okay. So, we don't need... We don't need this, obviously. We can get rid of that. I tend not to spam the Scaven and Slave Slingers so much with Queek, considering they're pretty much the same price as Clan Rats. And considering the cheats have been toned down, like, Clan Rats are not good, don't get me wrong, but he does boost them, so I'll just get them, whatever. Alright, then over here at Black Iron Mine, we want to pop that up, so that that enables a technology that we can research. I want to get Root Marcher now, that's why I didn't get it before, because it wasn't going to be beneficial. And we also want to recruit a new lord. Specifically a warlock master, I think it'd be good. We could get a Grey Seer. I, I want to get a, a one of Ruin, because that's better against early game dwarfs. Cunning could be useful. Not gonna have very high loyalty. Warlock Masters will be better. Yeah, let's go with a warlock master. Alright, let's go with this. Low loyalty, but he's not going to defect straight away. And that just puts it... It just gives us a spellcaster to work with. Alright, if we have a look at this province here, we've got Naz Kedrin and the lo Lost Archway of Valea. Uh, there's also Karagnar over here, which... I don't know if that's considered... Oh, look, look, look... Oh, wait. You do not control any of the eight peak... Any of the eight peaks... Is that one of the eight peaks? I'm not sure. We're, okay, what about this? Wherever their army, they try to recruit a new army from, that's where we should go. Alright, let's go into diplomacy and see what's going on. You have two chieftain capacity. Ooh, yeah, that's a good idea. Do something about that. Okay, Clan Gritak. Could be confederated later down the track fairly easily. All right, let's let's be friends with them. But legend, they have territory that you want. Yeah, it's fine. I, like I said, confederate them or betray them later. It's fine. But this will increase our income for now. There's plenty of other people we can pick a fight with. Clan Worms. Clan and yep. Alright, let's be friends with them. Because that all increases our income. Alright, we're recruiting here, and yeah, we can get another chieftain. So that's a good idea. We get, we get four. So let me see here. I've got some saved. We've got two disciplined ones. They're rank three, which means that they'll be a lot more expensive than if I just recruit one from fresh. That's fine, let's just do it. Get him. Oh wait, that was Sharp Claws. <laughs> Whatever. Why do I have that one in there? 
next in my line. Be master of all. Okay. And let's move on. Do you think they will ever add Chaos Gods themselves into the game? No. No. They never manifest in the material world. Hey, hey, Tariff, how's it going, dude? Have you tried the Bulgarian mod for Medieval 2? No, I haven't. If FOTS is so popular, why not play that nowadays? Yeah, so I was thinking about it, about a live stream with FOTS. I don't think a live stream of it is going to perform well. Because the disaster battles work pretty well for FOTS. But the, the, the way that I play campaigns in FOTS is kind of slow paced. I just don't think it'll be entertaining for people. I don't think the campaign is as interesting as Warhammer is. The battles in FOTS are really good, especially the late game stuff. Early game stuff is rubbish. So, yeah, like, I was thinking about it, and I'm not completely opposed to doing that. I'm just... Just haven't done it yet, I guess. I wonder if this counts as part of the Eight Peaks. Because the Eight Peaks, if we hit here... Carrick Eight Peaks is right there, apparently. So there's another ten settlements... Uh, sorry, ten units in there, plus a Lord. But we're gonna have... We're gonna have a lot to work with this time. <laughs> So it should be a lot easier. You won't be able TP Gwept Plague Priest as an army unit. They are bugged in IE. Really, that's that's not a good. That's not good. I was just seeing if anything interesting popped up there, but they didn't. And this one here is my spellcaster. Oh no, um, melee defense would be better, because he took a lot of damage in the previous fight. And I think if we just do the same thing that we did last time, but try to do it a bit quicker, we should... Yeah, that order resolve is not acceptable. Kind of want to watch an Attila stream. Attila streams are different, yeah, they're, they're reasonably good, especially if I play as the Western Roman Empire. They're reasonably good. Legendary Republic would be awesome. Mm. Thing is, it takes a while to get to that point. I just, I don't, I just don't think it will retain an audience long enough for, um, for me to get to the point where I would go Republic, or well, you know, to get to Realm Divide. Because I don't, I don't rush to that position. Usually, you want to be fairly well organized before you decide which allegiance you're going to go with. And that's not within, like, the first six hours for me, at least. I usually do that around, like, turn 150. And just, like, really build... If I'm going to go Republic, I really make sure that all of my settlements are built up before I allow that point to happen, because it turns into a... This is a total war campaign. All right. Well... 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 Okay, let's attack from here. We don't need to destroy any of the towers, not really. To stay there and just just chill. These guys are all coming with Queek. These guys stay here. You can go with Queek as well, actually. Oh, I got an idea. You stay over there. You open the gate. Queek's gonna go in that direction. Okay, and then we just do our best sort of bombing this area. I guess. Don't ex yeah, I don't expect much out of this. No, stop, 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 stop. Too close to those towers. Creative assemblies in shambles. They'll be fine. 
They'll be fine. They definitely took a big L this year. But, you know, they... They brought it on themselves. Yeah, they did. There were plenty of warning signs that were driving off a cliff. I warned them. Lots of people warned them. They didn't listen. They drove off a cliff. Oh well, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Yeah, why would they listen to you? Well, they didn't. So I guess it doesn't matter. Can see over here. Not much going on there. Okay, we can speed that up maybe. Alright, this one here, you can start opening the gate. It's good when you got bone breakers on these guys, just run right in real quick. Dwarfs just can't do anything about it. I don't have any good targets to shoot at with the artillery, and if I get any closer, they'll shoot at me. How are we going here? Yep, it's being capped. Cool. Alright, this guy, start moving over this way. This guy oh, is pretty quick. So we'll... Yeah, we'll see how we go. You play Darktide 40k Legend? No, I don't play Darktide. I kind of got all vermin tided out. I hear Dark Tide has gotten a lot better lately, but I just. Just not really up for playing that kind of game right now. It's not my favorite type of genre. Nothing, nothing wrong with it. Just don't really have any desire to play it. You look so shiny today. Hmm, yeah, hello, it's a bright light. Whatever. You think replacing Skaven Slayers with Storm Vermins as Clan Wars is a good idea? Yeah, you shouldn't get Skaven Slaves anyway. Not unless you're desperate. Um, I'm not a big fan of Storm Vermin, but you know, you do whatever you want. Vermin Tide is better than Dark Tide. Yeah, well, I wouldn't know. I haven't played, I haven't played it. This guy's getting a bit tired just getting over here. But the gate's open, so they can come straight in now. This is kind of a bigger map than the other one, so we should be able to get to these position, uh, positions before they really realize what's going on. Maybe I'll create a breach. No, you know what? Let's just let's just smash open the gate here. Oh, that's not good. That didn't do very well. Okay, I think I'll swing this guy around here and warp lightning this unit. Because you want units that aren't moving. Because otherwise they dodge your warp lightning quite easily. Will you ever try Call to Arms on the channel? I don't know what Call to Arms is. So probably not. Have you ever thought about playing Medieval Dynasty with Miss Legend? No, I haven't. I don't think she'll be into that. I liked Medieval Dynasty. I, is that a two-player game now? Didn't realize it was two-player. I enjoyed that for a bit. It was alright. Oh, that was a nice bloody cast. God damn, that was that was real that's better than I expected that one to be. Have you tried BG3 yet? Not yet. I'll be trying it over Christmas. Oh, are you kidding me? The gate is open! <laughs> they they wanted to go through the ladder. Yeah. Okay, it's a little bit easy getting single entities through. Oh my god, they really need to fix that priority. That's bad. That didn't happen in Warhammer 2. You guys are a little bit tired. Oh, well, work through the pain. You'll be fine. Warlock Master! 
So when casting Warp Lightning's on very hard battle difficulty, you kind of want to do it when two units are intersecting each other, that they don't really know what to do in, in that point. You learn their move patterns, you can stop them. Oh, okay. Okay. There's a long distance between here and here. Alright. These two are going to go ahead here, and I'm going to send these to go and cap this point and stay there. There's no good positions to cast on, but he's done well so far. There was a co-op update like a week and a half ago with a new map, up to four players, Medieval Dynasty. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, I don't think I don't think my wife would be into that game, but um, I'm into it. Good, that went alright. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to send this one chieftain over here. So you'll be control group one, you'll be control group two. I don't think we're going to get there in time. Is this game of warp lightning the most powerful in the early campaign in all factions? Uh, it is powerful. I wouldn't. I don't. Wouldn't say it's the most powerful spell in the early game. I don't really do that kind of comparison stuff. I just make do with what I got. Uh, capping this point out here would only take us a moment. Let's do it. So, where'd this guy go? Yeah, he's just sitting there. He's just got to wait for them to, to get over here before he even starts capping that. I don't want him fighting at all. Maybe I'll maybe I'll just go fight this in the meantime. I used him because I don't want him taking any more damage. So it's still damage from the previous fight. Just get around them. Alright, let's use this one here to slow that down. Because I reckon if I use these four summons, I could kill that minor unit. This guy's going to take quite some time to cap this on his own. But they should be able to stay there and just keep that capped constantly. Right, get over here. Try to get closer to the wall here, so hopefully that one doesn't have an angle to shoot at us. Okay, that didn't do as much damage as I had hoped. Good thing I got a lot of them. But he's, he's capping it. He's capping it. It's working. It's working his magic. Don't particularly feel like fighting a Dwarf Lord, although they would beat them pretty easily. Just chill. Yeah, this doesn't instantly win it for us, but it's a start.
Actually, yeah, kill that one, if you wouldn't mind. Get these guys out of there. Ah, uh, shit, I gotta stop the capping of the, um, the, this one here. If we lose that, we'll immediately stop taking victory tickets. Come on, come on, in there, in there. Let's get in. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Oh no, they're gonna cap it! Some bitch, I need to take that back. Fucking anti cheese. Shit, you gotta hold that back a little bit longer. Ah, oh, no, I don't know if it's gonna work. I don't know if we can hold on to it long enough. Because if they put a single unit in there, it's not gonna work. Nah, look, we can't cap this back. We're, we almost got the capping. We almost got it, but I gotta get all my guys together again. This isn't working. Just, it's not like we're losing the battle, it's just this isn't working this time around. We're not going to lose victory tickets. Cowardly bloody rat. See, so yeah, it's a lot harder to cheese these sieges now than it was previously. A lot harder. We would have won the battle by now. Still possible to cheese, you just gotta work a lot harder at it. No, you you go meet up with the other guy. Get out of there. Come on, get out. Alright, there's a capping point over here that I want you to go to. Okay, this guy here is free to climb over now. No one's bothering him. Come and help. Out of this control room. Yeah, I like how they didn't make sieges better, they just made it so that they take longer and um, <laughs> that you can't cheese them anymore. They didn't have to make them better. Like, they're not more fun to play. Still just want to skip them. Alright, I need to get back over there to recap. Look, they didn't cap this back. Let's go, 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 go. Yeah, they didn't bother with it. For some reason, they just don't prioritize recapping that position. Exhausted. That's okay. We cap this. Oh, hang on, hang on. They might still cap it back. Just run through. Yeah, Quick, you can fight. You're much better against the dwarves. Come on, come on. They. What are they doing? No, they're capping it. Back over there. Let's recap it again. Maybe cap this one first. It's got these positions. Oh, yeah. You stay here and defend this. That'll be good. Should have used the rest of the army to distract the stunties. Well, that would that would mean I would take casualties. I'm probably a lot of them. This will be very easy to recover from.
Because you got to think about how quick your recovery is going to be. These guys here are going to replenish really quickly. Because if I bring these clan rats out, if you put them into a fight and they're not going to win, it's really hard to pull them out of a fight, even against dwarves. But single entities can just squeeze right through, no problem. Oh god. Fuck it. <laughs> Come on. Let me cheese. Come on. Just can't cheese anymore. Come on, man. Let me cheese. Probably end up getting the army losses soon. Yep. So yeah, I just I can't seem to get the freaking cap it. Can't get the cap win. We're not fast enough. Once we've got faster units and we can move around the city a lot quicker, we'll be able to cheese it. But while these guys are on foot, it's just too much distance has got to cover. It's okay, won the battle, no casualty, so no big deal. Shogun 2 didn't really have good sieges till higher level castles. Yes, I totally agree with that. The low level forts for Shogun 2 sieges are awful. I do not enjoy them at all. So it's just faster to fight normally. No, if we if we had fought this normally, we probably would have taken a ton of casualties. Because don't forget, order resolve said valiant uh, val no um, pyrrhic victory with some of these units getting wiped out. I think. So we walked out of that really good amount of damage, like barely any. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we'll occupy that. Does that count as Karakapis? Okay, it says you are in control of one of the eight peaks. Right. Still minor, uh, minus control. That's interesting. Interesting. Okay. Wow, 45. That'll be useful for that kind of shit. Okay. Okay. Warlord, we can't take us. All right, what do we want to do with him? Do we want to go pack leader? All right, let's have a look at what his unique skills are. So this one over here gives him mostly just bonuses when fighting against dwarfs and greenskins. It doesn't matter what units we use. Loyalty reduction for new recruits. That's not great, but then it enables... That's all right. That's... I don't think I'll get that. Life is very cheap is good because that provides... Reduced upkeep cost for clan rats faction wide. An extra replenish rate for him. Crimson Guard. That one's very good. That'll allow us to recruit Storm Vermin quickly. And then Violent Rise to Power, which gives us public order all provinces. That, that's the best one. Especially if playing Legendary. But we don't get that until rank 6. What I could do is just hold up. Just hold on to those points so that I can spend them once we do get to rank 6. So, like I said, it didn't really take much damage. So, yeah, I'm not going to spend those points. Warlock, now, I reckon we Sky. could... Let's see. I reckon we could capture that next turn if this guy here is the one that launches the attack from Warlock, here. Master. Yeah, because there's no one there. I think Queek might be able to jump down, though. So, he'll just reinforce... All right, Karakazul, let's get... Yeah, that'll unlock a tech that we need. So let's get... Oh, did we already unlock it over here? Yeah, we did. Okay, so I don't actually need that. All right, which one? So this one here, reduced upkeep cost for Skaven Slaves. I don't have any of those. So that's not a big deal. Ferocious plans. Yep, that would be good. Let's do that one first. 
Alright, and do we want to recruit any trash? That, that will work! Mm, nah. I'll recruit when I get over here, maybe. Yeah. We're not rolling around in cash. So let's get... Let's actually continue to get this anyway. Well, this one provides growth, though. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, cool. Alright, let's check some diplomacy. Landmarks on a settlement denote one of the eight peak settlements. Okay, cool. So that's another eight peak settlement, then. So, that'll be built at tier 3. That's not super good. That's not really very good at all. In fact, I'm not even sure if I'll build that. Because Skaven don't really trade a whole lot. That's kind of shit. That's... What had... This guy's got Clan Moore's headquarters. Yeah, I want that. How do I get this confederation? Come, come. Oh, well, they're about to get wiped out anyway. What's this? Crooked Moon. Alright, looks like we might end up fighting Crooked Moon soon. So, Confederation seems... It might happen. It might happen. Let's see. Yes, yes. Yes, master. Because they lost their army, and now they like us a lot. So, we'll see. If I give them some money... No, 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 I'm not going to do that. Alright, what else? What else? What else? What else? Silver Host. I'm probably going to attack them, so no agreements with them. They are super weak. Clan Vulcan. Probably not going to attack them. Lovely, lovely Warpstone. Caravan of Blue Roses. Uh, I mean, these guys here are probably going to get wrecked by them. I'd say just go with the military access and we'll just leave it at that. Cool, get money that way. Cool, cool, cool. Do we want another Lord? Because that'll increase our upkeep cost slightly, but it'd be good to train these guys up. It'd be good to level up some of the Gracias so that we can increase relations faction-wide with Skaven, but it does take a little while to do that. Also, sneaky dude right here. Also... Oh, that's right, I saved a whole bunch of these dudes. Not really that much use of them right now, but that's actually really good. Ian Roxburgh. Um, where is he? Oh, uh, Vectig, there he is, there he is. Uh, 1,500. Yeah, get Vectig. Legendary Lord Vectig. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm not going to give him an army right now. Alright, cool, let's move on. Threaten? Oh, no, that won't work. No, not with a uh, 40 difference. It's not going to work. I'm not desperate for it this turn. Good chance of it failing. How's the old world map so far? Yeah, so far, so good. Effect equal defect. No, they'll be fine. As long as I don't disband him. Oh, I, I tell you what, you can do this. You can reset all skill points, and that will, um... Yeah, using the reset all skill points, they never defect when you do that, so that's how you can get rid of disloyal uh, characters now. Good, we can reach there. Plan scheme. Great powerful mm. warlord. You are impressed by my tail size, yes, yes. So Lots Crooked Moon's building up, they're over here. If they get stronger, these guys here might confederate. I'm not in a rush for that. Right. Ooh, is that gonna make it? Machines and then sorcery! I, I think we can make it. For 
I say, say, move, move. Chosen. I say, say, move. Can, can. All right, looks like we can auto this. Now, this guy's got this banner, but I can actually put it on Queek Headtaker. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't really do anything in this case here. That's pretty good. All right, we're not rolling around in food right now, and this is nothing special about this, so I'd say just go loot and occupy for now. At, at level one. I think that gets rid of Karakazul. Now, recruiting loads of armies is also increasing our food costs. All right, now these guys down here, they're they're not very strong, and they have one of the settlements that we need to control this province. Get rid of that. Because putting a commandment down here is going to give us extra food per turn, which would be nice. It's kind of weird we don't start off with our own headquarters. Creek didn't level up, so just save onto that skill point. How's the public order? Oh, piss. Oh, no. There's going to be a revolt, which means Queek needs to run back over here and deal with that. It's actually not so bad that there's going to be a revolt, because it'll give us some food. I, It actually could launch a revolt that will cause rat ogres to show up, and I won't be able to win it. Typically, they don't launch the attack straight away, though. So I'm not going to try to prevent this revolt. Okay. Upgrade this, maybe? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, we got to find a way to get some more food coming in fast. Book of Ashura is strategically... It's straight 20 wins of magic now. Yeah, well, maximum wins of magic 20. Yeah, so it's much better than what it used to be. <laughs> wins of magic plus 20% when increasing. Ugh, pfft, terrible. That used to be such a good item, and then it was a shit item, and now it's a good item again. It used to be 25, so it is still not as good as what it was in Warhammer 2, but it is is better than it is it was before, I guess. Um, I'm not got any Skaven slaves. We need to be rushing towards Monstrous Abomination, so let's keep going that way. And everything here looks good, making positive income. Let's have a look in Diplomacy, see what's going on. It's kind of good we're surrounded by other Skaven factions, giving us more options. The boss! Great leader! Yeah, no, I, if we threatened them to confederate, I'm pretty sure they would not accept it. It's all good. Okay, yeah, Quick should be able to get over here next turn and deal with that. It speaks his mind. Mind. That just gives them a little bit more time to set up, though, which isn't really ideal. Now. Now. Oh, well. Level 1 Settlement Revolt armies don't get Rat Ogres. Well, actually, it was Karakazul anyway, so it was Dwarfs. And I don't think I can reach there now. So you're right, they're not going to get Rat Ogres, because we there's the wrong faction. Caravan of Blue Roses seem to be encroaching up this way. I grieve the old knowledgeable trait every day. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that. Okay, actually, I will be able to get over there and stop that. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so this guy... Vectik is now loyal, and this guy here... Says Morphic is loyal again. I don't have anyone named Morphic. This guy's name is Vectik the Unstoppable. Okay. So they can reinforce there. Get their baseline evaluation up before Skarsnik smashes them. Or let Skarsnik smash them and then I'll come and deal with them. 
Early game goblins should be pretty easy to deal with. Cool, quick. How many settlements do these guys have? I just want to know how distracted I should get. These guys here should be pretty easy to deal with. It's just kind of annoying that they've got this. Maybe I'll set up an undercity there, though there's gold there. But then again, that doesn't matter too much for the scaven. I don't care about that much. Alright, let's just get over here. This one's going to need a force march if he wants to show up. Now, it might be in our best interest, actually, to fight this battle manually. So that we don't wipe them out. If I order resolve it, it'll wipe them out. Because if I wipe them out, then... Sorry, if I keep them here, then what, it's going to reduce the public order penalties by 20%. And it's going to allow us to farm this for a little bit more food. They're not going anywhere. So it's just it's just a good way to farm some food right now. Because i got money, I just don't have food. Okay, I like to do a 5 euro super chat. Thanks for this super stream. Appreciate you. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate you too. Have you observed changes in the AI? I think the AI is more aggressive versus AI, so they're bigger countries. Well, that's good. I mean, I've only... This, this is as far as I've played, so... You, you would know better than me, I guess. Yeah, I like it when the the AI actually forms natural power block instead of just end game crisis is the only one that does it. Uh, Calix did a five euro super chat. Thank. Oh, I already read that out. Fuck. Okay. Okay, Quig's coming in from there. We've got four minutes belows. Uh, yeah, just just, whatever, just chill. Just wait for them to show up. What I should do, I think, is use our Menace Belows to just waste the ammo of their miners. So if you guys could just move up a little bit so I can actually get past this stupid restrict camera. Yeah, come on, shoot me. I do find that the AI doesn't really want to use their um, their shots that much against your summons. They, they will do it, but they don't use it that much. It's a little bit annoying. Let's move up a bit. Um, Exen Famous did a five year, uh, five dollar super chat. Hi Legend, playing Manfred campaign right now. What do you, sorry, who do you reckon I should target first considering his rather tough surroundings? Thanks. Are you playing Immortal Empires? I'm going to assume you were playing Immortal Empires. My, I usually go for um, Volkmar the Grim first. Because he's pretty easy to deal with. There we go, now they're using it. Good, this one here used it all up. And they actually damage their own units as well. Yeah, I usually take out Volkmar first. Empire forces are pretty easy to deal with because they're of their bad AI. After I've taken out Volkmar, I usually go after Cetra. When would be stream for Pharaoh Anne? Okay, I'll make a promise with you guys. If Pharaoh ever gets 15,000... Okay, no, no. Let's just put it this way. If Pharaoh ever, for one second, exceeds the concurrent play account for Total War Warhammer 3, I will buy Total War Pharaoh and do a live stream of it. If it ever does that. Within the next, say, four years. Unless there is a like a, a free weekend, in which case that doesn't count. <laughs> That's cheating. Or maybe I'll do it then. But yeah, unless that happens, I'm not playing Pharaoh. Okay, now I just want to point out that I think it's it's good that Creative Assembly reduced the price. And I think that the price point that it's now currently at is way more reasonable than what it was before. But I am fundamentally not interested in that game. I saw it on Instant Gaming for $20 and I didn't buy it. I'm just not interested in it.
That game is a waste of time. It does nothing to further Total War. It's a complete cash grab. I'm just not interested in supporting something like that. That's it. That's what I wanted them to do. Totally cool. If you like it and you're enjoying it, that is awesome. You know, I hope you're getting your money's worth out of Pharaoh. But for me, I just not interested. Now, it's really important that we kill that lord, because that's where all the food comes from. Killing shitloads of of units doesn't actually provide much food. Killing lords is what provides it. Tomahawk24 did a $10 super chat. Hey, Legend, been loving the content lately, lately, especially the older games. Will you make a tier list of factions to play in Total War Attila like you have for Medieval 2? If not, can you list some fun campaigns? Okay, sure. Um, no, I will not be doing that for Total War Attila. Okay, let me just think of some fun campaigns for Total War Attila. Um, there's, uh, and then there's also, yeah, I can't think of any. <laughs> I like the battles in Total War Attila, but I don't like any of the campaigns. Okay, here, here are some things that you can find fun in, uh, to do in Total War Attila. You can play Western Roman Empire. I guess that's fun if you're interested in pain. It's kind of fun. Um, if you're experienced with... Total War Attila, then the Western Roman Empire isn't that difficult. The Eastern Roman Empire can be really fun because there's kind of a cheese that you can do very early on, where you just abandon loads of your territory to make a shitload of money, about a hundred grand, and then you just don't do, don't spend any of it. Just basically stay in Egypt and just save up that money because what ends up happening is compound interest ends up becoming very powerful. Essentially, after about 12 turns, every 12 turns, your money will double. And so, from 100,000, after 12 turns, you go to 200,000, and then to 400,000, and then to 800,000. And then eventually what ends up happening is you, you end up making over a million gold every single turn just by doing nothing, uh, just by being a banker, essentially. So you just got to hold out in Egypt for as long as you can, because um, that's that's like the best place to go. I wouldn't stay in Constantinople. I mean, people would say, Constantinople, best settlement in the game. Whatever. It's it's where the fucking Huns and all the, the Visigoths come down. Egypt is pretty calm. The other option I would say is play as the White Huns. That's pretty fun. So those are my recommendations. Uh, I think the Slav campaigns are okay. Like the Venetians, they're, they're alright. Because I like using poison arrows to obliterate entire armies. It's pretty good. battle's gonna last that long back. Okay, make sure he dies and kill everything except for maybe that one unit there. So that we've got essentially less to deal with next turn. Especially the blasting charges ones, they're a little bit on the dangerous side. Quick's much faster than the others because they put on a um, banner on him. Hey Legend, been a while since I played Warhammer 2. Would you recommend Warhammer 3? Do you think it's worth the asking money or should I wait for a deep sale? Okay, um, very difficult question to answer. So. Everybody's going to have a different answer to that one, so I'll, I'll just give you some thoughts on that. It's just not a simple, dry, uh, yes or no answer. Warhammer 3 is pretty good. It's pretty good. It's not as good as it should have been. It's taken a long time to get to this point, but it, it is it is pretty good. It's a good game, right? Is it better than Warhammer 2? Uh, yeah, I guess. Maybe? 
there are some things that I like about Warhammer 3 and there's things that I don't like about Warhammer 3, but, you know, it's got more content and it, it is getting updated and I think it's going to get updated fairly well over the, over the next year, but this is me giving Creative Assembly the benefit of doubt, of which I've been wrong many times about this before. Anyway, so when it comes to Warhammer 3, should you buy it full price? No, absolutely not. There's no reason to buy it full price. There will be sales over Christmas. There will be sales for it where you can probably get it 40% off soon. Um, nothing is nothing significant is happening with Total War Warhammer 3 for the next few months. So, unless you're really desperate to play this, I would say wait. Um, but if you can get this for 40% off, I think you'll get a good deal. Another thing that you could do is check Instant Gaming out. Now, I'm not sponsored by Instant Gaming anymore, but they've usually got really good prices. Sometimes they're out of stock, but let me just check real quick. For you while this is loading i can just find out if they've got any warhammer 3 in stock okay so total warhammer 3 i can get that for 23 dollars and 79 cents on instant gaming and it's in stock now this is for okay you gotta you gotta check what region it's for I've probably set mine to Australia, so check your region. Make really make sure that you put the correct region down, because yeah, that is that is a pretty good price, I think. Um, and then there's you know other DLC there if if you really want it. It shows you the Steam reviews. Instant Gaming is great. I, I really love this website. No, and I'm not sponsored by them. I still love, still love them. Um, another one that you can use as well is Games Planet. They're a really good website, uh, but the deal's probably not quite as good. I'll just have a quick look at Games Planet for you. So if I check Warhammer 3, they're, I'm pretty sure they're always in stock. So Total War Warhammer 3 on Games Planet is... Okay, let me show you this one. So this one is $53.99, and this is based on US prices, availability in stock. So, I mean, it's up to you where you want to purchase the game, but I would, I basically would not purchase a game at full price if it's been out for more than a year. Chris Rath Rathwell did a $20 super chat. Merry Christmas, legend. Merry Christmas to you too. Thank you for the super chat. The Steam code won't work in wrong region. Yeah, okay, so if you purchase the wrong region, make sure you go through Instant Gaming's refund policy. I've never heard of them uh, reject a refund, you know, based on, you know, reasonable, reasonable claims. So if you do make a mistake, they're pretty good with it. They now sell Warhammer 1, 2, 3 as a deal. Yep, that'd be great, but it sounds like he's already got Warhammer 2. So this is not talking to somebody who has... Um, not purchased any Warhammer, but has Warhammer 1 and 2, and they're just looking to purchase 3. Steam sales tomorrow? Yeah, so there's always going to be great deals. Just keep your eye out, and you can you can find good stuff. I got scammed on GTA, and they told me to call the authorities. Yeah, G2A is pretty bad. G2A is pretty bad with that stuff. I'm going to go with the food. They fetch many warp tokens. I'm sure you've been asked this many times. Have you played Warhammer Rogue Trader? It looks good, but I haven't played it yet. What was the site you showed before Games Planet? Instant Gaming. So, okay. So, this one here, Instant Gaming, that's for $23. But that's, I think that's American dollars. So, again, check your region. And then for Games Planet, this one here is also in American dollars. Um, again, check check the regions that you're purchasing the these keys in. But these are two websites that I'm, that I have been affiliated with and that I recommend that I have purchased from, and I've, I've got good experiences with these two. So these are the ones that I personally recommend. And if you have any issues with either company, let me know. You can send me an email. Uh, actually, email is a pretty bad place to send. I, like, I get inundated with emails. Um, message, if you ever have a problem with either Games Planet or um, Instant Gaming, message me on Discord. That would be much better. And then, um, you know, I can get in, in, in touch with my contacts for you, if, if that's what you want. Alright, so, Ikit, uh, not Ikit, 
he got his um thing okay so we want to go with violent rise to power i think because on legendary difficulty public orders is always an issue and also ambush success chance that sounds pretty good so we got a decent amount of food from that cool 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 Victory. tomorrow will probably be 50 percent off steam that's cool like i said Purchase wherever you want. I don't care. I don't get a commission out of it. Don't fucking care. Just purchase whatever you want. I would say just don't purchase at full price. Really, unless you're unless you're buying a game brand like it just came out, you shouldn't really ever be paying full price for it. There's always good deals around if you're willing to look. Yes, yes. Alright. We could abandon Karakazul eventually and um Re rebuild it at tier 5 but food is not coming around that quickly so maybe don't bother with it too much let's just since we've got plenty of money let's just grow it maybe we should do the minor settlements first yeah let's do the minor settlements first because, yeah, I might just abandon this one and push it straight to t uh, tier 5. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. We'll see. Uh, that can be removed now. Oh, just, just leave it. Just leave it. Looks like that might revolt as well. Who cares? Alright. We need to finish off this revolt. And then head down over here and smash them. Okay, cool. Let's check some diplomacy and then move on. Yes. Alright, these guys want a defensive alliance. It's gonna no piss fast, off no Caravan of Blue Roses, yes, but I don't care. Because I like money. Ooh, military alliance. No. Great leader. Time. Darkness comes. These guys really want a non-aggression pact, but I don't want to give it to them. I want to smash them, but I need to get down there. Uh, also, we could throw a few extra clan rats in Queek's army. Yeah, because they're, they're cheap. And I don't really have access to better units right now. Alright, cool. Let's move on. Hey Legion, I recently started playing Vermintide 2 and it's been incredibly fun to play. Will you ever consider streaming a game like that? I have streamed Vermintide in the past, but I'm probably not going to stream it again. I'm just sort of done with it. I've played a lot of Vermintide. You need at least one to do food push. Do you mean Undercities? Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what we can do about that. It would be good to get an Undercity for sure. Can you abandon settlements and push them to tier 5 with food? It didn't work last time I tried with Skaven Blight. Yeah, it's probably because it was your only settlement. You can't do that if you don't own any regions. You have to you have to own another region before you can do that. Why no Slingers? I don't find Slingers to be as good as they were in Warhammer 2. Their upkeep cost has been increased, and also the upkeep cost and effectiveness of clan rats has been increased, so the quality just isn't quite there. Compared to what it used to be. Warlock, master of Scryer! Alright, let's see here. I am a rune lord, not some smith. Wings. Looks like Chaos Dwarfs uh, just attacked them. Well, which one, actually? Stand me the Legion of Asgore. Proof. Okay, that would actually be a good defeat trait to get to increase our income. Not essential, though. Over here, they should feel they should be feeling threatened, but we haven't got the relations up high enough. They are probably going to. Oh, they've got 17 units there. Clan Wars headquarters. I should start off with that. Clan Angren starts near here as well. Yeah, it's going to be a big brawl for uh, Karak 8 Peaks. 
Because this this whole area here is the eight peaks. There's like eight of the settlements. All right, we should ambush this army here. If these two could just reinforce, that'd be great. Warlock of Skaven Blight. All right, chance of ambushing is eighty percent. That sounds pretty good to me. Attack! Attack! Good. Alright, an order resolve would be good. Should we fight two battles for so that we get more food? I wouldn't bother with it. Just, or should we fight another battle to keep these guys alive a little bit longer? Because we're losing six food a turn. No, no, no. Just, just be done with it. I do go and a five dollar super chat. Hang on, dude. Yeah, photo super chat. Any particular character you prefer to play if Mr. Cavill asks you to join the 40k show? Uh, I don't know any characters in 40k. Uh, I'm not familiar with that universe, so I wouldn't know what to pick. I probably would be the wrong choice for it, so it's not something that I thought about, but thanks for the super chat. Okay, so public order here is good. We need to hurry down here and capture this now. Distance to cover. Let the bell scream, scream. Now, I think we got some breeders, so that would be good to attach them. Just to get a little bit of extra growth in these provinces for now. Another thing that could be good is putting some extra spread control on these guys. So that we don't get another revolt here. Because while farming revolts can be useful, I don't want to do that anymore. I didn't really want that revolt in the first place. It just happened and I wasn't being careful enough. Machines and sorcery. Let's go with Warp Lightning with that guy. And Vectique. Basically just following so that he gets trained up. Yeah, you need this. Cool. Okay. What, what? Yeah, so I reckon we go and capture this one here and then set up an Undercity there. Are sack settlements viable for food? If it's the last settlement of a faction, then yes it is, because you want to make sure a lord shows up there every turn. Um, because lords are what provide the most amount of food. Now, if it's a legendary lord that you're um, doing it to, that's even better, because I think the amount of value that the legendary or the, the character has provides a certain amount of food. So, for example, if you kill just a random dwarf, it might be worth 10 food. But if you kill, say, Miao Ying, she provides 20 food just on her own. So farming, or even better still, like Vlad. Vlad would be worth 20 food every single time, and he comes back every single turn. So that would be a really good way to farm. Problem is, though, you'd have to kill Vlad every turn, so you need to make sure you've got an auto-resolvable army. So that, that is something you could do. But for the most part, every other settlement, mm, I wouldn't bother with it too much. All right, let's see what else is going on. All right, all good. Nothing else interesting here. They're going to lose that. Uh, there's going to be a revolt here eventually. I wonder if I should turn off the taxes. Because it says four turns, and this will mean five turns. But it also means that I get 160 gold per turn. Which is not that big of a deal. It's good that's generating some food. I imagine the Skaven corruption here has hit... Yeah, we're not getting food from here anymore. And it's losing us control. Uh, definitely don't turn off the taxes there. Yeah, I want to buy a little bit more time before a revolt. Uh, you know, if a revolt comes over here and recaptures the settlement, who cares? Let's take it back. Alright, let's move on. Warhammer 40k Dark Tower is actually pretty good now, if you were interested in trying the 40k universe out. Uh, it's not on my to-do list, to be honest. Have you ever tried tabletop wargaming? No, I haven't. Not on my to-do list. I mean, it, it seems lots of fun, but so is so many other things, and I just don't have time. Do you think the cancellation of the creator program is a bad sign for coming DLCs because there won't be early access streams of the new content, so no real previews anymore? Uh, okay, you've got a really distorted view of what's going to happen. No, that's not what's going to happen. So, the, cr the current creator program has been canned, but it's going to come back in a different form. 
So there is going to be a creator program. It's just that there are going to be fewer creators in there and they're going to get early access. It's just going to be more... Um, uh, it, it's going to be... Yeah, it's just going to be smaller. So I imagine that a lot of the smaller YouTubers probably aren't going to get early access. I also imagine that a lot of the more critical YouTubers probably won't be getting early access either. Then again, I'm not sure. I'm not the one in charge of who is or isn't getting accepted into these programs, but I would be very surprised. Very, very surprised if they tried to get me back into it. I'd be very surprised. Um, so I don't really... I'm, it's not something that I'm really thinking about. Did I buy Ark Survival Ascended? No, because it... Arc Survival Evolved barely works on my, on my, um, <laughs> on my computer. I don't know why I would get ascended. No. Like, I, I like Ark, don't get me wrong, but no. It sort of ran its course on my, um, for me. Alright. That's going to be iffy as to whether or not I can make it there next turn. I might have to trespass. If you ever look at their army, yeah, they're not going to do anything to us. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, they know. Okay, shit. Okay, shit. Alright, I have to get there before him, or else we're going to be doo doo. Okay, can upgrade Karakazul, but. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, it's getting close. Did you getting close. Of course, it'll cause me massive public order problems, but that's okay. Maybe new... Sorry, maybe new person in charge is your fan? I uh, doubt it. Uh, uh, the, as far as I'm aware, the leadership isn't changing. It's still the same people. So, yeah, that's actually not... That's not what's going to happen. Uh, it's not... I'm not worried about it. Look, I, I'll what? tell you what... I've had a lot of time to think about what my role is in the community going forward. And I don't think my role in the foreseeable future, you know, the next, next few years, is going to be being a marketing mouthpiece for Creative Assembly. I'm not going to do that. So my role is going to be, hopefully, dormant. That is the ideal thing. Is that I, I just make videos and I don't really comment too much on Creative Assembly. But if Creative Assembly steps out of line, I am going to be the boot that kicks them up their fucking ass and puts them back into place. So that is what I intend to do going forward. Hopefully, I don't have to do anything most of the time. That Creative Assembly just makes good content at a reasonable price. And if that's the case, cool, I don't need to comment on it. But if they ever try to pull a bloody another Shadows of Change or another, just, you know, keep... If they do more bullshit in the future, then I go active. So... That's my role going forward. Hopefully I'm inactive most of the time. See, it will be good for a few years until they have the community on site again, and then we get a cycle of greed and you. That's pretty much what I think. I think the next few years, I think that Creative Assembly has basically been humbled pretty significantly now. Um, you're getting sandwiched by Legendary Lords? It's only turn five. This was, this is like inevitable. It's, it's fine. Um, I'm playing Skaven as if I can't deal with a few enemies. So, anyway. I think we're going to get a couple of good years with, with Creative Assembly. Yep, two, three, four years before the greed starts to really kick in again and they try to pull another Thrones of Britannia slash Pharaoh and try to sell you some absolute trash at premium prices again. But I think that they'll be pretty much on their best behavior for the foreseeable future, which is awesome. That just means that I don't need to get on their case. 
but at the same time, I am not going to jump into bed with them unless they make some serious changes, which I doubt they're going to make. And I'm just not going to worry about it. Alright, well this is good. He's obviously trying to avoid the Chaos Dwarfs. And we're stronger than him. But this one here, Drazoath the Ashen, I don't want him to declare war on me. I'm going to for rights, yeah, soon. With me. What's your message? Yeah, he might declare war on me and attack Karaknar. I don't care about that settlement though. Let's take it back. Uh, Helmand Gorst is. Yeah, he might declare war on me. We'll see. He's going to be a bit busy fighting Clan Vulcan for a little bit. This guy here, close to confederating. Hmm. Do you need CA permission to stream their content? No. Absolutely not. If Creative Assembly wants to, they can definitely attempt to get you silenced, but I think it would backfire on them, so I, I don't think it's something that they really try to do. I hope I'm still gonna have enough movement left. That move blocked me from being able to get down here. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, I thought. Oh, I see what happened here. Yeah. Okay. So it looks like Drazdawath the Ashen will get to the lost archway of Valea. The vermin tide is up. Hmm. Me have an idea. Okay, I got an idea. I think Drazoath is going to launch the attack down here. So we come in by force march and reinforce him. <laughs> Great Skaven ally. Now, I'm not going to allow him to lose the battle. But what I'm going to do is fucking wreck his own army with magic while he's fighting them. And then next turn, stab him in the back. Assuming he doesn't throw shitloads of force down here. The greatest allies! We are the greatest allies. I don't think I can get all of these armies down here. Oh yeah, no, I can. Yeah, yeah, okay, so they're in position now. They can they can capture the settlement. Oh, be coming in, big ally. Good friend. <laughs> Alright. At uh, this settlement here, let's go with this. I'm not gonna upgrade Karakazul. And also their victory will mean food for us as well. Alright, so this one only costs one turn, so that's that's fine, let's just get that underway. Okay, and we have one of these that we can do. We can do the 13th scheme. Nah, don't worry about that. I got Okay, nobody wants to do diplomacy with me. That's oh, oh the silver host does. That doesn't matter, they're finished. Alright, Drazoweth, come get your prize. Wouldn't it be funny if he declares war on me, pieces out with them, and comes and attacks me? <laughs> Plan backfire! I don't think that'll happen. Hey, good number of viewers turn out today. Appreciate you guys showing up. Public order building for food techs. Um, 
I don't think you get food at tier two. Alright, it looks as though he didn't actually launch the attack. Unless his turn... He hasn't had his turn yet. Is that possible? That's not what I wanted to have happen. It's fine. Okay, so that's not what I expected. But this isn't bad because that just means more food for me. So we could order resolve it, but I think we should fight it manually. Obviously, I can't back off because I am in uh, Force March. Vectique's got plenty of magic. And most of this stuff here, like entirely, it's just trash. Can you play any Legendary Lord on this mod? No, there are some Legendary Lords that you can't play. He had his turn, but he entered in Camp Stance instead. Okay, that's fine. Well, that just means I'm going to get the settlement then. Order Resolve, half their army revives. Yeah, that could happen. They'll revive half of their army, and then they'll just attack again. So we need to make sure we beat them well. Alright, Vectique once again by himself, doing the impossible. Okay, uh, th this is not the best place to be coming in from, but it's not the worst either, so I'll accept it. Protect me. Oh shit, Vectique, watch out for that. These ones here will protect you. Got a bit of a low ground here, which isn't ideal, but if I can manage to claim this position right here quickly, should be good. Hurry up, you. Got these, but if I just chuck it in there, it's not going to do anything. What is wrong with this AI? So yeah, the worst thing that can happen to us here is that our leadership could fail, but it, it seems not too bad at the moment. Queek, you stay there. You guys stay here. Does Storm Vermin have encouraged? No, no, that's um somebody else. How did you get around there? All right, we can get over here. Quick, quick, go! Ready to hunt him. Master Gil! Quick, scamper forward! Freak, freak! Rakate, rakata! Run, chase! Come on. Good leadership, but we're pretty badly outnumbered. But I reckon these spells here is what's going to do it for us. We're a good amount of magic. Okay, 
Your desire? Move, players! The way for them to win in this battle is to rout us. It's the only way. They can't beat us in a head-on fight. But if they rout us, then they can win. Draw them into this blob. Yeah, no winds of death here, right? Wouldn't that be funny if they had it? Holy shit. Over here, are fine. Lose your head. On, onwards. Leadership's holding all right. Should we run? Ready? We must eat warp stone. Clan creature. So, Vectic has already done 34,000 in damage, that's good. A bit weak on this flank over here, I need to bring Vectic around that way I think. This one here is suffering too much damage, we don't want any of these leadership units routing. That would look bad for us. Alright, move these guys back a little bit. I'm fighting well enough. Fucking coward! This is looking pretty good. We're not taking much damage, and they are really suffering major casualties. This is looking good. Eight hundred kills with this one. Okay, maybe let's bomb in there. Uh, actually, no, no, no. Just, just chill, just chill. I'm, I'm gonna get friendly fire otherwise. Everything's looking pretty good. We're not taking serious damage. Let's not risk killing our opponent troops. Maybe if I shoot way back here, that way if we miss, it's fine. Okay, that's good. As long as we're not hitting our own units. Because yeah, if we hit our own units, they'll they'll bloody run. They have to hold this line. We got a whole bunch of units that aren't particularly good at line holding. Good, that's one lord down. Was it the main one though? It was not. No, that's the main one. Ready, ready. 
Does losing your own troops also give food or only enemies? I'm actually not sure about that. Alright, cool, we just won. Army losses were inflicted. Cool. Way better than what Auto Resolve said. And now watch as every single one of their units gets back to full strength. <laughs> it shouldn't. It shouldn't. Because that usually only happens when they've un um, unlocked all their techs. But that should have been should have been worth twenty food, I think. So that'll be good. Menace below is behind enemy line. Yeah, I just wanted to speed up the damage inflicting on them. Wish the balance of power was on legendary. Understand removing the map, but BOP is just useful info. Yeah, but that, what they want to do with Legendary is make it really not fun, so that let fewer people play it. <laughs> they, they don't want people playing Legendary difficulty. The next iteration of Legendary difficulty on the next Total War game will have the mouse disabled for the player, so you can only use your keyboard. That's a lot of that's a lot of shit dead. Cool. Alright, I would like money, I think. <laughs> Run away! Ikit or Quake, most fun campaign. Definitely Ikit. Not Quake's not even close. A rival warlord makes false claims about yeah, his greatness yeah, yeah. Right in comparison to your own, mighty lord. So... Perhaps a conquest is in order. The better to remind your There king. will be a revolt happening over here. We've got 16 units in the garrison. Yeah, it's probably still not going to win the fight. That's fine, but we'll have 120 food soon-ish, so I can get it to tier 5, maybe? That's not bad. Yeah, melee attack for clan rats, that sounds pretty good. Let's go with that. That is also really good. I'm just worried that he will decide to attack us, that's all. I am just worried that will happen. If we have a look... I mean, that army on its own is not that big of a deal. He may have other things that are more of a threat. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely think we should capture this. There's nothing in there either. There's no battle to be heard. Master of Scryer. Yep, just do it. All right. Yeah, could push it up to tier three, but I don't really bother with the minor settlements at this stage. Doing that. That's good. All right, now these two here. What I want to do is them is going to ambush dance behind the settlement. So that if he does attack, he doesn't attack these guys here specifically. Scurry forward. For plan scheme. Let the bell scream, scream. Yeah, we've got to get him over to plague. Cool. Quick gained some good experience. Alright, what do we need here? Life is cheap for replenishment. Reduce upkeep cost on clan rats. Yeah, that's that's all good there. Let's do that. Yes, no, yes. Okay, so then we want 
How bad is the public order? It's pretty bad. Looks like we need to get back to Karakazul. Oh, hang on, hang on. If we stay in this region, we should be able to maintain public order. Ugh, that's annoying. So that'll help us maintain public order. But I really need to start getting some offsets on this food. Alright, and then let's... Let's wait and get this one up to tier 3, because next turn we'll have enough growth for that. So, over here, should we build iron? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, we can sell the iron and make some money out of it. Let's do that. Is up. We're at the edge of the map. Yeah, yeah, we're at the edge here. Cease. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. This is my land. All right. Uh, we've also got another one of these that we could do. Scheme of Doom. A Warlock Engineer. That could be useful. And our Faction Leader. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. And let's go set up a... Under Empire somewhere. Yes, Plus, we can yes. use this guy to scout ahead and see what's going on. Okay, if that's the only the army that they've got, that's not so bad. Plus, they don't have that much winds of magic. Drazuath is a very powerful wizard. So, they do have access to Dreadquake Battery, but that might be because of this region. Challenge me, me. Yeah. Okay, spread control, because I don't want constant revolts here. This guy's actually got two levels up. So extra four public order here will definitely help. Yeah, that will definitely help. Because, yeah, we need to get back over here to deal with the revolt. It'd be great if Drazo at the Asher just goes somewhere else. And we maybe go deal with this over here. Or that, but... And then we've got a revolt happening over here. Let's exempt this from taxation that buys us an extra turn. Okay, moving on. Expansionist planning commandment for growth, right, maybe? No. No, I need more food. Did you familiarize yourself with this map, or are you exploring as you go? I have not familiarized myself with it at all. I'm going in completely blind. Gorefang is like Toddbringer, but to orcs? Yes, that's a good way of putting it. Yeah, so these guys here are getting absolutely smashed by... Skarsnik. Skarsnik's an amazing defeat trait for Skaven. Really, really good. So... I would like to get that. And he's gonna do that, okay. Is Total War Warhammer 3 as good as Total Warhammer 2? Hard to say. More people play Warhammer 3 than 2. It's, it's just hard to say. It's not an instant yes or no. Kind of want to fight Gorfang. How far did he travel to get here? I'm listening. Not that far. And he's stronger than us. Alright, these guys here. I don't know what he's thinking. Arnu! Your aim ain't my objects! Keep wow, having a look at you know. Okay, there's that other army. Okay. Public order here is still deteriorating, so there will be another revolt at some point. I'm wondering if maybe I should just not worry about this settlement too much. And just let whatever's gonna happen happen. It's just not that big of a deal if we end up losing it. Whereas there's other things happening over here that require my attention. Plus, there's going to be another revolt here, and there is going to be another revolt here. I should attack this. I can't prevent it now. And we're still hemorrhaging food. 
Because this province here just doesn't make... It loses two food per turn. What else is costing us food? Settlement upkeep. Army upkeep. It's because we don't own our friggin... Our clan wars headquarters. It's missing out on three base food. And I think you gotta get it to tier four, is that right? To get the food? Yeah, tier four gets the food. Another option is to just fight this... Fighting this dude here will give us food. Oh, hang on, 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 hang on. I'll just send Vectig by himself and we'll use... We'll use Gorfang Rotgut's army to do it. That way these other guys can get moving. Or maybe I could use this guy and I'll just disband him. Because, yeah, I need to keep... Okay, let's do that. Alright, you by yourself, go over here. Because, yeah, Gorfang will back him up. Cool, we ambushed. And we should auto it. Oh, we didn't get any food. Oh, unless I go with this. Yeah, go with that. Serve me, me! Did you say say warpstone? Maybe we can. Yes, yes. Alright, Gorfang Rockguard actually kind of likes us, so it seems unlikely he'll declare war on us. So we'll probably just leave him alone. Since we don't border him, he'll probably just run his way back over here. It's more likely that the Chaos Dwarfs will end up fighting him. Maybe I'll send this over to the Black Crag, maybe. Here. Yeah, just finish the job then. One food? No, not even that. Under cities are alright for food? Yeah, they're pretty good. Pretty good for food. We could definitely use some, but we had to secure our first province. Gotta get some money going. Alright, so now. Oh shit, just Warlock be careful. Ready. Okay, that's fine. And rather than disbanding him, we use this and he'll be available again in three turns. And we also don't worry about leadership with that. If we have a look here, so he was a Warlock Master. You'll see he's available now in three turns instead of five. <laughs> and that'll just save us a little bit of food and, and, and whatnot. Okay, then, that actually improved, oh right, because they were raiding, that improved our public order. We need to get over here and stop this revolt. And I need to take Karag Loon. we, we got to pick a fight with these guys now, with Skarsnik. Alright, well let's get going, we need to force March back. Yeah, I think the public order in this province here is going to be okay. Alright, how about we give Vectik that Book of Asher, that seems good. Cool. We've also got Armor of Fortune. Pop that down on him. Alright, Black Iron Mine, let's upgrade that one. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, that's good. Money's good. Food's bad. Gotta sort that out. But yeah, we need to grab this settlement here. I think that'll make a big difference. Same thing with this one here. That'd be a good province for us, because it's only got two regions in it. Which, that's actually good for Skaven, because each region costs one food, but your Edict always gives you plus two. So if you have a region that only has... a province that only has one region in it, you can actually make extra food off that, essentially. Because we need some pastures as well to get more food, and it doesn't seem like there's much around here for that. That generates some food, so that'll be good. Unfortunately, this one here, this one sucks. This doesn't generate anything good for us. Can Lord still defect when using the skill reset? Apparently not. Obey me. Okay, we can confederate. 
either one of the okay we can confederate clan gritak bow to me me all right so a confederation with these guys means we'll secure this province it'll probably mean that they will declare war on us instantly and also mean really bad public order for a short while but that's not bad. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Okay, first confederation done. Nice. And our finances have now gone to shit because these guys here have. Oh my god. Scored another chieftain. Okay. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I am warlord! Uh, well, we've got enough money to last a few turns with that. And that makes us fairly strong. Oh, look, at, look at this dude here. Moore's prophecy. Won't be making any deals. I could... If I switched my lord here, I might be able to attack it. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. There's some big iffy stuff here. So looking at this one, that one's not a good landmark. We now have four of the eight peak settlements, which gives us Lord Recruit Rank plus one or provinces. We lose a little bit of the control penalties. So we've got half of them, but I, st I still imagine we're going to lose some. Uh, that's yes. Belagar Iron Hammer there. Oh, that one's good. Why are all the good ones up here? <laughs> I get all the shit ones down on the south. Um, I need to disband some of these armies because they're also going to cost me food. But I've got to figure out how to do that without them defecting. We don't need that there. I can get rid of it. Hang on. Do we have access to more? No, we don't. Pull this guy out. I need to. I need. To, I need to fix this guy up. All right. How are we going to do that? We go. This sometimes works. It might not. Ah, oh, shit. This sometimes works. It's 50-50 chance, really. Okay. Okay, it's, it's kind of working. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of working. No, it's not working! Damn it. Sometimes it works. We're going to three. So that increased it by one. I can't oh I can't do this on him because he doesn't have any skills. I can't reset him. Just I gotta get him to five. Don't need this one very much. Damn it! Come on, go up. Yes! Okay, I just need one more. Go up. Damn. Go up. Yes! Okay, good. You're out of here. Because, yeah, we can get a level 2 lord that's got high loyalty. Oh, damn, this guy doesn't have as much loyalty. But it doesn't matter because he's got... We can, um, we can reset his skills, I believe. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. We can do it that way. All right, now I gotta do the bloody same thing again. Okay. I just gotta get him up to five before I start disbanding his units. Fuck, loyalty is such an annoying mechanic. 
Especially when confederations happen. Okay, we got him to five. Now we disband them in. No, let's try to get to six. Let's let's really make sure of it. God damn it! Okay, uh, shrieking blade. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Good, we're going to six. Okay, now let's start disbanding these units. Uh, get this one out of there if we can. No, I can't. Just disband him then. Okay, so it's six. Let's disband them. Good, and disband them. Good. All right. Take these all off him. Doesn't matter what his loyalty ends up as. Cool. See ya. <laughs> okay. Got that one sorted. Good stuff. All right, maybe I don't need to disband all of these armies because, like, minus one thousand gold per turn is not that big of a deal. And then what we could do is just re-recruit another law, another chieftain, maybe over here. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Yeah, doing all that with this one here doesn't seem that important. Yeah, that was super annoying, but, you know, we got through it. We got through it. Okay, uh, let's grab that. Now, these guys here, we need to make our way towards Karak Nar. Uh, Karak is all, yeah, it'll be f there may be revolts we need to deal with. I'm expecting... I'm expecting Belagar to declare war on us. But we will see. Don't really want to disband this guy. Because I might want to make use of his army. We'll see. Okay, alright. Let's see here. So, this settlement... I really want to build the... Oh, no, no, that's not what we do. It does provide control. I don't think it's important. Okay, we need to pop down this for food. Um, didn't you say that... Okay, this right here will unlock after un un uh, doing expansionist planning. Okay, that's actually a good idea. We should probably do that one. Expansionist planning now. And this over here, just switch to that one. And let's just see how we go. All right, cool. Move on to the next turn. Let me. Uh, I'm not gonna be doing more diplomacy. Imminent rebellion here. Okay, 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 okay. Let's move on. Would you welcome a change where there are bonuses to high loyalty and negative to low loyalty? Example, higher leadership, growth, and control. Yeah, I, I'd be down for that. Yeah, the current loyalty system is not very good. That ride also gives passive food. Yep, absolutely does. Figured that they would do that. Awesome-ish. That's not awesome. All right, well, I know where we need to go next. Will you be doing any head-to-head -head campaigns in the near future? I've been re-watching your past head-to-head -head campaigns. They're pretty fun. Every single head-to-head -head campaign I've ever done has been kind of boring and um, performed really badly for the channel. So the answer to that is very conclusively no. Bog Creeper tribe. Whatever. Oh, I want the money, please. <laughs> this guy's got really bad loyalty. Alright, well that wasn't a surprise that that happened. I don't- I wouldn't be surprised if this settlement here- I, I wouldn't be surprised if they declared war on us. What I might be able to do is actually sell them this region. Let me just see. Wait, what was the settlement called again? There's a new settlement, so I need to memorize what they're called. Uh, Karag Rin. No, 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 no. Karag Rin. Yeah, he wants it. 
and get a decent amount of money for that. Because he's going to declare war on us anyway. That is definitely going to happen. He doesn't have anyone else that he's at war with, and he hates us. So this settlement is going to be lost anyway. And yeah, there is nothing I can do about that. But what I can do is maybe get these guys out of here. Or, 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 we could do something even more skaven -y. Let's go full Skaven with this. Alright, here's what we do. We sell him this region, and then I take it back! <laughs> okay, so you sell him the region, and say, hey, how about you, how about you join war against them? No, they won't do it. So yeah, how, how would you like this settlement for 2,700 gold? How does that sound? Sounds like a pretty good deal, right? Yeah, it sounds like a great deal. Now fuck you! Futile. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna establish an undercity here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's how you set up an undercity, the in the Skaven way. Okay, and how am I gonna get this guy out of here? I could just let him die. Making him defect will just cause me problems. Um, if we, okay, hang on. Um, uh, I need to get his. How should I do this? Maybe I should just let him die over the end turn. Yeah, I'd say just let him die. Making him defect will just mean more problems for me. Now, it was guaranteed. I guarantee it that they were going to declare war on me. So, that way I just, you know, get an undercity out of it. <laughs> yeah, temporarily for now. Um, okay, 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 okay. So, we've still got this army over here, and that... We, we will not be able to win that situation. My idea. I agree, agree. <laughs> hmm. Now we dig, dig. Just no basic shit over crazy. there. Could you He's join war against Clan Angry? No. Oh, I might be able to get Scarsnake to join war against Clan Angry. Don't mess with me. What's your message? Hang on, what if I gave you a region? How would you like the Karag shit, Monar? Yeah, take this one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then offer, make him join war against Clan Angrand, and I'll just take it back. <laughs> uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. This is a settlement that we do want. Oh wow, this is control in adjacent provinces. Um, it's only a tier 2 settlement. Yeah, we'll just have him be a buffer against them. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, because this settlement is not making us much money. Public order is going to shit. Okay. Okay, yeah. So you can have this garbage. And I want you to de declare war on Clan Angrand. Give me money. <laughs> and that is like 30 turns worth of money and I'll just take it back as soon as I'm ready I'm just not ready to deal with them right now so there we go there we go you can have that I'll do it and now he's at war with clan Angrid. cool <laughs> that worked out fucking amazingly yeah and now he likes us so we can use him as a buffer while we deal with um while we deal with this over here that worked out really well. Stink of command. Really, really well. Okay, uh, we can't launch the attack on this guy this turn. I could jump over to... I can't get that far. Um, 
I still really want that settlement. We don't have any agreements with him, so we can we can stab him in the back the, the moment it's convenient yeah, for us. I still really want to just... I don't want to suffer a defeat, but I think the amount of resources need... Uh, you know what, let's just, let's just try it with Breeder. This is a very common item. If it ends up causing problems, so be it. Yeah, like, it's really common. Let's just see if we can get this guy up to five doing it this way. Sometimes it works, sometimes this is too far gone. Fifty percent of the time it works every time. Like legend, this is cheese. I'm flipping a coin here. Oh, we got him too. Come on, come on, you can do it. Oh, look at that. We got him to two. We got him to three. If he can get to five, he survives. Get to five, and you survive. Come on. No. No! Fucking back to zero. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Back to five. Come on. We got him to four. Come on, you bitch. No, you're going straight back down again. Fucking turd. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on, we got you to four. Be ah, oh, zero again. <laughs> Come on, I want you to live. You just have to be loyal. This works a lot better if you can, like, save scum, but obviously, playing legendary, I can't do that. Because what you do is you just... If the loyalty goes down, you just load, and if it goes up, you save it. But I, can't, I don't have any means of doing that. So this works a lot better if you're not playing legendary. Cause yeah, I can't kick him out for a high lo loyalty dude. Just let him die. I want to save him. I want to save my poor rat. Come on, just a bit of patience. Look, I'm back up to four. All we just gotta do is get him to five. Come on. No. Get to five, you bitch. Son of a bitch. Four. Come on. Alright, let me just get him back up to four and I'll I'll equip some different items on him. Without uh, taking this one off. Because I can't get him... There, okay, he's back up to four. Let's try this. Okay, that wasn't enough. Not enough. Okay. Okay. We can just band a, f a few units. Okay, we got him back down to four. Oh, you son of a bitch. Yes! <laughs> okay, we got him out of there. Whew. <laughs> there we go. Takes a bit of work, but we got him out of there. Alright, this one I'll keep I'll keep on, but you come Master over this way. Alright. Mm. Fucking hell! Alright, I gotta get up this way. Uh actually, if you could just check over here real quick. Alright, Hillman Gorst might be on the way. Whatever. We'll figure that out shortly. Oh my god, my food's been going down. Uh, I need to switch this one to this one. I can do that in a couple of turns. All right, Let's sort out this revolt. Oh shit! Now that's gonna revolt. More head skulls. That's fine if it does revolt. Because I, I need lots of food. Um, I just didn't realize that was going to happen. Okay. 
that's that's fine. I need to get Vectique out of here. So do that by popping this down. Yeah, we'll see him again soon. Alright, the Lost Archways of Vallea. It looks like these guys here... Yeah. I, I, there's a good chance that they'll declare war on us. Expensive rat. He didn't cost us anything. Alright, now what we need to do is get all of those items off just everyone. Everybody that's got items, just, just clear the slate. So, just clear all of this. And just have nobody... This guy, he doesn't have any items, does he? No. Hooded one watches me. So that nobody has any items. Because I'm not sure who owns what. Because Quig doesn't have any loyalty, obviously. And we just completely clear the slate. I can't take away the arcane items. Okay, we've stripped everyone of all their items. Cool stuff. Armor of Fortune. Executioner's Act. Yeah, yeah, you can have that. You got a high melee attack. Uh, let's go Scaven Brew and... Don't have a Talisman yet. Okay, and then Ancillaries. You can have Scribe, Breeder, this, and this, and this, and that. Sure, why not? Okay, cool, 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 cool. Alright, so that revolt there, we find that just gives us more to play with in this area, which is good. The garrison here should be fully, yep, fully restored. Cool, 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 cool. Alright. Alright, all right, let's move on. Man, that was a lot of bloody work. Oh, I forgot about him. Hey, there's a bit of an odd question, but which Total War do you think has the best research system? say Total War Warhammer, actually. I mean, it's all pretty much the same. I get Empire Total War's got a good one because it unlocks different things. Same thing with Shogun 2. I don't know. I don't know. You could argue in many different ways. This guy got disbanded. I'm not paying money for this. Okay, what's in this? So does Skaven Slave, so maybe this guy here can sort out this one by himself. And then Queek can maybe sort out this one by himself. We're, st we're passively losing six per turn, that's not good. Is our, is our Warlock Master back? No, not for a few more turns. Because yeah, if I bring Quick over here, he's not going to get over here. Me want need promotion. Yeah, yeah, this guy can handle it. I think we should try to get an ambush. Way. The chances of an ambush are, uh, they're only 25%. Unless I put in a cunning dude here. Let me just see. I could switch him out for a, a Grey Seer of Plague that's got Sneaky.
This one here is cunning, but it's going to have low loyalty. It only increases it by 10%. I mean, it gave us a win. Stop. Anyway, I got the ambush there. Cool. Let's get rid of that revolt. Alright, we got some food out of that. The army's whatever, doesn't matter that much anyway. And... Yeah, try to get our food supplies up. Was miscast chance fixed yet? I don't know, I never overcast, so I'm not sure if it got fixed. I am warlord! Keep Gracious scum away! I gained a level up from that. But now I can I can actually um get rid of him by using the reset button. food, yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah, we need to start bringing our forces over here. So looking at Helm and Gorst, he's a little bit more powerful than me, but if we set up some ambushes, we should be fine. So this guy here for this turn, just sit in Karagnar for now. That way you get a nice big buffer of public order so that... This settlement here may get taken from us. Let's see how we go. Uh, Vindemark did a 10 ROW in Superjet. You're far too good a tactician to play Skaven. Fair enough. Thanks, Superjet. I would think that Skaven are pretty good tacticians. I think you're thinking of strategists, but it's all good. It's all good. Alright. I need to... I need to kill this lord here so that we get more food. We set up an undercity over here, didn't we? Yep. So that's generating one per turn. We need to generate more. Because we got plenty of money. I need I need more food. So I need to push these settlements up to tier 5. It's turn 11 and I don't have a tier 5 settlement. What the hell's going on? Alright, let's ambush this one. Should be 100%. Are the Darklands in this map? No. This is the edge of the map here. Alright, we need to fight this manually because I have to kill this dude. But I also don't want to wipe out their army. Because, yeah, that, that guy there is going to have the majority of the food. We kill him, let them live. The revolt will continue, allowing us more of a buffer for public order benefits for the province. And then we figure out how we're going to deal with um, Helm and Gorse. Hopefully the shenanigans that I did with Belagar and um, Skarsnik will keep Belagar off my back for a little while. I have no doubt that Belagar will probably win the war. So I bought myself time, that's all. So I, at the very least, need to get a peace treaty with with him, uh, with uh, Helmut Gorse. Alright, these guys here, they're essentially on assassin job. Uh, yeah, just have these guys stand back over here. Quick head taker. Glory for me. Joe, I am right for. They get into a big blob around us, that's fine. That just makes it easier for the play core catapults to bomb that area. That is a delicious blob. Chief 
Did your opinion of Stormfirm and change from Warhammer 2 views? Uh, mildly. It's not like they're suddenly top tier, but, like, I don't hate them as much as I used to. I'll just put it that way. Yeah, I just don't hate them as much as I used to. Alright, we really want to get rid of the blasting charges. Where did they go? Actually, no. If I use these, they might be able to run them down. Really important we kill him. Just let Queek do it. Everyone get out of his way. For clan, for me. That's it, come on Queek, you can do it. Take Need that guy dead. He's holding all the food. One more hit. You can do it, Queek. One more hit. I think you did it. Good. Good, good, good. Alright. That's all we needed. Problem is, Storm Femin being. Being bad, it's them being badly compatible with Skaven Rage Darker. Yeah, that's it. They're just there's just so many better units in your roster. I just don't know why you would choose such a mediocre unit. And that's its biggest problem. Even in ideal situations, they kind of perform meh at best. I see you're playing as a CA board member again. <laughs> i tell you a little something, guys. Um, when Rob Bartholomew did that um, Let's Talk About Shadows of Change, I was on the cusp of doing a like parody of that of that thing. I was going to write a script as if it was written by a Skaven and like read it out as a Skaven in my Skaven voice. And I got pretty close to actually recording it when I was like, ah, this is really fucking mean. <laughs> it was really... I was gonna be like... Uh, what did I call myself? Chief Product Warlock of Clan Assembly. <laughs> Want to do a do a deal? Too bad! Price go up! <laughs> Should have. I should have. I should have. In hindsight, I should have, but I didn't. You want to make a deal? Too bad. I make make my demands. <laughs> you don't like it? Too bad. I kill it. Buy it. Stinking no first. <laughs> Chief Product Warlock of Clan Assembly. <laughs> anyway. I am Warlord. Yeah, you should stay there, because that's actually providing public order. Us, Horned One. So that does provide a little bit of public order. Uh, we've... Because yeah. there'll probably be another revolt, which isn't too bad. We're slowly inching our way up to 120. Uh, Sami Ratilanen did a membership for 29 months. That video would have been hilarious. Yes, yes, it would have, but the I feel like the time passed for it. Quick. Like, the script that I had was really friggin' mean. It was, and I was still in the partner program then. <laughs> so I was like, ah, ah, I don't know, this is definitely gonna get me blacklisted. And then I ended up getting, I didn't get blacklisted, but it's just like, I ended up leaving the partner program anyway. And I was just like, I should have done it in hindsight. It was really, really fucking mean. <laughs> 
It was really mean. It was it was like it was kicking them when they were down big time. I was like, ah, oh, uh, I've made enough. Money. Sometimes I hold back. In hindsight, I should have done it. Mm. Yeah, I really don't want a revolt to come back here. It would be good if we could hold that off even for a little bit. Okay, 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 and let's let's start making some progress towards sorting these guys out. So I need to see what's going on here. It's just that one army at the moment. Put Queek in ambush stance. And we need to wait for our um, for some of our guys to come back. And then take over this army. Oh, I keep forgetting about the Warlock Engineer. At least he had a few turns of movement. Clan Assembly still abbreviates to CA. I know. I, I was very well thought out. You Chief Product you Warlock. <laughs> Should I kill you? No. Like I said, it, the script was very well planned out. I took his script and I basically made it as if a Skaven wrote it. And I was like, ready to do it. And then oh, they were just getting bloody hammered. And I was like, oh, this is too mean. This is too mean. But in hindsight, I should have done it. Are you still taking Doomstack submissions? Well, it's got to be good. Like, a lot of people send in Doomstacks that are shit. Doomstack videos are nowhere near as popular as they used to be. And I think all the good Doom Stacks have been covered. But if you manage to come up with something really good and I see it, then by all means. But it's just like most of the stuff I see is garbage. Release it as a community post? Nah. Nah. I, I'm, I'm going to let it. I'm not going to let it go. <laughs> Your death got black, doesn't it? But everyone loved it. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. In agreement. I've got other ideas that are swelling up. A lot of some of the stuff is really like kicking Creative Assembly when they're down, but it's it's funny. So I'm just like, I don't care. <laughs> Uh, this guy here costs a fair bit of upkeep costs. How far out do we want to go? I mean, that one's got gemstones. Not that really matters that much to Skaven. Oh, we've, we're about to meet uh, Tretch Craventail, if we haven't already. Yeah, we'll send him to go meet Tre I forgot Tretch was out this way. Okay, we found Clan Richter's Oh, he just, he's not fond of us. Oh, because of Confederation. Mention if he declares war on us. Yeah, that was maybe a mistake. Ask another. How many settlements does he have? He's got three. Alright, the public order here is probably... It's, yeah, it's going to revolt again. Good, we're only at minus three per turn now. That's honestly the best you can bloody hope for with this freaking situation. What now? Well, that's going to provide four public order, and then there's still... Oh, we, we, we only own two of the eight peak settlements now. Alright, you need to... F hang on, hang on. Yeah, there's no way that he's going to be able to catch us, so you force march to here. We don't need two victories out of this. Just
I feel like this time I'm here took most of the casualties. Alright. Yeah, we still probably need to focus more on food. Don't forget to do research. Did I forget to do that last turn? Oh damn, that wouldn't have been good. Alright, let's have a look here. Uh, where is the tech that provides us with a uh, murder dissenters? That's it. Extra control plus one. Still trying to get to monstrous abominations though, which is really good. Casualty replenishment rate is really good as well. Yeah, we need our replenishment rate up, especially if we're using melee troops. Where next now? Wow, his loyalty went up a lot. Warpstone armor. That's nice. Oh, that'd be why, because we finished this. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, we should put one of these guys here with warpstone armor. That'll be good. Yeah, that's really nice. And another one. I think we should give them the glittering scales. Yep. Yeah. Sort of striking, maybe. Sure. Get some shit items on them. A few levels up to do. Let's see. What do we need now? So we've got one level up. Rendon Slaughter. No, that's not that good. No, that's not good. Crimson Guard is okay if we were recruiting Storm Vermin, which I'm not right now. Pack Leader will increase the stats of Clan Rats. I can I can actually reset his skill, so it's okay if we get rid of this later. But yeah, extra extra melee attack and leadership for clan rats will be very useful. All right, let's go with that. Because yeah, it's the bulk of my troops. Clan victorious. Thanks All right, to public me. order over here is going up. So that's good. Good. All right, now we've got a. Find some way to get Helmund Gorst over here. I could probably use this one here as bait. Two armies versus his one should be fine. So we'll see about setting up a trap for him. We've got this over here, but I'm not sure if I'm ready to fight it yet. Okay, let's upgrade Naz Kadrin. Should be safe to do that. Public order over here. It'll, it'll hold out for a little while, I think. We can do this one here to buy us a little bit more time. Plus, this will go away soon. Alright, I want to see if I can maybe fix things a little bit with with, uh, with, um, with him. If I offer to join war with the Moon Howlers, they're not likely to come over here. No, he doesn't care. Hmm. Okay. Uh, is there any diplomacy I can do at all? Now. Non aggression pack with them. No, not doing that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The gnome did attend also be shit. Hey, Legend, thanks for all you do. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you as well. Alright, let's move on to the next turn. Oh, hang on. This guy's got to level up. Stink no. of command. You said your piece about Storm Vermis, what about Sensor Bearers? I've never really had that much of a problem with Sensor Bearers. They're just a really sort of late game unit, but they're, they're quite good. They've always been quite good. Because, like, they have really good morale, and they, they pack a punch. Alright, he's coming in. That's good, that's what I wanted him to do. I want to fight him now. I'm just got to draw him in a little bit more. What the fuck is this chat today? It's pretty much the same as every other day. This is this is just what you see. Come, challenge me, challenge Glenn Wars. I dare dare you. 
Clan Nor, where the fuck are you? These guys over here. Whatever. You motherfuckers! <laughs> I know you love B99. Brooklyn 99. Oh yeah, Andre Bro. Yeah, that that was very sad. Yeah, he's probably my favorite character in um in that show. That that was very sad. Yeah, he's not old either. He's only 61. Same age as my dad. Uh Gary Drum to defy Hero Super Chat. Wanted to send you my unfinished Beastman Doom stack called CA Stinks. 19 heroes with Nurgle's Foul Stinks, but after 140 turns I gave up. Well we've already covered that Doom stack, dude. So I, I would have said no. We've already done it before. But thanks for Super Chat. Uh Nicholas did a 15 sorry, five pound super chat. Hey Legend, thanks for the stream. What's your opinion on the old world mod so far? Yeah, it's it's, it's good. <laughs> yeah, this is very interesting, for sure. New landmarks. It's good. I have no complaints. The AI is putting up a fight. It's good. So you can bloody us, not you, you. Our clan dominates. Whatever. I guess I'm not confederating them. All right. So if we I have a look here, not. yeah, I can ambush him with 80% success, but I'd much rather draw him further in. So we'll set up a trap. Set Queek in ambush stance here. And we can see... Yeah, okay, we're going to put him right on the edge of his movement. About... Let's move a step closer there. Draw him in. That's it. And this one here, yeah, just keep an eye on this situation here. But I reckon there's a pretty good chance that Hillman Gorse is going to try to attack this. 95% chance of getting ambushed. His army is pretty good, but we'll probably be able to order that. Also, this dude here, I'm done with him, I think. Let me just check. I think, yes, we have Vectic the Unstoppable is available. So this guy, bye-bye. Warlord, am I? Don't disappoint me, me. Oh no, no, I didn't take that off. Okay, we need weak to betray. this, this, this. Okay, and he's our spellcaster for this area, and we'll put him in channeling stance. Magic wings, cool, cool, cool. Everybody loves Vectic. Alright, is there any other items we can give him? Maybe Breeder would not be too bad here. Messenger? Maybe. No, no, not really that important. Uh, Storm Banner? Yeah, why not? Nothing else in here that's going to be that useful for him. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Alright, let's draw him in. Because, yeah, we need to constantly f keep fighting battles to get this food up. Seems like nothing is going on over here, and that's fine. As long as they're leaving me alone. Because, yeah, I checked to see if they could jump down this way. They, they can't. Okay, black iron mine. We can upgrade a few buildings here. So, let's see. Um, that'll give us access to another assassin. That could be good. Well, we don't even have an assassin yet. That will unlock a Plague Priest, but somebody said they were, they were bugged. Um, Xtech Hubble did a 10 pound super chat. First super chat ever to help with bathroom restoration. Thanks for all the content. Alright, thanks dude, I appreciate that. Uh, extra Pack Master. So that's a good unit. Wait, we need to build this building in order to unlock the tech, but I think... Yeah, we'll just abandon Karak Azul and rebuild it at tier 5 as soon as I can get that bloody 120 food, which we're not too far away from it. So, I'm going to go with this one here and increase capacity for assassins. We'll build it. This will give us access to Storm Vermin, which I may recruit at some point, maybe. And, yeah, just upgrade the minor settlements, not the major one, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to abandon this one and just uh, restore it. Over here, public order's not too bad. And we can pop this down now. 
Okay, cool. Now, now. Yeah, we want to make sure that we don't go in ambush stance right in front of him. A lot of people do that. It's kind of dumb. Uh, we want him to use up all of his movement getting over here so that he can't get away. But also, the further away we are, the less chance this is going to get detected. And because this is considered um, hills or mountain, it is unlikely to get detected. Still possible, but it's unlikely. I forgot about my bloody dude again. Good thing I set him up with it, some movement. Now it's Squighorn. Might put my Undercity over there. Malice Man 77 did a CZK 500 Super Chats. Good to see you, Legend, streaming Warhammer 3 again. I know why you focus on other Total War titles, but I can't connect with those. Appreciate the Warhammer 3 streams. Thanks, enjoy the holidays. No, it's my pleasure. Yeah, look, it definitely wasn't my long-term plan to to cover the historical Total War games. And I definitely have been enjoying doing it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just a weird thing that's happened. Cool. Fell for it. Hook, line, and sinker. And... Good. We can probably just auto that. Yeah, no units get wiped out. Quick wipe it all. Fucking survived, bitch. Still, 20 food. That's good. Okay, we got 120. That's good. I don't think he'll be able to get away. Now's our chance. If we can just get a little bit more food together, I think we can manage to, um... Yeah, you can't get away. I think it's time to abandon Karakazul. I'll bring it straight up to tier 5. But yeah, I really appreciate that super chat. It's very generous of you, Mails, man. It's like 50 bucks. Maybe even more than that. I'm just glad people aren't doing red super chats because I've I haven't gotten any in a really long time, so I've lost my tolerance of them. So whenever somebody does a red super chat, it actually gives me ligma. It's really bad. I've actually got an allergic reaction to red super chats. <laughs> so yeah, whatever you do, don't give me a red super chat. That's usually a super chat above a hundred dollars. Yeah, that's it's really not good for my health. I don't think we're going to be coming here anytime soon. And I could use more food. Yeah, we definitely want to finish them off. I might leave... We actually only need one Lord to stay behind here. So we should abandon this now. Because we've got the food that we need to push this to tier 5. Now, since we're going to lose this settlement, our maximum food is going to be 125. So we... <laughs> oh shit, it's going to be tight. It's going to be really tight. Um, if I can manage to grab this one, this, no, I'm not going to be able to get it this turn. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do it this turn. Okay. Challenge me, me! Oh, no, you should get that defeat trait. Wait. You don't really need poison attack. Warlord, quick head attack. See ya. 12 food. Well, that was our maximum capacity anyway. Alright, does he want peace? Leave me. He's pretty close to wanting peace. 
Because I didn't declare war on him, he declared war on me. Might be good to just set up an undercity here. Get a peace treaty with him, and then... Address me as Hmm. Right, going to ambush fence. We'll see if we can trick him again. All right, I needed a, another lord here. Yeah, this guy is back. Okay, and he will reoccupy this settlement next turn and bring it up to tier five, which would be nice. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to have massive public... We're just going to have massive problems because <laughs> of low food. Uh, but getting this to tier 5 is going to be worth it, in my opinion. I need to get to one of these techs like over here that's going to increase our food capacity. Well, that's food generation. We should grab that. We're going to need that come next turn. Legend, it'll cost lots of money. Nah, we've got plenty. Then we need to do it over here as well. Eventually. Alright, we got some levels up to do. Quick got two from that, so that's nice. Yep, go with pack leader. Cool. That'll make all of our shit a little bit better. Suspiciously loyal is good because this gives Quick ward save. And since we got so many of them attached to this army. can make him near invincible. We've also got another one of these guys over here, speaking of which, we should have a look to see what traits are available. No, that's interesting. Yeah, I want this guy scouting ahead a little bit. Alright, looking at this... If I offered to cancel my trade agreement with Clan Vulcan, and also my military access with Clan Vulcan, I can get out of the war now. Maybe I should just take it all. Get rid of this guy. He'll just declare war on me again. How many summons does he have? Speak yo. Three. So yeah, it's just a, it's a full province. Thing is, I need to get back over here as soon as possible. Alright. Oh, and you've got a lot to do. Cool. Alright, let's move on. What are the requirements to upgrading to level 5 settlement? You need 120 food. That's it. 120 food. Oh wait, did I... I built the food thing there, didn't I? I should upgrade it, I need more food. Not yet. Okay, Rocket did a twenty dollars super chat. Legend stream and Skaven stream. Truly a Christmas miracle. Hope all is well. Yeah, I usually try to do a a Skaven Christmas stream around this time. Did last year, sort of. Thanks, super chat. So Rishika says, "Will you be my friend?" Sure, I'm. I'm all of my viewers' friend, kind of. <laughs> But yeah, appreciate everyone showing up today. Hope you're enjoying the stream. I'm enjoying it. I like playing Skaven, even if I'm not playing one of my favorite Skavens. This is, this is fun. Hundred twenty food. O N G. That's gonna be a lot of food for a tier five. It's gonna be really tight. Yeah, yeah, but it'll be okay. As long as I got the hundred twenty food right. Oh look, I got 130 out of 125. Well, let's use it before they take it away from me. 
But legend Master doing this doesn't engineer. work anymore. Ooh, couldn't do it with Skyrim World. <laughs> All right, good. So we now have a tier five settlement. Nice, and restore we'll that. And, and All right, we will be able to maintain this province a hell of a lot better with a tier five settlement. So, starting from here, I usually build defenses because Skaven are pretty likely to get attacked. Then we want to get pretty much all three of these, I think. We definitely need this one, and we definitely need that one, and then we need... I don't need to recruit them here. Could go with this for more assassins. Could, could go with this for more chieftains, but they should go into minor settlements. I'm kind of leaning towards this. Yeah. Just in case. You never know. Plus, we got... Um, oh, my, what the fuck? Is my money gone? Oh, but that money. <laughs> anyway. Korean Knight did a $10 super chat. Have you ever tried uh, Black Whirlwind in Worm 3? The stats look pretty comparable to Dwells Below. For the Eshin Sorcerer? Yeah, it's all right. It's okay. Not my favorite, but it's all right. Come away. Oh, my money's gone. Speak your oh, they are way more gone. willing to give peace now. <laughs> yeah, when you play a Skaven and you abandon a settlement, it doesn't really cause you that much problems, which is nice. We've got to get our money up. The other thing that we could do is go with this one here to reduce construction cost by 10%. That would have saved us some cash, but honestly, that's fine. The stuff here will definitely pro provide a return on investment eventually. So, sacking this is going to be attrition. We could occupy it. Because that'll... Yeah. Same time, we kind of need to get back over here. And it's just going to extend our border. For the 13. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah, this is what I'm leaning towards. I'm just going to come over here, set up an undercity, peace out with them, and then get back over here. Nothing. Stop me, me. I'm not going to send Vectite to go and assist Stay because and we're going to take attrition otherwise. So yeah, just sack that. Yeah. So, decent amount of food. We don't have enough movement to sack and create an under empire, so just create the under empire there. And then now he's even more willing to have peace. Better things to think about than your petty desires. Okay. Cool, and that gives us a bit of money to work with. Yep. Yeah. Alright, let's do that. I will. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And with the Under Empire expanded, we can use this guy here to get some more food. We're getting three from this one. Am I getting any from here? Yeah, getting a little bit. Let's get some more. Because we've got to get this back up as quickly as possible. Because that is that is really bad. Oh, hang on. Construction cost plus 30% for all buildings, faction-wide. That's making all my buildings more expensive. Maybe we should hold off on that until we get the food, uh, get the food under control a little bit more. Because 30% is a bloody lot. made everything like that's six is it 600 more expensive I'm not sure yeah I think what we should do is just wait until we get our food back under control I'll just leave it like this for now 
It won't take us too long to get our food back under control. Well, I'll tell you what we do with Vectique. Raid this region. Yeah, it's only going to cost us a little bit of money, and we can get... Pretty sure we can get three food for that. We should disband this guy again. Good, good, good. This will save us one food. Well, no yeah, get back over here. Okay. Yeah, we'll get this food stuff under control a little bit, and then we'll build it all. Because we should be passively gaining food per turn now. Should be. Yeah, keep going with that one. Okay. Yeah, we'll get quick back over here. You back over here. All right, how about... How about we put one of these guys in with Vectique? So let's get rid of one of these Skaven Slaves. Actually, just get rid of a regular Skaven Slave. And I'll attach that in there. Cool. So now... Once Queen comes back into that province, he will maintain public order very easily with these guys here. Oh, hang on, hang on. No, that's okay. I'm not going to fight again anytime soon. Okay, that's good. Bring them in over here. Change commandment then. Uh, well, it's not going to happen next turn to this one. So... We should switch the commandment, but first thing we need to do is get the food under control. So maybe I'll switch it next turn. That all looks fine. Okay, let's move on. Final army comp for Quake. Uh, Quake doesn't have a really perfect doom stack. You just build whatever you want, really. Does the respec disband of a Skaven Lord bypass loyalty defections? Yes, it does. Legend, the new training skill will yield more XP. Yep, I'm aware. Yep. Okay, it looks as though these guys here are fighting against each other. I, If I was to bet, I would put my money on um, on Clan Angrind winning over them. But I mean, it's still under siege and he brought an army over there, so maybe not. To approach me. Uh, yeah. When did I go to war with these guys? Oh, they declared war on, on my ally. Right, I see. Okay, fine. Yeah, peace treaty with them. I need more money. A clan rate's good now? Eh. It's cost effective with Queek. So, cost effective, but they're weak units. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so we're gaining passively 5 per turn. Do we, are we gaining any from raiding? Yeah, we're getting 3 from raiding, so that's good. Yes, no, yes! Find warp stone. Yes, yes! Yeah, so let's raid our way over here. Yes! Hmm. Uh, Drew Gibson did a five dollar super chat. Did you know Mortal Kombat theme came from Finland? It's a Finnish hymn. Nice. Thanks for super chat. Appreciate that. That was a nice joke. Hmm. More head skulls. 
So, right, let's have a look what happened here. I am revenge. Yeah, okay. Clan Angrund is winning. <laughs> That's not a surprise in the slightest. Now, the problem is if we're rocking around with clan rats, they're not great against dwarfs. But I'm definitely inclined to help out um, Crooked Moon. So what I want to do is actually jump over to here and then just just help out against um, these guys because enemy of my enemy is just not my enemy right now. <laughs> they're not my friend, but they're not my enemy. So I need to get myself over here and capture these settlements. Get rid of Clan Angron and then we can focus on the easier enemy. Is this under siege? No, it looks like it got sacked or something. Okay. My will will. Maybe you should come over here and raid. Because I'll be able to jump over there next turn. That'll give us a bit more money. Screw, screw him. I just need some food for this turn. You come over here as well. Then we'll jump over here. Because we've got to be careful, while we're in the red, that's really bad for our leadership. Like, this one's not great either, but that one's really bad. Try to get to here. Oh, even that one! Construction costs plus 10% for all buildings faction-wide. Eh. Okay. Do we still have this? Yeah, we've got that edict going on for a bit. Okay. I need more food. All right, over here. Just uh, build a build a basic. This one here. It's cheaper to be fine. We'll give a return investment real quick. And let's just save the money for now. Okay, that's all pretty good. The sorcerer inventor. Yes. Yes. I wouldn't be surprised, actually, if Clan Angrid went and captured Karag Monar really soon. And that's our opportunity to get it back. Alright, cool, let's move on. Why are you raiding your own region? Food. You get three food for every army that's raiding. So, it's not much, but I don't really have much else to do at the moment. Yeah, Skarsnik's licking his wounds there. It's really good to get his defeat trait playing as Skaven. I reckon the uh, that Clan Angron is going to be pretty aggressive against him now. That's why we need to get over here and get rid of... Kind of not back up Skarsnik, but... Stop Clan Angron from really capitalizing on this win. Drew Gibson did a final super chat. What do you do if your wife starts smoking? Slow down and use lubricant. Yep, I've heard that joke before. Thank you very much. Thanks for the super chat. I am revenge. Oh god, they're bloody stronger than us. All right, we got him, got it out of the red, so that's good. That helps a bit. With eleven food per turn, six of it is coming in from raiding. So that means we'll have five next turn because we're not going to raid this turn. We need to jump over here. What now? Good, that gave us a lot of public order there as well. This one over here is... If I don't build the public order building soon, we are going to have problems. Alright, we need to build that one first. Let's just do, do that. So that'll give us four public order. You can always exempt it from taxation. But yeah, that'll that'll stop a revolt from happening, I think. Oh yeah, we've also got this going on as well. 
Uh, I'm definitely not going to be able to pronounce this right. Ruar Rid Mackenzie did a five pound super chat. Thanks for the hours of content. Here's a little something to pay for a tile in the new bathroom. All right, thanks, dude. I greatly appreciate that. Yeah, tiles are expensive. All right. At least it's ten percent cheaper than it would have been if it was last turn. Favored. All right, send this chieftain to go and scout ahead. Oh, look at... Right, Th this area... I'm going to have to jump again. Oh, that could be really risky. If I jump over here next turn, I need to... Well, that's really risky because I don't know where their armies are. Only true vengeance will make me happy. Is that what... They've only got two enemies, but they've got five regions. I kind of suspect their armies are right here, but if I jump over here and then they, like, dogpile me with everything they've got, that could be a really tough win, because I don't have Plague yet. These, these units are not good against what we've got to deal with. That's very risky. It may be even better to just jump over here and kill these guys off. I'm not sure. Or maybe just go over to here. Smack. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure what to do. I need I need scouts. But I can't get my scouts over there without jumping. And if I jump, I'm dead. Hmm. I still really want this settlement here. He absolutely hates me, but he's a bit too busy now to worry about me. All right, let me have a look at this again. Oh, look at this. Clan Vulcan is close to Confederate. Oh, they've got one settlement left. Who cares? Just let him go. All right, well, staring at this isn't going to change anything. Let's just keep moving. Dwarfs will like you a bit when you kill the moon orcs. Oh no, that's not going to make any difference. There is no getting the dwarfs to like us. They are never going to accept peace. They're way too stubborn. But I can make the orcs, well, the, the crooked moon, not hate me at this stage. Um, Mark Keats did a $5 super chat. Would you be interested in doing another Norska live stream at some point? Or only if they get a rework? Um, we will see. It's not on my to-do list right now. They don't perform very well for, for live streams. I don't mind playing Norska in Warhammer 3. I didn't like them in Warhammer 2, but I don't mind them in Warhammer 3. They just it just doesn't it just doesn't bring the viewers. People don't want to see it. So if they get a rework, I, I would definitely cover it, but I don't know, it would depend. Thanks, Super Chat. Would you consider doing Skarsnet campaign in Old World to drown everyone with nasty skulkers with 40% discount upkeep? Probably not. No, probably not. It's not much different from playing it on vanilla. Looks like they've started a war. Yeah, yeah, just. Oh man, he is he is dead. He is out of here. See a lord. I am revenging. All right, there was a battle that just happened. We're now actually stronger than Clan Angrand. Oh yeah, look over this. Look at this. That's where they are. Okay. Military presence of thirteen there. That's where they are. They must have jumped over here. So if we, oh, I was hoping I could jump over here. Maybe. Oh, that public order got worse. Oh, because the edict, uh, the thing f fucked up.
Alright, and the military crackdown's going down. Hmm, there may be another revolt here. So it's not for four turns. So if I walk over to here, and then jump over here, we should be fine. If we get caught in the underway, that's really bad. Because their armies are going to be stronger than ours. we got to be very careful about jumping around. Very bloody careful. Maybe Queek's army could handle it, but Vectiques, no. We wouldn't be able to handle it. Drew Gibson did a photo of Did you hear about the book on the bisexual whale? Maybe Dick? Okay. Thanks for the chat, dude. Appreciate it. <laughs> These jokes are not, not really what I want to be seeing, but whatever. It's all good. Um, I'm kind of thinking jumping down here. And just attacking Crooked Moon. Before they get wiped out. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, cool. <laughs> Time for me to take it back. And then these guys will maybe make their way over here. But then I can come up through this way without having to jump in the underway. Okay. If I get a little bit more food, I'll be in the normal food levels, which will definitely happen next turn. So we're going to switch this over to to this one so that it basically doesn't cost us too much now to actually build these other buildings. So I think I need to do that uh, bloody next turn. Got this we can do, which not really going to help. Okay, let's look for some diplomacy to do. Clan Mordkin. Sure, why not? I like hate you. I not eat you just yet yet. Yes, master. You move. Skullcrag. Probably not looking to pick a fight with them. Could use some more money. Okay, cool. Al Cher Cherogi became a new member. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. And Sleepo did to Elizabeth Jet. Have you seen the Aigata Takesh Takeshita Doomstack? Nope. I haven't seen that. I, I have no idea. Thanks, Elizabeth Jet, though. Appreciate it. And let's move on. Yeah, I'm going to smash that back. So yeah, Skarsnik's pretty much out of the race. He's lost. He's going to about to get double teamed. He was very useful, but it was just enough time to sort out. Yeah. More things thingy. For my trophy. <laughs> He's like, please don't attack me. No, sorry. I'm gonna attack you. You're gone. You're gone. Can't save you. Not interested in saving you. Time to fight Clan Angrand. Ali Ch Cherigi did a one dollar super chat again. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. The name legend. Read the name. Right. I gotta take a shitter. Right. 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 That's that's so lame. That's so lame. This is this is not funny, but whatever. Yeah, so that's a shit joke. <laughs> Alright, Clan Vulcan's gone. Good riddance. Bloody backstabbing bastards. Uh, Richie did a 10 year super chat. Did you hear about the Irish... Uh, Irish gays, Maurice Fitzgerald and Gerald Fitzmaurice. Yes, I've actually heard a similar joke to that one before. But, okay, okay. thanks for the super chat. Of 
We go stalking. Okay. Now's the time. I'll crush them all. Victink doesn't have a siege attacker, so it has to be quick. If we have a look over here, there is a large military presence there. They could actually come down here. How strong are they now? Yeah, they're recovering a little bit. Oh, it didn't... Hey, it's... Oh, 41 to 60%, not 41 food. Okay, well, maybe I'll get enough food for winning this fight here. Make it quick, has got wicked schemes to plot. <laughs> no. <laughs> ah, suck shit, Skarsnik. Alright, we definitely need to fight this manually and take minimal damage. If we just use... Uh... Actually, I'm pretty sure we'll be fine if we order this. Time for things to die, die! I definitely wouldn't have taken that many casualties. <laughs> that low 1,000 casualties. Uh, it should be fine. At least we got a lot of food, and we it, it did actually boost us up a bit. Um, yeah, we'll just loot and occupy that at level 1. Good thing I've done the extra replenishment. Oh, you, you actually need way more replenishment. Yeah, I probably should have bought that manually. Okay, no, I got another idea. I got an idea. You actually stand here in ambush stance. We'll see if we can draw them in. Maybe one army. They'll see us. Oh, look, I'm so weak. We come down here and then beat the shit out of them, maybe. And we just got access to plagues. That's good. No, you just got wiped out, so it's okay. Alright, and then Queek could really use probably ancient cunning. We need to be able to we need to be able to actually ambush someone if they're in encamp stance. That would be really good. The under empire spreads. Oh good, these guys are on bone breakers now. Awesome. That's gonna make them that's gonna make them really bloody strong. That is really good. I like how Skarsnik paid me so much money for that settlement, <laughs> and I just, he just babysitted it for me. Now I'm ready to actually defend it. Alright, next step for us is to move over to Karag Yar, though. Do they want peace after that? They kind of do. Alright, we need to switch this back to here. So first, let's, let's do some construction. Public order is still bad, but... It's still got to move into this area here, which will provide us a little bit of extra public order. So upgrading this one here, three turns. Yeah, there's time for that. That one, and I said that one. Yep. Then need walls here. This also provides extra control, so that'll be good. And cool, saved a lot of money on that. And Naz Kadrin, we should build another barracks to get more chieftains. Build stuff while we've got the reduced construction costs going on. And that means that this province is fully maxed out in terms of construction, uh, in terms of like growth. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Uh, what is this doing here? Oh, they like us, kind of. You are impressed by my tail size, yes, yes. Okay, that's... They got a fair bit of territory. <laughs> Hornet one knows I'm the greatest. <laughs> Quick. Okay. Yeah, look at that. That's, that's really good. I need that need food though. Max capacity is at 135 so that's good. I'd also need Clan Moors. Yeah, maybe we should prioritize that one. Because that's Clan Moors headquarters. That'll give us uh, food generated plus three every turn. That's really good. And extra money. Okay, let's move on. Yeah. 
Have any of the modded Skaven factions been interest to you, i.e. Vulcan? No, because I had a look at some of them. They're just super generic. They don't have anything interesting going on for them. Wolf's Paul chucked in a new member. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the support, as always. Why don't you use the tabs at the top skill screen to level a lot of the heroes, Legend? Uh, I don't know. I'm just used to doing it this way. Slaves too quick. Eat tails, scum, and beg for mercy. Good. Pay more. Is confederating this mod as hard as vanilla? It seems to be about the same. Right. Your favorite weapon has been stolen, mighty lord. But by whom? Heads must roll until it is reclaimed. Have a look. Oh, uh, they've they've beefed up their uh, their armies. We need to find out where they are. Don't disappoint me, me. Okay, you. There's a certain item that I can. Oh, it only goes in lords. Okay, I need this guy to go and have a look around. Either to come up through here. I'm more inclined to maybe to go up there, through there because the bonuses are better for us. Nico. Power. There's Belagar. Clan boss. I think not. Okay, we might be able to get Belagar to abandon attacking Karak Loon and instead come back down this way. Or we could just forget about Belagar and go over this way. This one's still smoking. Not sure. Ali Cherigi did a 5 dollar super chat. Been a fan for years. Wasn't able to support in any other way than watching your videos before. Keep up the good work, especially on Warhammer Cheers. No, dude, that's honestly just watching my videos is more than enough. Thanks for the super chat. Appreciate it. Okay. Mm. It would be good to knock out his army for a few turns. Especially if he's never been properly defeated and he's got some good units in there. If we stand about here, I reckon he would be able to attack us. Yeah, I'm going... Yeah, let me just check a little bit more. There doesn't seem to be any other armies out that way. Alright, put Queek here. In ambush stance, and have Vectik stand here. In channeling stance, yeah. Take power. And you come back, and we'll see if he makes that attack. Let's see. You can't ask this of me. Okay, we can see what he's got. It's actually not that impressive. But if he wants to finish them off, that's fine as well. The settlement here doesn't matter. If he gets captured by another army, no big deal. Alright. Cool. Food slowly increasing. But we need to get a decisive victory in. I gotta sneak up on them. Need 120 food so we can abandon this and rebuild it. How's the public order here going? Yeah, it's still iffy. Still iffy. We 
Okay, let's see if there's more money to be had in diplomacy. Ready. Nothing to do here. But yeah, Scar's thing's finished. Okay, let's move on. He's level 19. Yeah, well, he's probably been fighting a lot. The AI also gets a lot of bonuses to their experience rate. So they'll get a lot of levels up. No, I wanted you to come after me. Okay, well, there goes Scar Sneak. He's out. He's out of the race. It's, it's a race of two now, and unfortunately, he's got more than me. But it looks like he lost a unit in that order resolve. Oh, our ambush got detected. All right. Hopefully he stays in that settlement for a couple of turns. I think that would be easier to fight him in the settlement than it would be out on the field. Because we could do all kinds of shenanigans with that. Would have been good to get Scar Snake's defeat trade on either one of those characters, but it just is what it is. <laughs> like I said, um, I definitely bet against Scar Snake winning. Crooked Moon is out of the race. So we're in control of three out of the eight, which means he's in control of five. So the other five is one, two, three, four, five. Those are the other eight peak settlements. What, what? Now, it doesn't seem as though it's easy to get up here. And it looks like that Bellegarde doesn't have any reinforcements here right now. And where is only an enemy? Yo, Squiggly did a $2 super chat. What? We are blessed with another live stream? Yep. Thanks for super chat. Appreciate it. Okay, so if I was to go into channeling stance. Yes, yes. Or ambush stance. Ambush stance might be better. If we come up through here. Scamper, scatty. And then... For the 13. Yes, yes. Yeah, you just come up here in channeling stance. Yep, yep. Move tails. And my, my... we'll just see what he does. We'll see. Yeah, he, he lost two units in that order resolve. Okay. Mountains of Mars. Extra leadership when laying siege or encircling is good for us. Yep, we can do that. We've got money for it. That's good. I don't think these guys here are trying to attack me. Where are they going, anyway? Oh, I think they're going for Caravan of the Blue Roses. All the way over here. Public order on this one. It's now only minus four, so we got five turns until it revolts. Actually, it'll be less than... It'll be more than that, because that's going to provide extra public order. So that should be good. But it'd be good to get our headquarters back. All right. Although... Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's move on. Got... Oh, okay. Oh, shit. I only got one army here. Vectik's not showing up. But the auto resolve is pretty good. Problem is, if I back off here, he's, he's, he's got us. So that's not ideal. Let me just see. I think I can win this. I don't have a spellcaster. That sucks. Got artillery. 
is okay. What's what's in here that's going to be super dangerous? Obviously, Belagar is going to be really dangerous. Our guys here are going to be quite good. We got two of them on Bone Breakers, I think. Quick's going to be good. It doesn't have magical attacks. So if you have a look here, yeah, okay. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. It might be better if I give him magical attacks. Uh, Big Acker did a 60 euro super chat. Unfortunately, I just turned in. Did I miss the two 20, uh, 2024 plans? Anyway, I hope you're doing well, Legend. Um, I haven't really actually discussed the 2024 plans all that much. I think you're like the first person to ask. Um, people were asking a little bit about the, um, about the creator program. And I, I did already give some thoughts about that. But basically, my thoughts are to... Um, to do a lot more community stuff 20, in 2024 with the community support network because there's going to be a lot of YouTubers that are no longer going to be in the partner program, so they're going to need some way of being able to compete with the ones that are. Although, in my opinion, being in the partner program is actually a detriment to most channels, but whatever. Um, a lot of people don't see it that way. So another thing that I want to do in 2024 is surpass the Total War official YouTube channel in terms of subs. I've already surpassed them in terms of views. But we're about 60,000 subs away from surpassing them in um, in subs. And if we do that, I'm going to do the biggest charity event that I've ever done, which details I still need to figure out. But basically, just think, whatever I've done in the past, it needs to be bigger than that um, once once we do that. And it might not happen in 2024. It might happen in 2025. But whatever, whenever we do surpass, it's not a matter of if, but when we surpass the uh, Total War official channel, we'll do that. All right, I need to put this speedy stuff on you and yeah okay all right uh i am gonna fight this auto resolve i don't think that's acceptable hundred percent ambush fails it, that's actually a good point he may have had some ambush defense so let's just say I've got 100% ambush success and he's got 40% ambush defense. That means I've got 60% ambush success chance. Is this channel going to be the new official Total War channel? No. No, definitely not. But I can I can be bigger than it. Maybe. With your help, or not, it's up to you. But yeah, at the current rate, we're due to surpass them in October or November of next year. But of course, things are subject to change. My sub rate may go up or down, theirs may go up or down. It's hard to say what's going to happen. Alright, we got three Bone Breakers. One of them's got magic attacks. Quick's got magic attack. These are two Thanes. That one's level 19. Why don't they have... Th okay, whatever. Um, pretty basic army. Let's just see what we can do. Alright, these three here. Let's start running around circles with them. They might start shooting at us, though. We should be careful. Plenty of ammo, so any kills we get, especially on giant slayers, would be good. They just want to hold a defensive position here, that is fine by me. Bastards dodging my artillery really effectively. Kind of a lot he easier to hit them when they're advancing towards us, because that way if we miss one target, we still hit something else. That's good. That's good. That's good. I really need this one here to do some value. All right, I also need these ones here to keep some of their missile units distracted, maybe on the flank here. Send these guys around this way. Alright, this one here, so far a good amount of damage done. Hey, 
So, in hindsight, it was actually a bad move to go into ambush dance. I should have just, like, gone into channeling. Because I could have used two armies instead of one. Or I could have positioned the ambush behind Vectic, not in front of him. What we're trying to do here is just cause as much disruption as possible. Okay, charging. Watch out for the miners with blasting charges. Need to get at them. Got rangers over here. We'll send a detachment over there. Keep these two back for now. I need him to duel. I think even when the time comes. Uh, Big Acker did a 24 euro super chat. Well, thanks for the update. I'll definitely be here for it all. Hopefully, we'll get a bit more streams with everything coming up. Well, we'll you yeah, never know. Uh, maybe. This is the last stream of the year, though, because I've got Christmas stuff going on now. But thanks for the super chat. Again, appreciate it. Very generous. Advance. Okay, the artillery has done a good amount of damage. Okay, get in there. We need to get in there and fight their missile units in melee as much as possible. Okay, I'm actually going to bring Skars, uh, not Skars, Nick, Queek around over here to fight these guys because he's got magic attacks. Take out those ancestor heroes. Slay no furs. Faster, scary. Great on a car. For the vermin tide. Guide us, spawned one. That's it. Get in there. Kill these dwarves. That's just a nothing unit. Battle seems to be going all right. Okay, I need these ones here to just hold their fire now. We don't have any clear targets, we're just going to waste ammo or kill our own troops. Which seems very scathing, but at the same time, don't really want to do that. Okay, this one here is suffering too much damage, let's move it back. Um, Antonin v v oh, Vesetula did a CZK200 Super Chat. I'm sure I butchered your name there. Sorry, dude. Thank you for your cheesy content. Need to say, I started playing Shogun 2 FOTS again, thanks to you. Greetings from Czech Republic. All right, thanks, dude. Uh, I am hope you've really been enjoying FOTS. I've definitely been enjoying my time playing it as well. Thanks, Super Chat. All right, let's move Belagar out of here by just having him chase us. Okay, one ancestor hero is down. Let's take out the other one. And I think we just army lost them. Yeah, we did. Much better than what Order Reserve said. Just stop shooting. Make sure we run them down. All right, Queek, need to take Queek, out Belagar. I don't want him getting away. Much better than what Order Reserve said. And that's going to make capturing the settlement here a lot easier now. Okay, have these come over here and help disrupt him. Oh, you guys 
Ryan's doing is pushing him off the friggin' battle. So frustrating trying to kill single entities like this when units just refuse to bloody attack. No! <laughs> okay, bone breakers? No. No bone breakers. Bloody dipshits. Okay, maybe the bone breaker should be over here. He's still got a fair bit of distance before he gets off the battlefield. Looks like Queek didn't suffer any damage at all. Because, yeah, if we wound him here, he's not going to get any experience. And we should end up with more food as well. Come on, you've almost got him. A couple more hits. A couple more hits. Got him. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right, that went very well. Long time fan, quick question. How are you not bored with this fecking game yet? Well, I have been taking regular bre breaks with the game. I'm also playing a mod. And I am bored with a lot of the game. That's why I don't play it that much these days. Change your opinion on Storm Vermin? Uh, not really. Legend today at school, kids were making fun of me for playing Throne to Britannia. I would say that that seems pretty correct. Don't don't tell people you play Thrones of Britannia then. <laughs> hey Legend, could you describe the state of Warhammer as of now from technical point of view? I'm thinking about getting back to the game after I left the enormous number of bugs. Uh, it's still buggy. It's still pretty buggy. Um, there are mods. The game... Okay, so Warhammer 3... We basically had to put a gun to Creative Assembly's head for them to actually decide to take it seriously. Yeah. Creative Assembly was intent on just, like, making pretty shitty DLCs for Warhammer 3 and just not giving it the care that it actually needs. But luckily, the community basically put a gun to its head, and now Creative Assembly have decided to take it seriously. Because, yeah, the, the way they did that was by boycotting games like Pharaoh, by boycotting Shadows of Change, and by pounding Steam reviews, Creative Assembly finally got the message. So I think that there's good things coming for Warhammer 3. I really do. But that might be me smoking some hopium. I'm going to take the money, because it's quite a lot. That's interesting, because we can actually use that guy to draw out their garrison. We just need to not ambush him. Which, since he went to encamp stance, that actually shouldn't be all that hard. To be honest, I think Sega had more of a say than community. You're probably right. It probably was a combined effort. Oh, shit, that's a lot of force pulling up over here. I think he's getting ready to attack me again. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. It was just like with the um, petition for Immortal Empires. It's hard to say how much that actually did. I had a lot of people internally say that um, that it would not have happened if it wasn't for that. I've also heard people say it would have happened. It just would have happened a lot later. And I've had some people say that it made no difference whatsoever. So what the actual truth is, I don't know. I definitely believe that the outrage from the community made a big difference. So when people say, oh, outrage is not the way to get Creative Assembly to do things, I disagree with that 100%. Outrage is pretty much the only way Creative Assembly learns. So let me let me explain this in terms of like uh, training a dog, right? So there's, well, just training in general. Whenever you're learning new behaviors, there's things called positive reinforcement and negative reinforcement. So positive reinforcement, it's basically the carrot and the stick. Hang on, this looks interesting. Badly mutated. For Vec Teak up the Unstoppable, badly mutated. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, have the dust inhaled for Vec Teak. So, yeah, like I said, 
Um, positive reinforcement and negative reinforcement. During Warhammer 2, the community was positively reinforcing Creative Assembly's behavior. So that was to say, hey, Creative Assembly, you're doing great. Shut up and take our money. Uh, you know, basically rewarding them for doing well. And what's been happening lately is that positive reinforcement hasn't been working. Uh, you know, saying, Creative Assembly, you're not doing a good job, but here's my money anyway. That, that hasn't been working to get things to uh, become better. So what's happened is instead of positive reinforcement, which is definitely what Creative Assembly or just anyone would prefer, negative reinforcement. Every time the Creative Assembly has done something wrong, the amount of like outrage has slowly been building up and it finally reached a crescendo and Creative Assembly finally got the hint and they've decided to uh, do something about it. So that's negative reinforcement. And for the most part, I think that that has been very effective. Um, but Creative Assembly will always tell you that negative reinforcement is not the way to go, but I think it is. Because we got results. It's a little bit more inclined for peace. Okay, unfortunately, Belagar's defeat trait sucks. Oh well. We got some leveling up to do. Oh, we should do level up after we've moved because sometimes leveling up makes you lose move points. It sucks, but that's just what happens sometimes. Now, we don't want to ambush this dude. And we didn't. Cool. Because that allows us to. Oh, wow, look at that fucking garrison. Hmm. I will lose one clan rat. Oh no, anyway. Cool! Thanks for the, making me not have to fight a siege. I appreciate that. Oh, we're so close to having enough food to get this to tier 5. Can we quickly get 13 food? I could bring it up to tier 4. I guess that wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, it wouldn't be too bad putting it to tier 4. Alright, let's do that. Okay, we've got our headquarters. Nice. And this one here has got more build slots, so it is like a, a proper capital. So that's nice. Alright, we need... Okay, do we need these? Mm, I'll keep them for now. Put the landmark building here. And we'll go that and that and... Yep, we need defenses, and that would be good, I think. Yeah. And we ran out of money. Okay, cool. I mean, it's not cool that we ran out of money, but... That's a good province. Alright, now we lost a clan rat, so we need to replace it. Globally recruiting them takes too long. So, we're just going to have to do without for now. Wait, 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 wait. I could transfer one of the clan rats from here. Because Queek has them on lower upkeep costs. There you go. Cool. You said leveling up can consume your movement. Is that a base game thing or unique to this mod? Uh, that's a base game thing. Yeah, I don't know what causes it, so I try to make all my moves first before I level things up. Because I've just, I've like done my leveling up and then realized that half of my movement got consumed for some reason. I've just, I've had it happen to me only a couple of times, but it's still really annoying. Alright, Queek needs extra ambush success chance. Cool. That might have helped him against bloody Belagar in that situation. Oh well. Good. 
Good, these guys are all getting on their bro bone breakers. Nice. Nice. Queek's gonna get stronger because of that. Oh, I just realized. I just realized. I should give Queek the Chieftain. And I'll give. I'll give Vectik the Gutter Runner Slinger. Since Queek doesn't boost it at all. Challenge me, me! Burn my hammer ashes. Now there's always a chance. Remember the increased building cost? Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah okay, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Um, okay. Thanks, dude. Um, so yeah, we'll build stuff like this that, that needs to be built straight away because that's going to generate food. So that's going to provide a return on investment real quick. And it's also providing money. So building this up, that's cheap. So yeah, that's also cheap. That's not cheap. Oh, that's not too bad. Get that. It's, it's important. This one over here, that can wait. The walls can wait until we get our food um, up. Okay. Yeah, thanks for that. I saved a bit of money by, um, by just waiting. Okay. Okay, public order here. It looks like it's going to revolt again. <laughs> But honestly, we could handle a revolt now quite easily. I think. I may need to get back over here and stop this um, vampire invasion. No frenzy for Queek? Not, it's not that important. That is hardly essential. Alright, that all looks pretty good. Let's move on to the next turn. And we're making pretty good money now as well. Yeah, let's move on. Yeah, I think the increased construction cost thing is something with this mod. It's not... That's not in vanilla, because I don't remember that being the case. How do I like the old world mod? Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Legend, do you have any YouTuber or streamer you watch consistently? Oh, constantly? Yeah, this guy, Legend of Total War. He's pretty good. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, I usually try to spread my time around fairly evenly. I keep keep track of what all the other YouTubers are doing. Um, there's nobody that I, like, religiously watch anymore. I used to watch PewDiePie like crazy, but I don't anymore. What about Tariff? Yes, I watch a lot of Tariff. But his videos are like two minutes long, so I could watch every single one of his videos that he uploads and it does not take up much of my day. But yeah, I do watch pretty much everything that Tariff uploads. That's hilarious. Why Clan Rictus hates you? Uh, because we're Skaven, and Skaven are backstabby fuckers. We don't have anything that's providing extra relations with, with Skaven, so that's probably doing it. Member of the Bro Army? Yeah. I used to watch tons of PewDiePie. Not so much anymore. Not that I got anything wrong with him, but I just, just don't watch that much these days. Alright, well that's that's helped by 10%. So that's good. That's, yes, yes. If you have a look at this one here, that saves 200 gold. Alright, and also they backed off, so it looks like we can continue our a righteous crusade against these guys. Clan Angrin. They're stronger than them. And good, we've got 140 food capacity now. We need to make sure this is built. That needs to be done right away because we are getting close to monstrous plans. I'm actually one turn behind. I should have built that last turn. 
Because that'll increase our food capacity and food generator. That'd, that'd be worth it. That one also increases our food generated. That's actually not that expensive. Do it. Do it. Okay, how long is this going to take? Five turns until it revolves. We've improved our Karak 8 peak situation. Passive ability frenzy for clan rats and storm vermin units. Nice. Run for noise. All right, I want that guy to stay put so that I can attack him next turn. Pretty sure I'll reach from here, but unfortunately, I just don't have enough experience in this mod to know for sure. Yeah, that seems likely that we'll be able to reach it. Just stay hidden there. Uh, Lost Archway of Valea. Yeah, get some more of those going, because that's good stuff. Are we selling off all that iron? I doubt it. No, yeah, so don't upgrade that. It's a waste. Alright, let's have a look Master. at Clan Rictus. Yeah, they, they don't hate us that much. They used to hate us more. Let's see if we can get him to join Perhaps war against Clan Angrind. Just need some security. No. You have relatives? Looks like these guys are on their way out anyway. I'll wait and see if I can get like a non-aggression pack for that. Sorcerer inventor. Yes, yes. I need Vectic to get to level 13 so we can grab Envoy of the Council. That'll really help. Well, we're making good progress towards capturing all of Eight Peaks. Definitely making good progress. We own half of it, and and Belagar's wounded at the moment. Stop that! I'll need to get rid of this soon. Alright, nothing else that desperately needs to be done. Yeah, I'll hold off on that. Alright, let's move on. What are my thoughts on Old World so far? Well, I've only seen a very small portion of it, but so far it's very good. I have more than a thousand hours across the games, and now I only learned about the treasury button existence. And it happens. The right gives you plus relations with Skaven. Yeah, plus 13. Who cares? That's not going to do anything. That's not going to make any impact whatsoever. Brilbo Baggins did a $10 super chat. If you're enjoying this mod, I highly suggest a Torox campaign. It's the most fun I've had with Beastmen since Worm 2. Cheers for everything you do. Yep. Uh, Torox is a fun campaign in Immortal Empires, all this, I'm sure. But Beastmen campaigns do not perform well on YouTube. Because they're too easy. But thanks, super chat. Yeah, there's only really a handful of factions that actually perform okay at the moment. Most other, like especially the OP factions, like Beastmen, they um, they just don't draw the crowd in, which I understand. It's too easy. Skaven do, because it's fun to watch me do my shenanigans. But when it comes to Beastmen, the shenanigans are a little bit boring. Any tips for a traditional Aizu Fox campaign? Uh... Use forests. Forests can be very helpful. Yeah, I'll just take that. Uh, looks like the guy ran away. I was trying to avoid that. Don't 
Don't disappoint me, me. Unless he's standing right over here. All right, I'm gonna have um, Vec take priority. Oh, he is he's standing right over here. Okay, well that's good. That's good. This guy's showing up. I have watched high elves. High elves are actually the, one of the highest performers for views. The thing is, there is no faction that 100% of the people are going to watch, but High Elves are almost always high performers, especially Tyrion's campaign. Now, we need to order resolve this in order to ensure this one here gets wiped out, which shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, that's fine. Cool, fairly minimal casualties wiped out their forces, so stop them from recruiting. And let's just capture this one at tier one. Yeah. Collect precious things for me. Do you know about Warmer 40k Rogue Trader? Yes, I'm aware of it. I haven't played it yet. I'm thinking about it. Because there's always so many games I gotta play. I just can't play them all. Scully, no, Scully! So let me tell you about the races that tend to perform pretty well for views. Um Skaven, usually, that's mid-high. Um, the Empire, as long as I play either Balthazar Gelt or Karl Franz, they're the ones that perform pretty well. Um, High Elves usually perform pretty well, except for Nagareth doesn't perform very well for some reason. Don't know why. Um, Scarbrand usually performs pretty well. Warriors of Chaos performs pretty well, but only with either Archaeon or... Or, um, Bellacore. For some reason, the Champions of Chaos don't perform very well whenever I cover them. Alright, we use the growth on that. That's fine. Wait, how's our food? Doesn't matter, just you gotta get it growing. Um, Lizardmen don't perform very well. Dark Elves perform like they're one of the worst. Vampire co uh, Coast is usually the, one of the worst. Vampire Counts are 50-50. Sometimes they're really good, sometimes they're really bad. Beastman, pretty bad, yeah. Pretty much all the Demons of Chaos, except for Scarbrand, perform really bad. Except for maybe Kugath, but I haven't played Kugath in ages. I think people just show up because they're like, oh my god, he's playing this gross campaign. I want to see what he does. Hard to say. Would be good to get renowned and feared and reduce our upkeep costs a little bit more. Yeah. Wood elves? Wood elves? Sometimes. Not always. Grimgore? Uh, Greenskins are a mid sort of faction. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Hey, Radiant Ash, how's it going? Will there ever be a no defeat domination campaign with Skaven? Probably not, because people just lose interest really quickly with campaigns these days. I just can't justify spending that much time on a campaign. People just usually want you to move on, or want me to move on, I mean. Okay, we can upgrade this one here. That's fine. A little bit of an extra cost, but it's okay four turns into the revolt. If I build this, I could prevent it. It's not that expensive. If I could just get that control under control, no, yeah, probably not. Okay, I need to recruit a lord over here. I've got an idea because I need to find out if there's any armies coming out this way because I want to jump from here to here. But if they intercept us, that would be really bad. Four turns until that's done. 
Yeah, I can't see me fixing up any of this other public order problems in that amount of time. Okay, well, this is what it is. Okay, these settlements here are fine. Carry, carry grill is fine. Yep, cool. Alright, let's move on. Oh, wait, should I upgrade this? Yeah, let's do that one. Yeah, that's not that expensive, just do it. I, I need to get the extra food coming in. Okay, and let's move on. Recruit chiefs in region where it's revolting? Yes, that's a good idea. I might actually be able to do that. It's a good idea. Have you... Oh, sorry, uh, pretty good always here to he hear you talking smack about my best boy, Cougaroos. Is that Cougath? Oh, look, they jumped over here. Okay. Hmm. I feel like... I feel like they're just asking to die. Collect income? Yeah, but I, I need the money from that. <laughs> I'd much rather a revolt occur than me not tax that region. Had a chaos dwarf form. Uh, mid mid high. They're they're okay. Probably because I don't cover them that often. Excuse me. Hey Hangfire, how's it going dude? Been tempted to try this mod out? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's about 300 megabytes of download, so that's not a big deal. Well, red fangs are out of here. Oh, good, and the food situation has been resolved, which means... Ooh! Which means, okay, we've prevented a revolt here. Because once that's built, that's not going to allow a revolt to occur. That's good. Oh, look at this. Fucking out of range. Do you take me for a wazak? Interesting. Interesting. Okay. I kind of... Hang on, what is this? Considered mountainous terrain by the look of it. Which means we've got a decent chance of remaining hidden. Problem is if we if we go into ambush stance right here, this guy's got a good chance of detecting us, so I kinda need to go into the middle here. Plus if I do that, there's a decent chance of interception. If they decide to jump again. Cause he's not gonna be able to reach Caragrill. If I can't reach him, he can't reach us. Address me as and if one of our guys here gets detected, just one of them, then that should be okay. No, I will not shame my clan. Okay. This one just stay here for now. Just keep an eye on this. That's all looking pretty good. Alright, so our construction stuff now is not too bad. Okay, we can get a Warlock Engineer. Yeah, I wasn't able to recruit any more Chieftains, but I've got a Disciplined one available here. Hang on. I think... Yeah, if I can upgrade this, I'll have another capacity for him. He started getting cunning, didn't I? Let me just see if there's anything here. Warlock Engineer, that's cunning. There we go. Alright, let's get that. And let's get him up here to attach to Queek. Uh, he'll probably need to meet him up about there. 
And I got another one. That's a Plague Priest. Assassin that's cunning. Warlock Engineer, the one's cunning. Okay, that goes into... Warlock Engineer! Thingy, okay. We'll hold off on the Plague Priest for now, because I kind of need the money for some other things. That would be good to increase our... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, that's right, we increase it at tier 5 now, don't we? Well, we need to get moving towards that, don't we? Okay, and technologies. One more turn and then that'll be available. That's really good tech. So just spend one turn researching something else around here. Just make our way towards murder dissenters. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So hopefully our ambushes here don't get detected and he makes his way over to Keragril. And we kill that army. Because that doesn't seem too bad. As long as they work together, should be fine. Yep. Okay, let's move on. How about a Tyrion goes full bloodline of an Aryan, including Sword of Cain, this turn of war? Uh, I don't know. I've kind of done that before, and I don't know, it wasn't that interesting. Assassinate the hero that could detect you. Those here are fucking jumped right over me and we didn't bloody get him. Yeah, uh, those heroes have minus 100% agent action success chance. So the chances of you assassinating it is literally 0%. I can show you next turn. But there is no chance of assassinating them. I can't believe he jumped over two armies and didn't get bloody uh, detected. Because if if Queek's army had intercepted him, I could have fought him. If Vectig's army had, uh, hard to say. Okay, there is a chance, a good chance, I will actually be able to ambush him because. Queek has a 100% ambush success chance, but we have to consider that he's got minus 25%. Now, we could increase it a little bit further if we recruit a cunning general here. If there's anyone in here that's cunning... Shit. Sneaky is not going to cut it. There we go, that'll do it. Alright, that increases our chances by 10%. So it still says 100%, right? But at least it's now, um... It's basically 85% chance we'll ambush him. Because, yeah, if I attack him and it doesn't ambush him, he'll run away. Fucking hell! 85% success chance! Oh, what's the point of this? Oh my god, my luck! Great, and now they can reach... Oh, he doesn't have a siege attacker, though. You fucking bitch! So it is. Do you take me for a wazak? Oh my god. 85% success chance. No, that equals zero. Because this guy's got no ambush defense chance. Okay, like I said, I was going to show you this. Oh, hang on. I might be able to block him. Yeah, 0% success chance. Alright, if we take the highest level character that we've got here. This one. And we try to block... Okay, cool, 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 cool. So he no, is not going anywhere. Alright, he's not going anywhere. I will not disgrace my ancestors. Master Engineer. Oh, okay, hang on. Oh, I need to disband you. 
Could you please get some extra loyalty, please? There we go. Aren't the miners siege attackers? Uh, I don't think so. No, no. They're good against gates, but they're not siege attackers. There's no siege attacker in this army. Alright, yeah, well, let's see him get away from us next turn. Don't disappoint me, me. Okay, this guy here, go into ambush stance over here, because I reckon this guy's maybe going to force march over to here, so I need to make sure I can catch him. He's going to basically try to get away. Silly, silly dwarf thing. If only these guys were attached a little bit earlier, we could have guaranteed an ambush. Man, I can't believe that failed. My luck is so bad. At least, at least that one blocked him, so I gotta be grateful for that. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, public order here. It's gonna be stable pretty soon. Okay, we finished that building, so monstrous plans. That's really gonna help. Good, good, good. And, yep, let's upgrade that. And don't bother with that. And just save up the rest of that money because I may need it. Okay, let's move on. Anything good here? Nope. Okay, move. Ah, hang on. Let me just check diplomacy again. Clan Nor. Machines and give me your rat slave so I can take steel. Yeah, I get some money out of him. My I don't care if he pisses off Rictus. He can fuck himself. Iron <laughs> Call me. Yeah, he's Lord not particularly happy Craven with me because of that, but I don't really care. Alright, cool, cool, cool. So, in terms of the 8-peak stuff, we've got 5 of the 8-peak settlements, so that's good. We're getting there. Alright, moving on. That army was in tunneling stance, which gives 25% ambush defense chance. Yes, I know, I'm aware of that. I took that into consideration. Uh, Quake's ambush success chance is more than 100%. It was about 110%, which is why I said it was 80% chance. Yeah, 80% chance of success. 85%. No artillery available for recruiting? There probably is some now. It's not essential. We've already got some. Attack for ten turn, uh, twenty turns. All armies. That's that's pretty ridiculous. I'm gonna take that. <laughs> Who cares about that fucking dude that's just sitting in there? Ah, uh, but here's the thing. This dude has to remain active. If I disband him, we lose that. I feel like that's a fair offer. Alright, we get another chance. Yeah, so if we have a look at this, we can see that ambush success chance is 90%, which means it's actually lower. It's at 60... Hang on, 90... 65%. But, if I bring this in here, and this in here, that's 20%. They're both cunning. Mighty warrior champion. Is that Belagar again? Belagar's back. Oh, Belagar's probably got some extra ambush defense chance. Oh, wait, 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 look, he's... He doesn't have anything in the red. 
Uh, sorry, in the blue, so I don't think he does. Infest me. Hmm. Run. <laughs> fools, fools. Just have to hope Break that this works. I don't have enough movement to justify putting anyone else into the army. We just have to hope this actually works. Right, if I just bring him down here. Run, fools! Where's my, my doom racket? Army's in local owned region. This is my local owned region. My order, scary, move! <laughs> uh, it's okay. We, this is where we put in the backup. Hopefully, you can reach it. Fucking hell. Belagar's bloody lucky. Okay, it probably won't be an ambush, but we can, we can reach him. Now, Vecti can't get there. But this army's not that big of a deal, so I think Queek, as long as he is able to. Sure, that's fine. Need to force march. Distance to cover. Harness the, the power. War bridge intact. Lightning strike. Power enhances the priest. Need more trophies. Yes, yes. Get rid of this clan right, I think. Because this would be way better. We make clan stronger. Alright, this guy here has a very low chance of ambushing, so it's probably not going to be an ambush. That's fine, we don't need it to be. Alright, at least he can't escape this time. We, ca we caught him. The ambush attack stance also lowers ambush chance by another 15%. The numbers are not properly taken into account in the tool ship. I'm, I'm pretty sure it does take it into consideration. It's all In my experience, it always has taken it into consideration. Devia Quick has got huge amounts of buffs of um, ambush success chance. I think I just got unlucky. Alright. Alright, let's do this. Like, I'll show you that the tooltip does actually do it by... I might be able to do it this turn. If you switch into ambush uh, stance, you can see on the tooltip it should go up by 15%. Unless things have changed since the last time I've played it, and they actually reversed course on a bunch of this stuff, which that's possible. Okay. Wow, brilliant formation. Brilliant. <laughs> okay. Wait for my reinforcements to show up. That's a good defensive position there. Yes, yes. Quick, fast. Unholy Messiah did a photo super chat. Always a good day when you're streaming. Love the content, legend. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Thanks for super chat. See, so, yeah, I cast the spells, but if you don't pin them down, it's they're just gonna dodge it. trying to shoot at me. It's fine. Ooh, giant slayers. It's okay. Rakatay, Rakata. Four leaders, hear me. I see all of Now, let it now. Hide and hurry. Fight on a car. Okay, the biggest concerns are the missile units, which they're gonna dodge that. Pretty good, really good thing. Okay, you need to be shooting now, please. 
Let's take hands. Ali Cherigi did a two dollars super chat. Sentinels of Asara or Spire Guards of Ubrace? Um, both are good. It's up to you. There's there's no right or wrong answer. I think Sentinels of Asara are the way to go, but you can go either way. Heroes move up. Because, yeah, they'll be able to fight a lot longer than than the rest of our line here. Although, the extra melee attack, faction wide, I think that's really going to come in handy here. How's this one going? Hasn't done that much damage. Okay, yep, go for Belagar there. Good. The bigger the blob here, the better. Okay, let's start sending these guys this way. Seems like it's going pretty well over here. That's good. Yep, just keep bombing in there. That looks great. Let's keep that as we know. Ready, ready. Cutlers may take charge. I am, am ready. Okay, chieftains are struggling just a little bit. Looks like they've done quite a bit of damage, but they're they've separated from each other. They need to fight together if they want to do a good job. Still got this one over here that needs to be dealt with, but I need someone with magic attacks. I think this one here has got it. Let's go over there and sort that out. Greatest of magic users. What orders? Die, die, screaming. Be so warlord. Ready to hunt, kill. <laughs> Uh, this one's taking too much damage, just pull him out. Belagar just pulled right through, whatever. Our tile's yours! Great! Great! Yes! <laughs> Make corpse corpse! Nash! Kill! Kill! Now, this one back, taking too much damage. Grey Seal! Master Envoy! Um, Icor93 became a for 22 months. Cheese. Alright, thanks dude. Appreciate that support. Yes, uh, not really cheese. This is not a cheesy battle here. I'm not really cheesing it, but yeah, appreciate that. Yes, yes. Lead our boss. 
I am right for. Ready to roll me! Alright, we also need to make sure that Belligar gets wounded to maximize the amount of food that we get, because I think the army loss is about to trigger. Their forces are absolutely... Yep. Absolutely smashed. Alright, you stop shooting. Even though Belligar will definitely be wounded after this battle, again, we just need to make sure that he actually gets wounded in the battle to maximize our food output. That's really important. Marcus Wilfart with a $25 super chat. Uh, thanks for the two streams this week. Happy holidays and happy New Year's legend. Alright, thanks dude. I appreciate that. You too. Always appreciate your support. Oh crap, I hadn't finished yet. Oh, Belagar might actually get away. Still got a, a lot to... Uh, Challenge me that was a that was actually a good toss because you're throwing him Clan into the Clan obey follows me. into the center of the map, which is good. Okay, just leave Queek to do it. He should be able to manage on his own just fine. That's looking pretty good. If anything, we should use these guys to um, use them like a uh, like a football. Yeah, that's it. It just buys us a bit more time to keep running him down. Because, yeah, that's where all the food is. If we don't kill him in the battle, we don't get it. This is lore friendly. Queek in the lore kills um, Belagar Ironhammer. Cool. Alright, bit of damage, no units got wiped out. Their army is completely wiped, so that's good. Howling Warp Gale. That's useless against the dwarves unless they're bringing... Um, gyrocopters. And he gets banned by Thorgrim. Yeah, he gets killed by Thorgrim. Dwarfs need Thunder Barges. They might actually get Thunder Barges in the DLC. I imagine Thrones of Decay, or Thrones of Delay, is probably going to be pretty meaty in terms of content. Good. 20 food. That's what we needed. That's what we need to see. And I will take the money. Release them, then. Good stuff. Unfortunately, Vectik just didn't have enough movement to keep up. Uh, oh, there's going to be a rebellion here. That's just not too bad. Because this settlement was... Yep. Okay. More food for us. I, mighty warrior champion. Address me as Sea Lord. Yeah, we have to keep this guy... Wait, 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 I don't have to keep this guy active. I just need to keep the army active. So, we'll just pop this down so that he... Oh, yes. <laughs> Didn't have another unit in his army. Uh, uh, 10 melee attack, all armies for 20 turns. For an extra supply line. I could load the save file. I forgot about that. Um, That's alright. Easy come, easy go. We'll be fine. Okay, we're back up to 20 units now, and it's good that we've got these guys here for the increased mobility. Not particularly useful on a non... Um, weapons team army. But it's still good. Okay. 
Okay, and we can get another disciplined one, I believe. Oh, are you kidding me? He was here two turns ago. He's gone. <laughs> I was going to save him. Damn it. Alright, uh, when it comes to assassins, I like to get cunning. I'm pretty sure I've got one in here that is... Yep, there's a cunning one. Use these guys here as scouts. Okay, we're going to have to split up. Vectique is going to have to come down over here because there's going to be a revolt there. And Queek will have to deal with this revolt. Which is giving them time to recover, but we're in pretty good shape here. Food's not too bad. Might be able to abandon this and bring it up to tier 5 soon. That'd be good. Good, we need to get monstrous abominations. That's massively going to help with our tech rate once that's researched. Yep, let's do that. Uh, I think we should build... Oh, that's pretty good. I think we should build defenses here. Because there's a good chance this one's going to just jump over. So it's not safe. I'll eventually demolish that. Eventually. Alright, nothing else here is particularly urgent, so let's just leave that as it is. Save up the money for this turn, and that all looks pretty good. Alright, let's move on. So yeah, rebellion over here first, and then there'll be another one over here. Okay, moving on. How are you liking Old World mod so far? Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Who is, actually is the rightful owner of Eight Peaks? The dwarfs. Oh, look, that brings back Skarsnik. Nah, not worth it. Great defeat trait for the Skaven, but not worth, not worth it. Nothing, nothing interesting happened over there in turn. Alright, there'll be a revolt over here that needs to be dealt with, right? Yep. And the reason why we don't send Queek is because if he goes into this province, he'll just actually maintain the public order. Okay. Let me just check here that he doesn't have... Okay, he shouldn't be providing any more public order if we go into this area here. Let me just check. Mm, forward. Yep, yep, it's fine. Right, force march him to here. Don't go inside the settlement because we want the revolt to occur. Yummy food. This place is me. Attack! Attack! Gore seeking attention running around with three full stacks. Yeah, I saw. I saw it. Food's looking pretty good now. Pretty good. Keep gracious, scum away. 
Hmm. I could probably send Queek to go and attack Karag Yar. But if I don't stay... Hmm, I'll stay there. Run for noise. If I send the province, I'm not going to get that public order. Buffer. Uh, I... Hmm. Could bring that one up to tier 5. Nah, best do this one, I think. Um, OKD ended a TRY22 super chat. Love from Turkey. Which faction is your favorite? Uh, Clan Scryer, I think. Or Scarbrand. Thanks super chat. Appreciate you, dude. Alright, this is all looking okay here. Ooh. Ashen contract approved. I do like being able to save new heroes with good traits. Also, Vectik's army is a weapon team doomstack, so... We could start... We could start him on that, because I believe... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, yeah, we've got all the recruitment stuff here needed. And that way, if this guy here decides to pick a fight with me, I can easily take him on. Okay, 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 okay. That's good. Yeah, we can get rid of all of this garbage. And actually get him a proper proper army. Okay, but I need to upgrade this. And... We need to start getting Plague Priests. Oops. Alright, I'm gonna recruit and disband a Plague Priest in the hope of getting a Cunning one show up, because that's really important for the ambush success chance. Brognord Super Chat. What? Uh... No, I read the Super Chat, sorry. No, I read it. Okay. If we upgrade this one as well, that'll give us Lord Recruit rank plus one, which is good. And that'll ensure this, this province here is never going to revolt again, basically, because this is a pretty big boost. Yeah, four extra public order. Uh, it could still revolt again. Need more trophies, yes, yes. Okay, that's good. I have have seen the All right, making good money from this province, so I think investing into it is a good idea. Okay, cool. Let's move on. Wasn't Car Cunning nerfed? It was indeed, yeah. Also, we need to check if the tooltip is, is being accurate. I need to have a look at that. Where is he going? Ooh, okay, he wants to, he wants to fight. Okay. Is this something special about this Vectique? Vectique is unstoppable. If if you understand the lore of this channel, it's been going on for years, ever since the original This is Total War Ishi Claw campaign. Vectique is unstoppable. He's never been killed. He's like an unofficial legendary lord of this particular channel. Alright. I'm 
So yeah, this one here will act as a scout for Queek, and this one will act as a scout for yes, Vectix. Yes. Vectix pretty much ready to go and smash Vampire Count soon. I just gotta get his army together. Looks like we've got enough money for it. Yeah, get rid of this. Whatevs. All right, I need the food because we're gonna di we're going to abandon this settlement now, and Vectik is going to recolonize it at tier five. He might as well stay. Oh, hang on, doesn't some of these units only take one turn to recruit now? Let me just have a look. Fools, fools. Yeah, they only take one turn to recruit. That's good. Play Claw Catapult, one turn to recruit. Alright, what's the cheapest in upkeep? Play Claw Catapult. Well, that's a good number of bloody recruit slots. Okay, well, let's get rid of the most expensive unit. Gutter Runners. Merge some of these guys here. Skaven Slaves are useless garbage. Just disband them. Okay, we need four Plague Claw Catapults. Cool. Still room for a bit more. Let me just check for a second here. It'll be three turns until our best units are available. That's fine. He's not going to be able to recruit here next turn. We need... I need to keep checking the... Uh, discipline is not what we want out of this one. Ugh. Okay. Probably should chill it with the friggin' recruiting then. I dominate. No, nah, that's kind of more important, I think. I've heard some people say that Eshin Sorcerer's Veil of Shadow spell plus Law of Passive is more efficient crowd control for weapons teams than Clan Rat Summons. Thoughts? Um, I don't really agree, but if that's what they believe, then that is totally fine. Maybe they're right. How dare you disagree with me? Don't you know I'm Legend of Total War? <laughs> I'm always right. Uh, look, hey, if, if, if it works for him, great. I find uh, the Esh, uh, sorry, the Plague Priest to be really bloody effective, but whatever. It speaks his mind, mind. All right, chances of ambush, it says it's 100%. This is not a locally owned region, so, so cunning isn't going to do anything. Fight me, fight. It'd be funny if they actually set up an ambush for me. Okay, uh, should we auto that? Yep, because that'll guarantee they all get wiped out. Alright, do it. Do it. Go. Good, that damage isn't too bad. That's really helping us out with our food supplies for next turn. This. I think that was his last army. So obviously he needs to recruit some new ones. Yeah, yeah, we've completely crippled him. Ooh. If I take Karag Ziflin, we've blocked him from eight peaks. And then we like double back around over this way. There's nothing coming out that way. This is only a minor settlement though. Is knowledgeable still shit? Yep. 
Ooh, I'm going to lose a clan rat if I order resolve. Uh, looks like I'll just have to fight that one manually because I don't really want to replace that clan rat right now. Jazale is the best unit? Yeah, Jazale and the... The Poison Wind Mortars, they're really good. Could get Karak Yar and tier 5 it. Food is maxed out. It's not maxed out. Uh, last time I checked, uh, my... Hang on. Quick look. No, our max is 175. I'm at 154. There's still room for more food. It's just that it's max tier, that's all. Alright, send these guys to pretty much do it all on their own. There's nothing in here that's dangerous. I just don't want to lose a unit. There's nothing they can do. Yeah, we're not even taking damage. Cool. Stupid auto resolve. So we'll probably end up getting about five food for this victory. So yeah, we shouldn't be at max food. I really hope they'd return knowledgeable to what it was since they dumpstered that shitty percentage increase and made it capacity again. Uh, yeah, I really don't see them doing that. You never know. Maybe they'll do it. I doubt it, though. Occupy that tier 3. No, I'm not at max food, and I'm about to spend a lot of food. Oh, I need two food. No, I usually build minor settlements at this stage of the campaign, just at tier 1. It's not difficult to just spend some money on upgrading the settlements to tier 3. It takes ages to get to tier 5 though, so that's why we focus on that. Let's see if he wants peace. He's fairly close to peace. But we now have 6 of the Karakate Peak provinces, Lord Recruit Rank and Frenzy, where we already had Frenzy before, but the other two are ripe for the taking. So we won't get here next turn. Oh, we could we could put Karag Yar up to tier 5. Maybe I don't, maybe I shouldn't abandon this. Because yeah, I won't have food for both. And this has got a really good... Yeah, okay, okay, never mind. Because this one here, that's shit. Okay, forget about this one. So we're not going to abandon that. Vectik is not going to... Um, to recolonize that right now. Ready to kill, kill. Okay, that's fine. Alright, this settlement here, we could use the marble. Yeah, let's do that. And that, okay. Because, yeah, it doesn't cost that much to, to just upgrade it. 
you, you just can't push every settlement up to its maximum in the early stage of the campaign. When you've got loads of passive food income and you're not expanding that much, then yeah, sure. But right now, no. Alright. We're sort of starting to reach the point of, like, critical mass. Mighty. Things are getting pretty bloody good yeah. right now. Call me Lord. Wow, with four settlements, he's friggin' stronger than I am by a big margin. Fucking cheating bitch. <laughs> That's legendary for you. Then again, we're about to get a doom stack. We'll see if that boosts as much. Sneaky infiltrator. Okay, nothing else to do here, I think. No, there's something. Yeah, it would be good if we could save a bit more money. That actually saved quite a bit. I wonder if we should be getting speed. If we're going to attack a walled settlement next turn, speed might be more useful. There's not that many in there. We might even be able to order resolve it. Alright, cool. Move on. Might do these uh, quest battles soon. With Queek. Because his army's still just mostly clan rat garbage, but the chieftains are good. And they'll compensate. Also, we've got a talisman of preservation. I really should have equipped that before. Cool. And he's probably got like tons of ward save now. Yeah, 41%. Nice. Knowledgeable rework is 5% extra lord experience globally. I'd spam that. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. I don't think they're going to do that, though. But I, I would get that, for sure. Eventually, you get to a point where you fight one battle against one lord, and it just maxes you out to t uh, level 50. Uh, you'd need a lot for that. CA should make something with this knowledgeable. It's the worst when character reaches max level. Yep. <laughs> More things for my trip. <laughs> Our respite from war is a healthy thing. Thing, thing, no. Fuck off, no fur. <laughs> no way. I've got you by the dwarf balls. Trying to shortchange me. No peace. No alliance. I like how the entire stream so far has been a focus on capturing the eight peaks. Because it's not just like capture one settlement and then just that's just the end of it. You gotta really work quite hard to get the whole lot. But it definitely looks like we are going to achieve it. Okay. Yeah, so we'll spend 120 food on this and pump it up. We've got two turns until Giselles are available. And I've been wanting to look into more of these. Yes! <laughs> nice! Yes! Good, and that will make it easier for the next time I play a campaign. Because I will save you. Thank you very much. You're going into that army. Very good. That was very lucky. Alright, you go up ahead and just keep an eye out for any Belagar armies that might come down here. Although, there's no way because... Yeah, there's just no way. Because this guy here is... um. They had no armies behind this. Alright, hopefully we can just auto-resolve this. Get the things. What, what? I gotta fight it manually. That order resolve is not acceptable. Isn't knowledgeable actually kind of good with the new mentor skill? It's like knowledgeable is not completely useless. It's just not that not as good as what it used to be. Nowhere near as good. Yeah, you're looking at small amount of stat stacking that doesn't really matter that much. That's all.
Undivided Demon Princes have 6 skill. Gives Lord XP plus 15% faction wide. Yeah, yeah, that's a really good skill. That's way better than knowledgeable. Excuse me. Pick up. Shake, shake. Okay, these guys here have a speed of 60. Uh, this guy here's got a speed of 60 as well. We can actually keep up with them. Alright, these two are going to stay... Okay, yep, it's fine. Right. I reckon this time I'll be able to win this via capping the points, just because of how quick these guys are. Damn, that is a good banner, getting him to speed up like that. Actually kind of faster than them. Uh, but not if they do this. <laughs> yeah, then they pick up a lot of pace. Gotta go. Oh, shit. I gotta... Uh, okay, no, okay. I'm gonna summon this here to start bashing down that gate. Because they can't cap this point. Yeah, they can't cap it. Even if I took them over the wall, they're not going to cap it. They'll just start knocking that down a little bit. Oh, wow. They didn't do very much. Oh, that was a waste. At least make knowledgeable faction wide instead of lord only. Do you know what I think? I think that every trait should actually be interesting. A lot of the traits, most of the traits in the game are not interesting at all. I think that the high elves really have like a, a good idea with, with their traits. So if I was to make a mod and change every single trait in the game, what I would do is I would make it so that every trait would have some bonus for the army, even if it's only small, but also a drawback. So, for example, if I had Disciplined, maybe that would increase um, melee attack and leadership and redu and increased upkeep cost by 2% or 1%. Or if you've got something that reduces upkeep cost, it would decrease their s stats, something like that. But, like, have every single one of them be actually interesting. Instead of like, plus leadership, plus, uh, uh, leadership aura of five. Like, uh, that's crap. <laughs> plus five armor. Plus 10% ammunition reduces leadership by 5. Something like that. I don't know. Reduces speed by, by 5%. Yeah, so make it somewhat sensible. So you end up with an army. If you're using missile army, it's like got shitloads of ammo, but they can barely move. You know what I feel like? If, I feel like slowly, but surely, they're just like adapting SFO changes, because SFO takes a long time to bash through these gates. Oh, well, they actually did it first, probably because there were too many of them. Just go right through. Over here, probably should, should have one, because there's just one little attack point. The whole gate isn't attacked. There we go. <laughs> Why would I stay in fight here? Look at him go. Oh shit, fucking slow. 
is. All right, get get back out. Oh, hang on. Let's get, let's get At least they've just uh, been distracted, which is good. Knowledgeable could increase wins, but also increase miscast chance. Yeah, that's that's a good idea. Or how about this? How about an increase, a, a decrease miscast chance? But sorry, yeah, decrease your miscast chance, but also decrease your wins of magic. Everybody would get that, wouldn't it? Minus five percent miscast chance, all characters faction wide. Minus five wins of magic maximum faction wide. Yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> That's what Creative Assembly will implement. What about this? Minus 10% research rate, but you get one extra leadership when playing as the dwarfs. <laughs> yeah. Provide you, get rid of something you need and give you something you don't need. Okay, we gotta move, we gotta move. back. Or oh, do you know what do you know what you should do? This is this is for Creative Assembly in Sega. Make it so that you have to pay real money for good traits. Kind of like influence with the high elves, except you gotta play real, real money. <laughs> loot, bo loot boxes for traits. Otherwise, you get always negative traits. It's like minus five melee attack for the entire army, or pay five dollars and get plus five melee attack for the entire army. It just and that way you get the satisfaction of knowing that you're getting a bonus. Or what about this? Pay one dollar and get a random trait. But you can also re-roll it for another dollar. Yeah, pay money to re-roll stats. <laughs> Calm down, set into Satan. <laughs> Costs are up. You now have to pay one dollar to buy a new legend. Uh, to buy a new lord in your campaign, you have to pay one real dollar. Imagine if that happens in Total War Warhammer 40k. You want to recruit a new lord in your campaign? You got to pay a dollar. <laughs> you, when you buy the game, you get five free campaigns, but after that, you have to pay five dollars every time you want to start a new campaign. <laughs> oh my god. Creative Assembly right now. Oh, furiously writing down notes. Oh my god, this is gold! Ways for CA to, CA to die off as a company is what I'm hearing. Oh yeah, these are terrible ideas. Absolutely terrible. Well, how about this? How about take away a core graphical feature of the game and then make them pay for it to get it? Like, I don't know. Um, maybe certain animations hid, hidden behind 
like just maybe combat animation DLC because it's not supposed to be in the main game. You got to pay like five dollars and you get all the combat animations, or maybe like remove something like I don't know blood, and then just make them pay five dollars for it after the you know after the game comes out. <laughs> the blood pack. I still don't know how Creative Assembly gets away with, with the blood pack. It is literally not industry standard. They are the only ones that do it, and it's, it's like baffling how they've gotten away with it. Absolutely baffling. Alright, let's have a look here. We got... Oh, that's expensive. Pillar City Hub. I feel like this is what's in the, um... This is like the proper... Karake Peaks. Look at this diplomatic relation with Skaven. Reduce upkeep costs for Skaven Slaves, Clan Rats, Night Runners, Gutter Runners, and Weapon Team Units. Oh my god! I want this! This is bloody great! Look at this! Look at this one here, Plundered Dwarf and Treasury. Take a while to build, but damn, it'll be worth it. I just don't have money. Um, let's actually get this one going in there, because yeah, I need to need to reduce them construction costs. I may actually need to not recruit with Vectic this turn. Cause I need to I need to pump money into that. That's awesome. Hmm. That's really good. Oh well. Cell campaign map and battles is two separate games. <laughs> and if you buy both, you get the combined experience. Oh my god, genius. Oh my god. Keep gracious, come away. So now we're now at seven, right? Yeah, I didn't get any additional bonus for that. Plague priest. Hmm. I may need to fight this quest battle next turn in order to generate some more funds. Because yeah, we, we need more money here. We need to build that public order building. Plan this out. So that one goes there. That one goes there. I actually don't think we need this building here at all. I'm gonna run out of build slots. Okay, and we've got this one here, which is good for generating food. But maybe I'll wait until uh, we're recruiting again with Vectique. Just, just chill for now. I know, no. I don't want to come over here and attack this. Yeah, I don't think that would be wise. Mighty. Yes, I am revenge incarnate. Maybe after I've taken that other settlement, I'll accept that peace treaty. Cause there, yeah, from from here, I might actually be able to jump down here because of the um, the warlock engineer giving me extra movement. Might actually work. Yep. All right, cool. We're done here for this turn. Let's move on. <laughs> Immoral empires. Yeah, good one. Yeah, see, he's obviously not going to do any of that stuff. But it's it'd be pretty funny if they did. Ugh, excuse me.
Yeah, no, I really think that Creative Assembly is going to rein it in a fair bit over the next couple of years. Because they have been humbled big time. Like, they just... Greed just totally took over a Creative Assembly, and they ended up losing so much money because of it. Like, the, the prices that they were charging and the, the quality of content and duty of care that they were doing was so subpar. They're going to be paying paying for that for a really long time. Rightfully so. Yeah, look at this one. Food generated. Okay, we got rid of the building here, didn't we? Yep. Cool. That was useful for quite a while, though. I think I can sack and occupy it. Should be fine for movement. Their hearts are broken. <laughs> you guys not buying our game for the ridiculous price breaks our heart. Yeah. I challenge kill kill. Karak Eight Peaks captured. Mighty great are you. From the top of the Eight Peaks to the north. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, so the bonus that we get for this is... You're in control of Eight Peaks. On turn start, Lords have a chance to gain one lo loyalty. That's good. Lord Recruit rank. Passability Frenzy. That's, I think that's slightly better than what you get in vanilla. It's not massive. Okay. Okay, let's try to get some of this construction done now, because I really want to continue recruiting for... What's his face? Vectig. Ashen contract approved! Address me as Sia Lord. Vanilla was just Lord rank plus four. Oh, okay. Only true vengeance will make me happy. Is that what you offer? If I do this, he is definitely going to come back for me. How long do we have to spend consolidating this? Let's have a look. I feel like this province here may revolt if we don't get these guys out of here. Also, his unique items. What's the set bonus? Allegiance points gained from. Uh, oh, that's crap. <laughs> that's not very good at all. When do I ever really get alliances with Skaven? Ah, well. Alright, let's get rid of one of these units and attach that dude. Oh, right out capacity there. Mm. Don't disappoint me, me. Really want to pick a fight with these guys. Oh, they were very strong. Okay. Let's find some Cornate faction. So we've got two provinces out here, two two capitals that don't 
have high level. This one here, we only got to tier 4. Yeah, that's expensive. Yeah, that's, this is why you want to push the main settlements up. Because look how much it's money it saves you in the long run. Absolutely heaps. Hmm. I feel like the weapons team's army would be pretty good against Chaos Dwarfs. Yeah, I feel like we need to chill for a few turns. I'm going to accept this peace treaty, just get some money out of them. He'll definitely declare war on me again later down the track, but I can't see myself expanding down that way right now. And this way we can at least invest some of that money. Alright, there's probably no point making more iron, because I think we've already got an iron mine and we're not selling it. Oh no, we are selling it all. Okay, that's good. Maybe I've got more trade agreements than I thought. We need to get this one eventually up to tier 5. We've just got to get that food together though. Flip Flop did a 50 SEK Super Jack. Gonna start a new campaign in Warhammer 2. Play a lot of Warhammer 1. Any recommendation for Faction Lord? Yeah, play Ica Claw in Warhammer 2. That's probably the best one. Thanks for the Super Chat. Appreciate it. Okay. Hmm. Man, this province here is not good. What's the um, landmark here? That's a good one. Uh, apart from the minus one control in adjacent province, it's not that big of a deal. But that is a good landmark. I want to get that. And, you know, we got some good stuff coming in, for sure. Alright, got that one there. Yeah, that's crap. Oh, that, that's not so bad. That'll help negate the other one. Okay, let's... Oh, we don't need this anymore. We can get rid of that. Cool. And let's move on. How's the campaign going? It's good. We just captured all of the eight peaks. Quest battle? I just need to replenish a little bit and we'll do it next turn. What's Gorse doing? He's fighting some Cornate faction, but yeah, we should go and fight him, I think. Beligar gonna take the eight peaks, probably, hopefully. No, we've kicked him out. He's he's not gonna be able to deal with us now. Our armies are getting stronger. We've reached the point where dwarf armies are not really going to be a concern, especially if um, if Vecti gets his weapons team Doomstack going. There's there's no stopping that. Not with dwarfs anyway. Guess it depends if these settlements out here can get him up to tier five. I'm just not familiar with them. If I have a look. Yeah, hard to say. And we still got public order problems here, so why we gotta get them up to tier five. See, even with this, still doesn't sort it out. Got this one here as well that we could do. But well, that's a fairly expensive one. Alright, can we can we jump down here? I can, alright. Alright, good to note. I'll probably stay here again this turn because I'm going to fight that quest battle because that'll give us a bunch of money and some quest items which don't really matter. Which one should we do? Let's go with Warp Shard Armor first. This one looks easier, but I'm... Actually, hang on. 
Yeah, warp shard armor looks like an easier quest battle. Let's do that one. We get five grand casualty replenishment rate and shitloads of food. Okay, okay, okay. We don't get extra food for dwarf gouger though. Okay, let's do this one. Attack gorse while he's distracted. I would. The only problem is that we haven't consolidated our territory yet, which means that as soon as we go over and attack him, my settlements are going to revolt. I'm going to lose some of the eight peak settlements. So we need to consolidate them a little bit first. What do you think of horse archers in Shogun 2? Not really a good priority, I think, to go for them. But they're okay. They, they can do a good job. Hardly my favorite unit. Because, yeah, the, sorry. They don't have Parthian shot, so they can't fire while moving in a 360 degree range, which is what makes horse archers really effective. So they have to, they have to turn and face the unit and shoot at it. So they're only really useful in very small situations. So they're not good against other cavalry units because they'll just get charged. They're not good against other archer units because they'll just get shot. They're only good against melee infantry, essentially. So they've got a limited amount of use and they get fairly expensive. So I don't think they're very good. <laughs> Says his armor is more special than mine, does he? he? Hmm? Then I will take steal it. I am quick. The best stuff shall be mine. You plan to confederate anyone? I've already confederated one faction, but it wasn't a legendary yes, yes. lord. I will have to be wary. Make sure clan rats set off the traps. Better they die than me, me. Hmm? <laughs> Scurry forward now, now. Begin fight. Kill, kill. All right. They're not going to come from our rear, are they? Yeah, I probably will. Knowing this, I haven't fought this quest battle in a really long time. I can't remember what happened in it. Okay, there's some clan rats there, which was real stupid. Quick head taker. Ready to roll. Let's take heads. Clan rats. Yeah, we're doing a little bit of damage with that. We definitely don't want those guys getting into the range because they are pretty damn devastating. Take your ears. Oh, wasn't so bad. I remember back in Warhammer 2 days, I think it was, if you had a full stack of these guys and you did that all at once, it made a huge explosion in the in the um, audio. Only a few casualties in that one, I was just checking.
Probably he gets some of my own units, but I need to get rid of these guys. They're annoying me. Look at that, they're trying real hard. Oh, they shattered, okay. Oh, we kill the enemy lord and then they all just shatter. Oh, cool, that's easy. Cool, that worked out very well. In fact, we're in such good shape, we can probably just do the next one now. Are there any plans to upgrade to a 2K or 4K resolution? No, no plans because every time I try to upgrade the resolution, it doesn't make any difference whatsoever to like the views or the likes or anything like that. It makes no difference whatsoever. And it just like increases the number of issues. So I just keep it at 1080p for now. Because, yeah, I can go up to 2K if I really want to, but it just, it just it increases the amount of problems. Especially when live streaming causes loads of crashes. Oh, well. Okay. Well, that didn't get me very much. Well, I didn't really kill that. Any of them, I guess. Yeah, get the food. Okay, that's that's good. That's good. Warp shot armor for Queek. And yeah, I guess we could do the other one as well. We're a little bit damaged. But we're definitely in good enough shape that we we can do this other one. It's a shame this one here doesn't have extra food attached to it. Yeah, we're getting ambushed, but I'm familiar with this battle. We should be fine. Yeah, this one has the army spawn behind us, yeah, and there's iron drakes here. I remember the initial ambush is not that big of a deal, but I need to dwarf. Need to stop and Can I can I please use my connect camera controls please? Oh my god. Okay, I wasn't letting you use my damn keyboard. That is very frustrating when that happens. This is not my favorite quest battle by a long shot, but let's see how we go. Imagine if you're a Skaven that got ambushed by dwarfs. That would be so humiliating. Yeah, in my opinion. So far, we're doing very much minimal damage, and we're kicking their ass. Right, let's move some of these guys all the way up to here. 
It won't let me. Oh, wow. <laughs> They're preventing you from cheesing it. Because, yeah, there's forces going to come in from over here, and we need to be able to block them off, because some of them are going to be Iron Drakes. Yeah, look at that. It's preventing me from doing that. Oh, that's interesting. A fucking invisible wall. Get all these guys. Take out the Iron Drakes. Devastating to my bloody infantry out here. Spring Ricardo crack. I am right poor. Me rule one day. For me. Ready to hunt him. Quick head thing up there. Yeah, Quick will be fine. He's got shitloads of ward save. He'll be fine. Maybe they don't come down here anymore. Thought they would have done that by now. I realized I didn't have no Plague Priest in his army. I actually do have a Plague Priest. I've only got one capacity, and it's in a different army. Yeah, kind of uh, shitloads of heroes just yet. Still kind of early in the campaign. The blob over there is looking pretty good. going really well. They didn't even bother attacking our main force or going after the stuff that they have serious trouble with. I guess they don't come from our rear anymore. Oh, okay. Do you miss Rage Span from Warmer 2? Not really. Not really. Did it in Warmer 2 because you needed to. In Warmer 3, you just don't need to. Cool, zero casualties. Cool, except for this guy taking a lot of damage. That's good. Both quest battles out of the way now. That is very good. Oh, excuse me.
All right, that worked out. And we got oh, should have tried to kill them a bit more. Almost at 120, we could abandon one of the settlements. Just get a bit more. Oh, I can still make a jump. I should have been able to jump down here. Oh, for some reason it's deprived me of some of my movement. It's weird. Okay, well that stuff's good, and we got a shitload of money for that, so that will be enough to pay for Vectique's army. Or... Yeah, probably Vectique's army is what we need it for. Um, switch that up and... Change that. Right, we'll be able to jump down here next turn, I think, and... They got, a, they got a lot of force, but I reckon it's not that they've got doom stacks. They've just got a lot of shit armies. That's what I think. Come. He that doesn't hate us all that much. Maybe I shouldn't be focusing on Helmut Gors. He's got other things to worry about. Maybe I should be going for these Chaos Orbs, which really hate me. Una agash quin ama ardugal. Uno uz am. Yeah. I think we should be going for this because that'll also make uh, Tretch like us. And that way I don't have to take out this one here. Okay. So change of plans. We're going to move this down here. We're going to move Vectik down here. He's going to go for Skullchasm. And he's going to recruit on the way. Alright, so what do we need? Are the Giselles available yet? Yes, they are. They only take one turn. Okay, the Poison Wind Mortars take two turns. We should maybe recruit that first. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven build, uh, recruit slots. Okay. Let's get rid of, let's get rid of this trash first. Yeah, he's going to have his army pretty much ready to go real soon. Okay. Isn't Crookback Mountain a valuable settlement up north? Well, I don't know. I haven't looked at it. This is my first time playing the mod, so you're probably right, but I don't know. Yes, yes. Need more trophies. Yes, yes. Uh, go with that one there. Okay, maybe if we could give Queek another chieftain, that would be good. Do I have any more saved up? I've got pack masters. Mm, I'm gonna hold off on those actually. Maybe maybe put some Invectic army in the meantime. Let me look what we got. Master, that's cunning. All right, we'll go with this one. Can't look at that one. That'll master, go in there. Beast, beast. And we've got another pack master that's cunning. Okay, you're hired. Seven pack master. Okay. Reveal Because yeah, he's gonna miss out on a few heroes. You only go for one mortar team. Yeah, I just go for one. Some people like to go two or even four, but uh, I just I find one is enough. Champion. No right or wrong answer with it. That's just what I prefer. Then I'm going to go with that. Because I don't need Lightning Strike playing a Skaven. Cool. Uh, 
Alright, so at the moment, Quick is trying to maintain the public order of this settlement here. If he leaves oh, the province, good. it's going to cause... Yeah, it's definitely going to revolt if we if we leave. But maybe we should leave. Quick. Maybe we should stay over here, wait for the revolt, and then smash it from over here. That'll get rid of all the instability, because that's only going to take two turns, apparently. If I upgrade this one here, that'll give us two extra public order. I don't think I've got enough food to justify d abandoning this settlement and this one to bring them up to tier 5, so I'm going to actually upgrade this. Oh, we've still got a military crackdown of five turns as well, so that means it's, it's going to... public order is going to keep getting worse. We've also got an event causing public order problems. It's an event. Event minus four, what is it? Oh, unhappy populace. Okay, so that was that event there. Um, yeah, we're going to need to upgrade that. Needs to be done. Oh, right, this right over here. Yeah, you're right, I should use that. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I probably won't actually be able to recruit everything that we just recruited. Oh no, we still can. Cool. And that provides us with extra public order and food. Cool. It's already paid for itself. Nice. Keep gracious, come away. Good thinking, dude. Alright, how many settlements does Drowsaworth have? Five. Alright. Alright, you need to come and have a look over here. We need to keep an eye out for Drowsaworth army. Need to find out where they are, so that I can either avoid them or go after them, depending on how strong they are. Okay, moving on. Since when does Legendator revolt? Well, it depends. It depends on the situation. If there's a revolt has a chance of capturing the settlement, I don't want them to do that. And if it has a chance of bringing back a faction, then that's not ideal. So a revolt in this other settlement over here will cause Crooked Moon to come back, which I don't want them coming back. Okay. <laughs> it just it just comes across as stupid. They don't even bother me. And I was trading with them. Okay. Are you doing another New Year's stream this year? No, definitely not. No, New Year's streams have in the past proven to be very uh, low turnout. And it also means that I can't do anything on New Year's, so no way. Good. Begin the summoning. <laughs> now there's another two turns. Yeah, Creek's going to have to wait for this revolt to come and go. We've got enough food now, but if I do it right now, then... Then the revolt will happen over here instead, <laughs> if it's not good. So, we'll wait until the revolt's over before we demolish this one. Because, yeah, I'm just, I've am just i been saving up growth here, I'm just going to do that one. Scouts 
scurry forward. <clears throat> Don't disappoint me, me. The chosen of the great horn one. Let's bring flesh meat. Feed clan clan. Okay. Let's bring flesh meat. Feed clan clan. Alright, disband them. Alright, we have got... It, it's not perfect in this situation here, but... When we've got extra slots available, because usually I've got more spaces for heroes, which I just don't have the capacity for it. I think we'll go with one extra Giselle and one extra Rattling Gun. And I can always disband them when I find the right heroes for them, if we get to that point. Seek, seek target. You, your things need so these guys have been hand. quite friendly. They've got seven regions. That'd be good to confederate them, especially considering they're at the edge of the map as well. And they're always Drazzle at the Ashen. Okay. So they'll greatly appreciate this. Clan Ashen assassinated. Thief in the very nice night. Clan Moors. Quick just stays here for another turn. Yep, that's fine. And I'm pretty much out of money. Yeah, I don't have the cash for that. Yep, that's a good amount of money for Skaven. Let's grab that. And... It's not terrible, but that costs a lot of money. I'm out of cash. Yep, cut too much better. I know no pet. This we're getting a decent amount of passive food now. That is good. Too bad there's no pastures out this way. That'll be really good food. Bit of extra cat. Uh, bit of extra food. Cool, cool, cool. All right, nothing else I can do here. Let's just move on. How am I enjoying the old world mod? Yeah, pretty good. We've sort of hit critical mass now. I can't imagine anyone's really going to put up a fight for us. So it looks like Drazowath the Ashen has just picked a fight with too many Skaven factions. Now would be a good time to fight them. Drazowath defeat trait 10% income from settlements. And missile resistance. Yeah, it's really good. What kind of PC do you have? Because mine overheats and I smell something burning when I play it for more than 50 minutes. I'm no expert on hardware, but I that to me tells me that you um, either have too much dust in your system, because dust makes it difficult to cool down with a fan, or that your, your um, cooling system is woefully ineffective. So either clean out your computer or get somebody else to do it, or buy a like a liquid cooling device or a better uh, fan that doesn't have dust all over it. But yeah, dust makes a big difference. Like, clear out your dust. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good too. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah. Right now I need cash. That's pretty good. But the thing is, we're one turn away from having almost... We'll just have he heaps of research rate. That's not going to be a problem soon. So, I think pay a finder's fee would be good. Yep, so that's about to revolt now. That's fine. Just don't stay in the province. Stay there. Get rid of the revolt. Abandon the settlement. We've got plenty of food now to, to do that. That will work. His army is ready to go. A little bit on the expensive side, but it should be able to handle quite a lot of turn 30-ish... No, turn 30-ish... Um, ready to march. Uh, Chaos Dwarfs that are currently busy fighting...
Maybe elsewhere. Should be fine. You ever consider making some legend merch t shirt hoodies and mugs? Uh, look, people ask me this kind of stuff all the time. Personally, I feel like that kind of stuff is trash. Um, I'm just not interested in over monetizing my audience. Like, what value is it to you really to have a Legend of Total War mug or a t shirt? Like, really? Um, I'm not opposed to doing it. I just can't be bothered. Like, if I was, if I was like super desperate for money, I'd probably do it. Right? Because it's, it's like a, a low intrusive way of making a bit of extra cash. But I just can't be bothered. <laughs> it's just, it just doesn't provide any, any long lasting brand value. So I just don't, I don't care. Are you a Legend of Total War fan? How can you prove it without this t unique t-shirt? Just, yeah. What ebbs. Where the fuck are their armies? Alright, we've got a bunch of money this turn, so let's build something. Upgrading this will reduce the upkeep cost for the clan rats and weapons team units by 5%, so that's good. Plus it'll provide a bit of extra relations with the other Skaven. And it will increase our income by 200. Or, over here, there's... Can't get that one. Oh no, this one here. That's 10 grand for 300. This one's definitely better. Public order here is good. This one here is going to stabilize. Yep, that's going to stabilize. That's good. Alright, well that seems good. Let's move on to the next turn. So, Imminent Rebellion. Sort that out and then I will... I'm going to have to... If I don't want to trespass on... His territory. I am revenging Seven turns, yeah. No. I'll have to come over here and then jump in the underway to get to the Black Crag. That's a good settlement for us. There's no gold there, though, in this. Probably because it's been moved to the Uzkul Mines. Gold over here. That's where he starts. That's his capital there. Groz Drung. Alright, let's start being me? friends with Tretch. Yes, yes. He may want to confederate soon, because I don't think... Ooh. Is that Crookback Mountain over there? Oh, nice. Look how it, like, sticks out like a... Like a... Like a ball sack. That could be a really good settlement for us to confederate with him. Okay, let's move on. Okay, cool. We've seen where one of their armies are. Of course, that is threatening our soon-to-be ally, Tretch Craven Tail. I really doubt he's going to be able to resist the Chaos Dwarfs there. YouTuber merchandise is cringe. Like it's it, it's up to each person if they want to buy something like that. I just don't think it provides a lot of value. Like, I might make a few extra bucks, but I don't know. I've always been of the opinion that the most valuable thing about being a YouTuber is having your audience's respect. And I try not to do anything that's going to damage that. Uh, the trust of your audience is the most important the trust and respect of your audience is the most important thing so like I can get away with like a little bit of cringe like I do some Skaven voice stuff and I can get away with that a little bit but if I like do a bathtub stream there's no coming back from that like you just lose people's respect And yeah, to each their own. That's really important. To each their own. Okay, we got a whole bunch more of these available. So we can 
That's a warlock engineer. Where's my plague priest? There we go. Okay, looks like we'll be in a pretty good position to attack them. would pay to see that sure you would and it'd be it's very short-term thinking you're taking a short-term pay but in the long term people won't respect you not worth it like what I'd make like a couple hundred bucks not worth it like if I was gonna make half a million dollars off it yeah I'd do a bathtub stream fuck that million half a million bucks I'd do it but you know no one's gonna pay that much for that Alright, so abandon that one. And we'll bring that up to tier 5 next turn. You should be able to reach that next turn. This one here is coming under public order, kind of. Let me just check my provinces, make sure I've got the right edicts on all of them. Yep, that's it. Okay, we need this one to be upgraded, because I need that extra food. Our max capacity is 190. Okay, what are... Oh, we just finished Monstrous Abominations. Good. Volatile plans. Awesome. So, extra food capacity and food per turn. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um... Karag Ziflin. Yep, that'll probably need to have extra defenses there because it is likely to get attacked again at some point. Okay, I've had a thought. Rather than waste another turn for Queek to sit here, because his, his army is costing more than two and a half thousand, right? Why don't we just get started counting over here? And this here, we'll just recruit a lord to go and, and occupy it. Wait a minute, I'm just going to reset his thing anyway. Save up the money because we're going to need it for Karag Mona when the next turn comes around. So I'm not exactly making lots of cash. Good, extra mobility. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, let's move on. You'd be surprised if HOS Saudi Royal would pay. Well, fuck, make me an offer. Make me an offer, send me an invoice, and we'll see. I'll think about it, you know? If there's any Saudi Royals in the chat that want me to do a bathtub stream for half a million dollars, by all means, get in touch with me. I somewhat doubt it. Like I said, I got a good thing going. I just make videos and do live streams every now and again. It, it's pretty good. I'm not looking to, um, to, like I said, over monetize my audience. I don't think it's worth it. I mean, just look at what Creative Assembly just did. They over they tried to over monetize their audience and they ended up losing money on it. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta be grateful for what you've got. Cause it can definitely it can definitely get a lot worse. Uh Coffee Master 66 to the Fighters Jet Legend of Manscape present, the brand new scave and warp grinder five thousand, the perfect cut shave shave. Just trust me. Yep. Thanks, Super Chat. Loyalty critical. Okay. 
all hail Hornet Rat. Lord of this place. Yes, yes. See ya. Oh, I love that that actually works. Alright. So there's another settlement that's at tier 5 for us. Awesome. Yeah, we don't have the money for that. But extra food generated and money will be good when time comes. Public order is under control. But then again, it's got military crackdown. We need to pop this down. And we need to get that. But I've run out of money. But I reckon I can get money when I declare war on these guys here. I'll offer to join... You smell stink, trusting. Perhaps treaty pad. Oh, yes! I hope this doesn't backfire on us. So sneaky. Okay, he's pretty happy with that decision. That's good. Life is easy, cheap. This way, way. Cool. No sign of them there. Targets. Yes. Alright, then we jump in the underway. That way we don't trespassing. Not that not that our minus four hundred and sixty <laughs> relations is going to be affected by that. But it's actually quicker distance to get there. To do it that way. All right, I did that. I was like, how do you get wounded? Okay, so this one over here, we need to fix up the public order here right away. Because the military crackdown is not going to last for very long. And so we need to we need to really get that under under control as quickly as possible. Alright, do the leveling up later. First time chatter, love the stream. I oh, thanks dude, glad you like it. Attack, die for honey rat. I just want to see if that hero can attach. Okay, he can. Who should be taken out? I think we should take out the Take out a rattling gun. Uh, sorry, a Gisele, because it's nearly a hundred gold extra per turn. Then again, long range is pretty important against Chaos Dwarfs. So I'll get rid of a rattling gun then. Hang on, that one's got experience. Get rid of this one. Because these guys here, we need them for... Need them to get, get leveled up. That's our uh, crowd, crowd control. Cool. The other guy getting his doom stack ready with the iron breakers and organ guns. It's fine, I can handle it now. Doesn't matter. Uh, should we auto this? Uh, I reckon the heroes will take the brunt of the damage. Attack die for Hornet Rat. Should be fine. <laughs> Shit. Uh, I'd love to sack it, but then we'll run out of movement. So, just tier one will be fine. It's gave a bit of play in Warhammer 2 or Warhammer 3. Uh, I actually think... Yeah, there we go. I actually think it's better in Warhammer 2 because... Secret kill. There's no there's no improvements to the Skaven in Warhammer 3. The settlements situation is not as good for them. The Winds of Magic situation is not as good for them. And also the aggressiveness of the enemy AI is not as good for them. So I think they actually play better in Warhammer 2. It's weird because, and also the way that food works 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 better for them in Warhammer 2. But it's not by a huge margin. Like you, they're, they're playable in Warhammer 3. It's fine. Okay, cool. So now, as we continue to rank up, we'll just keep getting more of those those followers, and that's going to be great. Don't need to go further down this line here. We just got volatile plans. That's good, but it takes ten turns, so that can wait. That can wait. Not important. Not important. Not important. Murder dissenters is probably a good idea. 
<laughs> the right to dissent is a privilege, not a right. You do not get to dissent just because you are a rat. <laughs> Virulent plans and be good. Yeah, let's head towards murder dissenters. It's important. So I had to take so at Karagnar, I think we should build this one here. Try to keep it under control long term. We've got a whole bunch of money, so we can invest more into this province here. This one, public order is fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. Maybe I'll just save up that money for next turn. Yeah. Let's move on. Please will Belega out of our misery in passing. I've still got a peace treaty with him, so I would lose reliability. And considering we want to confederate Tretch, not a good idea to lose reliability. Still can't believe this is an actual statement. Oh, yeah, that... I, that do you know what the funny thing is? Is that... I'm not surprised that they said that. I'm just surprised that they said that publicly. Because that has been my experience with them, basically. <laughs> Yeah. That was like, you saw their true colors with that. So it looks like the Chaos Dwarves either got beaten, I didn't quite see, or they're withdrawing from Clan Rictus to come and fight me. Sneaky infiltrator. Lextails, move. In the face to me. Uh, Far Center Watch became a member for nine months. Loving this mod. It makes Warmer 3 look challenging. Yep. Cool. Glad you like it. Thanks for the super chat. Uh, membership. Appreciate it. Good, good. Okay, make your way towards Black Crag, which they have a All decent amount of defenses there. Oh, uh, it shouldn't matter with our, our chieftains. It won't matter at all. Into under empire. Scary now, scary. Miss Camper, scary. Evrods, did I tend to super chat? Thanks for the literal days of free entertainment. I cancelled Netflix and put it into a YouTube membership. All of the FOTS videos lately slap. Cool. I'm, I'm glad you're liking them. They've been performing pretty well. Yeah, thanks for the super chat. Oh, we got to be careful about how we progress because of the chaos corruption. Right. Address me as Lord. Where the hell are their armies? Okay, one of their armies is at the Trail of Fangs. How does Tretch feel about me now? It's improving, slowly. Slowly improving. Yeah, what the hell is we with Clan Morkin? They like declare war and then they accept a peace treaty a couple of turns later. Play dumbasses. Would you ever stream historical Total Wars or streams of a fantasy series? Um, I, I usually stream Medieval 2 because it's fast paced. You gotta. You, the thing about streams is that you can't stuff around, right? You can't be sitting around not doing very much. So you gotta pick a Total War game that actually works well with the stream. So for example, Shogun 2, I don't think Shogun 2 works well with streams. I'm still trying to figure out, I've been playing some Shogun 2 streams to figure out like some really aggressive play styles, uh, but I really don't see anything that's gonna be overly excited because most of the time it's sitting around waiting for artillery. So I'm just not sure. We can't hear you. Cause like the Rome 1 live stream didn't do very well. Really badly, actually. Medieval 2 ones do fine. Not, nothing spectacular. 
So yeah, it's a bit of a weird thing that's going on at the moment where Warhammer live streams do do the best, but historical videos do better than the Warhammer videos. So it's, yeah, it's a bit weird. Still trying to figure this stuff out. I feel like I'm having to relearn YouTube or relearn the Total War community lately just because of the change of the, uh, this, uh, just what people want to see. Uh, Alright, we'll have to go with that. I foresee successes! Blue. Yeah, we need to get rid of this damn chaos corruption here. Hey, at least this generates a lot of food for us, so that's good. Don't disappoint me. Another great thing about the weapons team Doomstack is that it's not reliant on leadership. So when you've got really low um, food, it's fine. Actually, now that I think about it, whatever construction we did, I should probably hold off on. Listen to board. Yeah, hold off on this one because we're paying a lot extra for. Oh, oh no, it's fine. Just do it. Needs to be done. Okay, and let's move on again. Where the hell is Drazoath? I haven't seen him in ages. Where the hell did he go? Everyone TW says, if you got offered to do something in the Henry Cavill Amazon Worma 40k show, who would you want to be? This is not the first person to ask me that. Um, I would say the chances of that happening is literally 0%. <laughs> literally zero. Um, More things for my trophy. Okay, change of plans. We're going to declare going to fight him. Okay. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. I just came back from there. Why couldn't he declare war on me last turn? Yeah, so it's not something that I'm thinking of because it just I just can't see that ever happening. That's like, Legend, what would you do if a pot of gold just fell out of the sky and landed in your backyard? Well, that'd be awesome. That's not going to happen, though. I tried to get in touch with Henry Cavill back when he said that he was a fan of Warhammer 2. We, we, me and my wife, we tried to get in touch with him and it was, it was just not impossible. Understandably so. I mean, he's a huge, um, huge celebrity, and I'm just like, I'm nobody. Oh, and I can't even jump back here, you bitch tit. And you're going for Karak Ziflin too. Looks like we're gonna suffer our first defeat there. I could go straight for his fucking capital over here. See how he likes that. If I could get enough money together, I might be able to repel it. Because if we have a look at this. I am revenging. Yeah, I I could maybe pull a bit of bit of shenanigans and go straight for Grim Peak. Thing is, I would need a pretty good lord here to be able to defend it, and I think I've got a high-level warlock master. I think, he, yeah, I don't know if he'll be able to take some by himself though. Look how much attrition they take from the plague! Freaking ridiculously though. This pleases me. If I forced march over to here, I, I am revenge. What now? You can't ask this of me. A magic stick. Set tails to scamper match. No one beats 
with us quick. There could be another fucking army sitting right over here. I need to I need to have a quick look. Many kills today. Looks like I should be able to get there fairly safely. He may turn around and attack us while we're in force march. Quick will come for you. That's the only thing I can hope for. I think not. Because now he's he's trapped between here. I might be able to get back to Karag's. So if he occupies it, I might be able to catch up to him. We definitely don't want him getting to Karag Yar. At least, at least I've built some defenses here. So I should be able to repel him. Because that is. That's not a big deal. Soon kill. My will win. Nasty poison. Where the fuck is Drowsaworth? For the thirteen. Yes, yes. He must be like somewhere really weird. Like he went way north or something. Maybe he's over here. Yeah, he must be stuck in here somewhere. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully he turns around and tries to attack us here. Because I'm pretty confident I can beat him. But I reckon he's just going to go for Karak Ziflin because he's a bitch. He chose a pretty good time to declare war though, I'll give him that. He, he wasn't really going to get a better option. Actually, if he waited another turn, that would have been, been even better, because he would have been able to get further in without me uh, intercepting. Okay. Not much more I can do there. Oh, that is good. I want that. Rick just killed his army before. Mm, that strength ranking applies. He's got other armies out there. My, my right. Not gonna put it in settlements that we're gonna capture really soon. That would be silly. Okay, let's move on. Why not throw a lord with some regiments of renown in that settlement? Um, because that settlement is of extremely low value. If they attack that settlement, who fucking cares? It's just it's just not worth pumping ten grand in to try to defend it. If they sometimes losing a battle is actually better than winning a battle. Like if you think about this, if you lose a settlement that's of no value whatsoever compared to saving the settlement but like bankrupting yourself. And I managed to, uh, I managed to, it worked, it worked, never mind. I think this auto resolve wins. Time for things to die, die. <laughs> so, didn't need to spend any money. Just need to spend a lot of lives. And that's fine, because I'll get them back. Meet Mulder with that Engi, engineer. Oh, that's a long distance to travel. Sun Tzu would give up territory just to leave his foes into a trap. Yeah, thing is, in Warhammer 3, I tend to get into these situations where I get to, like, turn 30 or something, and I haven't lost a single battle, which is the case here. I haven't lost a single battle. I think. I'll have to check my statistics, but I don't recall having lost a battle so far. And once you've gone a certain distance in a campaign without having lost a battle, it makes you want to go even further without losing a battle. Even if the battle is pointless to win. Like, not a big deal.
I'm really surprised that that auto resolve went that well. And then look at this, we're able to get the delay of Sora straight away. And the damage is just, just non existent, really. Alright, I can get to Grolz Drung. There are 13 units plus 6. So 19 units versus our 20. A little bit low on Winds of Magic, because this region sucks. Do they? Oh, they've got the fucking Mega Mortar shit. So how many are you going to have? Like two? I'll need to really pay attention to that. Agrees. Yeah, I could do it. Let's go. Do we have... I can actually push this to tier 5. It'd be worth 17,000 if I sack it. It'd be worth a lot to loot it as well. Mm. Let's see how the battle goes. If I get... If I do the battle and barely take any damage, then I'll sack it and just attack it again next turn. But if I get fucked up, then I will just I'll occupy it. So when it comes to Vectik the Unstoppable, he has never lost a battle. So let's ensure that we don't lose here. Let's go. Now, they've got Dreadquakes, which means they will use them straight away. But we, we've got to be mindful of it. So, spreading out, stay back, keep an eye out, and as soon as that big bloody circle goes, move out of the way. They've got two of them. Now, what they could also do is send their flying units to pin us down. And then use the Dreadquakes. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So I think a Dreadquake takes between 45 seconds and 90 seconds for the first shot. Something along those lines. So... These ones here, come over here. This is where we'll make our attack. Now these guys... Stand back, but I'm going to take them off the, the crew. Go nice and wide. Because it's like dealing with the bloody Skaven nuke with this. We just have to wait until it pops down. And as soon as we see that circle, we um, we move. So that'll happen at around 45 seconds or 90 seconds. I can't remember which. There it is, there it is. Move, 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 move. Tiny little bit of damage, but that's okay. Cool, cool, cool. That, that was pretty good. They also use the thing over there. That's no big deal. Okay, back into formation. All right, the next one should be about a minute from now. Keep my eye open for it. Any second. Maybe I don't really know how long these cooldowns take, but there should be one more. There it is. Oh, shit. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, man, I really screwed that up. Move, move, move. Yeah. I screwed that up with the old drag. It's okay. Minimal damage is done. It's not so bad. One of my guys got killed, though. All right. It's all good. It's all good. That's the end of that. It's all good. 
but yeah, I, I screwed that up a little bit. I should have just calmly moved, as opposed to just click anywhere, because they went in a bad direction. It's all good. It's all good. Minimal damage done. We lost one rat. And now, it's my turn. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see. How should we go about this? We should probably take out quite a few of these towers. Probably these four here. Yeah, that'll allow us to bring in the poison wind mortars to thin them out as well. Don't fire at will. Okay, let's get started. Good. The shots hitting here are also hurting those hobgoblin archers. That's nice. Good. Any extra damage that we can do to them while taking out these towers is, is just bonus. Fucking bloody dipshit. Move back. to shoot that what 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 are they doing <laughs> what are they doing come on you you're within range why aren't you shooting could use the ult i suppose they took one shot at it and then were like yeah that's enough no you have to destroy it utterly i'll try this this might get them to shoot it a little bit better Uh, that's that's good enough. It's not super efficient, but at least they're shooting at it. You gotta love how bugs from Warhammer 2 are still present in the game, though. With these two towers here gone, we have a clear area here, like a blind spot, that we can bombard them from. We can bring Vectik in because he has Plague. Got a decent amount of Winds of Magic, we should be able to do some damage. Their gun units are fairly, uh, fairly short range, so they're not going to do anything to us. Okay, let's bring the artillery in a bit closer. Cool, cool, cool. Bring this one in as well.
<coughs> Excuse me. Cool, just try to cover bomb wherever we can to inflict some extra damage with the plague claw catapults. Chazale down the Lamasu. Yes, that's a good idea, dude. Good thinking. Oh, sorry, excuse me. It's getting a bit late. Oh, tired. I think I got a little bit too close there. Alright, decent amount of damage done with the artillery. It's decent. Alright, quit it. Stop dodging me. <laughs> Damn it. Did we... Uh, we get a few shots in. I don't have um, Howling Warp Gale yet. Alright, let's bring Vectik in a little bit closer and start using some Plague. I think he can get a couple hundred kills. Still got these as well. Oh, motherfucker, using... Magic on me. How dare you? <laughs> Good, that one plague there deleted. A, a trash unit, but still. Taking that out like it was nothing. Move back. Okay, actually. I can use plague on the wall, and it would be good to get rid of these guys. Good. Slaughtering them with plague. Still a really good spell. Ah, oh, it's a fucking hell cannon. Move back. At least the hell cannon's gone away for a little bit. That's good. Not really. Our tail's yours. Damn it. Something that would miss. Yeah, I can't seem to get a clean shot in there with the um, 
with the Gisales. That was an alright hit. Master Envoy! Mark Scurry, yes! I see all all. Good, now kill! I mm, hope that does alright, doesn't look amazing. Yeah, they kind of dodged that spell. Whoops. Oh, well. Okay, these guys back over here. It really would be good if... We could get rid of these flying units. Raven Team Army bad for sieges? No, I, th I think we can manage. Just gotta know how to use them. It's not super easy. But I think we're managing. Order Resolver said we'd lose the battle. And I think we're winning. The bounce, I mean, the playing Skaven music. Really good number of kills on Vectic so far. Poison Wind Mortars seem to be doing pretty well. Yeah, two of them would have been pretty good for this battle for sure. But that's what we got. I think we're managing. Because we outnumbered them by one unit and most of their army's gone now. Once again, bring these ones in a little bit closer. I've got to try to shoot down these flying units. Just get a good angle on these damn flying units. One thing I could do is start bashing down the gate and maybe try to shoot down the line this way. That could work. There's a few heroes in the army as well, in the garrison. They're not going to be able to shoot from that close range. Let's see, it looks like they're going to walk straight into that. These Chaos Dwarf Warriors, that's a really good hit. Nice. 
Because that's a high value unit. This one, Hobgoblin Cutthroats. Uh, good for in there. Looks like they're about to walk straight into it. Some army losses right now would be pretty good, I think. What's that aiming for? Get me back. Good, that's a miss. when he did nearly 20,000 in damage. Not too bad for its first battle. Ugh. Freaking hell cannon. I just don't have anything I can use to get at that. No, 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 no. I didn't want to do that. Oh god, that's one wins of magic cheaper. <laughs> Move back. That one's used up all the time. Now move back. Okay. Well, this is the hard part because we don't really have good melee units at all. I got no summons because these are all low levels, and we somehow have to manage to get in here and capture the settlement. <laughs> How are we going to manage that? Was what we got. I've got a little bit of Winds of Magic left. Can't you summon rats from heroes? Yeah, but I'm low on winds of magic. Shit. Alright, this one here, I'm gonna try to use it to draw some of the hell cannon fire. Because I think we're really close to the army losses for them. Because I can't, I can't make use of my bloody warp block Jezels and rattling guns in this fight. Yeah, let's keep trying to break this one down. I think they're gonna walk right through that. Good. I've got one more cast. Good, that unit is just deleted. Nice. So I've got to try to get rid of the ammunition on that damn hell cannon. If I want to bring units over here to shoot through here. Good, we can... How many shots do they have left? Like 20? 11. Okay, that's not many. Broken, good. Ooh, big hit. Okay, move back. Try and spread out the casualties as much as possible. Okay, you move up next. I gotta get rid of the hell cannon shot because they can still get rid of a lot of my um, my units here. Untouched Chorf Warrior on the right. Not important. We can outrun that one. It's not a, not an important unit. It's more important to take out the faster units. Oh god, that one unit took out. One shot took out that much. Yeah, we gotta take out the fast units because otherwise these ones here can just go around capping stuff, no problem. So why we gotta take out the flying units and the faster goblin units? That's why I've been focusing on them. The dwarf warriors, we can just outrun them. I'm 
very hard to dodge hell cannon shots, but... You know, I've only got a little bit of ammo left on these guys here anyway. So in terms of bounce of power, they're not worth much. Was it five shots left? Yep, five shots. Three shots, I think, remain. One more shot. Is that it? Just one more. Alright, good. No more Hell Cannon. Alright, that means the Gisales should have no problem taking these guys out. Using up all of their ammunition to take out the Lamasu, I think it'd be worth it. There shouldn't be any more archers left, so this... They shouldn't have anything that can deal with them. Just gotta get within range. That's not worth shooting, don't worry about that. Alright, let's get a Giselle over here and try to shoot at anyone that walks past this area. That's working out pretty well. Good. Good. Dishing out good damage there. Good to get it working. Good. That's a high value unit getting taken out really cheaply. Guys, fucking love and shop server. We're almost done. We get a shot off on them every now and again. It's better than nothing. This has taken a lot longer than I thought it would. This is a high value win for us, if we can manage it. Alright, let's get a rattling gun over here, put it out the front. That'll be uh, way higher DPS. Okay, if we just do a little bit more damage to them, the chieftains can probably beat them in melee. damage we do to him is definitely going to be of high value. We move up this way.
Yeah, I, I do need to get rid of this, I think, because it is shooting at us. Oh, look, look, these guys coming in. Rattling gun. And that was a gigantic mistake on their part. <laughs> That's what you want to see. Good, Bale Taurus. Gone for nothing. Okay, that one gone, that's good. That makes it easier for us to stay here. Or if I could just get rid of this fucking thing. They're on guard mode, but they just keep moving forward. There's really not much left. Okay, let's send in the chieftains now. If they want to send this one to land on us, it should be fine. Um, I'm gonna, oh wait, this is still taking damage, but this will move back. See that there's a, um, a blunderbuss that hasn't moved this entire battle. I'm going to bring this one inside the settlement and start shooting at that with some cover from these two. Yeah, it's time to get the win. So what are they doing? Now the Masus are not great in combat, they don't have good, good stats. And there's the army losses. Cool. We won. Oh, we gotta get rid of the Hell Cannon though. trying to run away from us. Good stuff. Is it cheese to dodge missiles? It's cheese to win. If you're winning, you're cheesing. If you want to, if you want to not cheese, what you need to do is lose every single battle, even if the balance of power is in your favor. That's the only way to ensure that you're never cheesing. Always lose. And that way, you've got the satisfaction. You can sleep tight, knowing that you are not a cheeser. Just lose your campaigns every single time. <laughs> Maybe it's a dumb question, but why not put weapons teams on the walls? You actually can't. They can't go up on the walls. Well, that's a good win against... against Drazoweth there. But that's his capital that we've just captured. So... I'd love to sack it. But I know that we'll take attrition, essentially. So I, I need to just regular occupier. At tier 5, obviously. Still got a good amount of money from that, though. But we're in the red again. That's okay. 
Uh, yeah, we can keep that there. We need to make sure we got this and this. Chaos corruption does not cause us public order problems, but it's... It's fine. A revolt is due soon. And, yeah, we'll recover pretty quickly. The loss of Winds of Magic definitely hurts us. What happened to the army that was out here? Hey, <laughs> fuck, there was an army out here. Where'd it go? Okay. And then we've got Queek. Should be able to auto this. But I'm not sure. Kill no first. Oh yeah, we can order that. That's fine. We're definitely not in a position to level this up, so just um Occupied at tier one should be fine. Hey, I claim this for flat. Got a few potion healings now, that's good. Where no furs. Holy Holy true vengeance will <laughs> Uh, it's obstinate till the end. Yeah, next turn we'll be able to jump over here, and that'll just basically be the end of him. Okay, got an idea. This is not an overly important unit, and this unit here provides a, a small amount of replenishment. So, let's bring him in as well. We'll make the jump. That way we'll be pretty much at full strength. Public order there is about to maintain... Still got issue with this over here. Leave me. I what if I offered to join to war against the Crimson desires. Skull for a non-aggression pact? Because I just really want them to leave me alone. What's the other one? The Bog... I think I've got a peace treaty with them. Yeah, I just really want him to leave me alone right now. I got bigger fish Very to fry. Well. Okay, we've got a lot of money, but we've also got big construction costs right now, so we should probably just wait it, except for the essential things. And try to get our food back up. Like, that's... That's 30,000... Sorry, 3,000 gold more expensive than it should be. So we can, we can wait on that. See? Many stone vermin between me and you, you! Now make three yes, yes. Okay, relation heading up to 63, that's good. Might even get a chance to confederate him soon. Maybe. Because I don't think he's gained any territory in a while. That's not overly expensive, so paying 30% extra for that's not that big of a deal. Let's do it. Okay, and tech. Let's go with this, because we want to head up that way. And we can get a little bit more with Envoy of the Council, that's good. Windsor Magic Power Reserve Capacity plus 13. Remember when it was fucking... <laughs> oh my god, I'm glad they've changed this stuff. Uh, increasing reserves right now doesn't make sense while it's declining in Windsor Magic. Too weak to betray. <laughs> I think what we should do is instead get ambush success chance. Yep, extra ammo will be good. Yeah, that's good. Yep, this is important. We need frontline units as much as possible. And then let's level him up. Oh, this one Four needs to go... Um, Barak Var, why not? Hmm. Alright, leveling up quick. Good, that'll save us a fair bit of cash. And... Let's make him stronger. 
Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Rendon Slaughter might be a little bit better. This one's immortal. That's good. Save up that money. We should get a little bit of food next turn. No need to repair that. And let's move on. Oh, hang on. Is there any more? No, nothing special there. Cool. Let's move on. How unrelenting of an enemy are Skaven? In Warhammer 3, they're... Uh, it depends on how you play, really. If you're not good at the game, they'll probably feel really unrelenting. If you are good at the game, they're probably not that big of a deal. So it's going to vary depending on who you ask. I smell you, you. I am super. I just got peace with them, so no. Assassinations. Legend, when you get to plus one command when attacking or defending, what does that state actually do? Are you talking about um, Fall of the Samurai? I believe command just provides extra morale for your units in certain situations. I think that's all it does. Which is useful if you've got low morale units, but if your unit was going to fight to the death anyway, then it's not that big of a deal. I think it also helps in order resolve. These are some fine things that I don't know, to be honest. I, I never really mastered Shogun 2. I just didn't play it enough to master it. Like, I'm okay at it. But I just, I never mastered it, I think. Are we at no defeats? Oh, this is so not Skaven. <laughs> Why did you should try the old world mod? It's so hard, I bet you'll lose. <laughs> Nobody said that, by the way. Except for me. Quick moves. All are off, my guys. For the thirteen. Yes, yes. God, I want to go into channeling stance or something, but I don't want to be taking attrition. Right, I'm gonna move Stand up forward. in in camp stance. Because yeah, if we fight them out in the, if they feel like they want to have a fight, me, I don't think that's gonna attack me. Yeah, I, I doubt it. That is garbage. We would rip them to absolute shreds. That is not gonna work for him at all. You can trust faith. Look at my long, lengthy, many segmented tail. If we Make want to get a confederation, strong oath, we have to do broke. big gifts. Good, good. How many settlements does he have? Two. Let me have a look at the settlement here. Rictus Great Clan Hall. Yeah, it's pretty good. Income generated, food generated. I like that. I would like that. Very late to stream, what does this map mod do? It's, a, it's like a whole new campaign map. 
It's really good. I, I can't believe they actually managed to do this. The fact that you can actually change the map in Total War Warhammer, which modders have struggled with for years now, is very impressive. So, for example, all of this here is Karak 8 Peaks. All of it. There are eight settlements in Karak 8 Peaks. And the same sort of thing happens in Clan Mulder, which is all the way... That's, um, Brass Keep. Alright. That there is Hell Pit. That there. And I think it's nine settlements for Hell Pit. Alright. Our finances are still... Oh, sorry, our food's still in bad shape, so... Maybe hold off on the construction this turn. Let's just have a look at the worst public order offenders. So, Groz Drung is the worst, and it's going to revolt in three turns. We need to get some defenses down there immediately. And if I don't tax it, that buys us a little bit more time. Okay. Drazuath the Ashen's got to be somewhere around here. So he's going to pop up and like capture a minor settlement and be like, oh, I got to win on you, legend. Because I can't find where his fucking army is. There is no way that all that bounce power was tied up there. There's no way. I have no idea where he is. Oh, well, let's move on. Oh cool, so it's just a map overhaul, or is there gameplay stuff as well? I think there's some minor gameplay tweaks. I've been noticing a few changes to Clan Wars. Just, just minor ones, nothing that changes anything in any significant way. Uh, but you can always just add more mods to it. I imagine that, there's, I think there's a decent possibility that SFO will become compatible with this. I don't see why not. Since SFO mostly just changes stats and things, um, I don't see why you couldn't also have SFO for this. What causes corruption? Oh shit! Sorry. Uh, what causes corruption in Medieval Two? Okay, the primary factor of corruption is distance from capital. That's the main factor. Now the adjusting factor is um, law. So if you have a character that's providing negative law, then it's going to increase in corruption. So building things like um, town halls and barracks, things that provide law, will reduce corruption by a percentage. So, for example, if you... The maximum corruption is, I think, 80%. Based on distance to capital, 80. So as far away as what you possibly can be in terms of that penalty. So if you then have no law, you'll have 80% corruption, I think. I'm not sure what the exact percentage is. But if you get, I think, about 100 law, that completely gets rid of all corruption, regardless of how far away the capital is. However, 100 law is practically impossible in vanilla, but in stainless steel, it's, it is possible. Hmm... I mean, I've got other things going on. No. Legend, don't you need rest? Uh, soon. Soon. I'm okay. I'm having fun. Don't tell me to sleep. <laughs> don't disappoint me, me. Hmm, public order. Improved dramatically there. That's good. Thing is, I want to occupy this, which will cause a revolt immediately. We got additional 13 units of trash. That's not going to matter. I don't think it's going to matter. All right, well, this ends the race for Karak Peaks, which had already been ended, but this conclusively finishes it off. See ya. See ya. You're out of here. That's his last settlement. He is done.
Ooh, I'm gonna snap my kick all that. Challenge me, me! Good stuff. Alright. That should be the end of him, right? Clan Angren's done. So yeah, the three of the three factions vying for Karak 8 Peak, only Clan Moors remains. Now, I really want to fight this battle here, but I'm not sure if I want to sack it or loot and occupy. Because if I loot and occupy, it will cause a revolt straight away. I could just put some regiment of renown in there. Plus, it's actually got a pretty strong garrison unit in there. But that also might mean strong... Yeah, yeah, it's not that big of a deal. I got, I got money. Let's do this. Oh, it's playing Chaos Dwarf music. Valiant Defeat. Why is it saying Valiant Defeat? Alright, what are we dealing with here that, that we should be worried about? How fast are their units? What's the map look like? Um, Sly did a membership for 43 months. Good to catch... Yeah, this will be fine. Uh, good to catch the tail end of a stream here. Hope all is well and you have a good holiday. Thanks for all the hard work throughout the year. No, it's my pleasure. Hope you guys have a good holiday as well. What is chirping in the background of your Rube campaign? Probably a bird. Okay, the map's not as good as I thought. That slope is not ideal. Oh, but this is way better. Okay. Alright, Vectik. Time for you to keep your namesake and be unstoppable. Sight for these guys seems pretty good. They do have some fast units. If they come around this way, that could be a big problem. So make sure we got a plague priest over there ready to hold them off. I'll move this one over here just in case. So they would have overcasted that, and I'm pretty sure they only had 20 wins of magic, so that was a big waste of magic for them. Playing Chaos Dwarf music, and they're going wide, which is not ideal. Was talking Shogun 2? Oh, right, uh, that's, yeah, that's a little bit different. It's just based on the number of settlements you've got. That's it. Okay, that doesn't hurt us too much. We're 45 range, so they're 130. Good, we can deal with that. These guys here are going to get wrecked. That's a that's a good start for us and very bad for them. That was that was never going to work for them. Oh, 
Man, overcasting that is just wasting all your magic. Fine by me. Alright, if that one leaves the battlefield, that'll be good. Okay. Start slowing down whatever flanks we possibly can. Yep, they are sending someone over here. So what we want to do here is try to have them come at us in waves and disrupt them as much as possible. So good. Big distractions everywhere. Yeah, we got this. We got it. Everything's fine. They did, didn't really even get close. And there's the army losses. Absolute slaughter. They barely did any damage to us at all. How they sneaky get to get 100 kills? Oh, uh, it would be against um, uh, summons. 
Yeah, because I tried to tie them down. Uh, I don't know how much movement we've got, so just lose the fight. That'll definitely cause a revolt, so we need to make sure we've got an army ready to put a stop to that straight away. Good. Hmm, okay. He smells. I don't think we'll be able to hold on to that settlement. We should probably sell it to um, to Rictus, but that will also make it take a lot longer before they'll confederate. Not that big of a deal. Because that's that frontier essentially sorted. We need to recruit a character in here to hold back whatever revolt is coming. So just grab a handful of these for now. If they make the attack right away, we'll be able to beat it. Just need to hold off until Vectik gets here. Too weak to betray. <laughs> Good, he's generating winds of magic again. Good stuff. Cool, cool, cool. Campaign's looking pretty healthy at the moment, I think. It is a little bit more expensive than it should be, but mm, maybe I'll... Maybe, actually, you know what? Upgrading this might be of more value, because that is 400 extra gold, extra relations with Skaven, reduced upkeep cost, and income from stacking and looting settlements. And then this one... Oh, we're not high enough level for that. That one has got... Yeah, that's good. That one's shit. That's not worth getting at all. Okay, cool. And let's move on to the next turn. Let me just check some some diplomacy, see if there's anything going on. I I must manifest I offered to join war against them. To get a uh, non-aggression pact with Caravan of Blue Roses, now I'll, I'll get a peace treaty. If he's got a problem with that, he shouldn't have signed a treaty with Skaven. I have altered the deal. Pray I don't alter it any further. I am in need of more husks for my hordes. There was no public order problems in that province. Because I didn't capture something from the province. Right, of course. Um, Warlock, master of scratch. I'm tired, alright? Eight hours, I can make mistakes. Uh, you're absolutely right. That just doesn't need to be there. <laughs> it, it, yeah, it didn't need to be there. And I can tax it. Because this one will make its way down here next turn to... Um... Yeah, yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah, my bad. Thanks, dude. Thanks. Yeah, it's, uh, even though I shouldn't have spent that money, would have cost even more if I had paid them over the end turn. Silly, silly, silly. Any reason for not allocating skill points that are available? Oh, hey, Anthony Lorenzen. Uh, just laziness. Like, just don't really need to do it right now. That's all. Just yeah, I'm just getting lazy. Yeah, just, just laziness.
I have no idea where Drazoath is. I've been trying to keep an eye out for him for ages. He's just he must have just went wandering somewhere ages ago and he hasn't made his way back yet. I know the battle AI has always been lacking, but I found it too trivial to continue my campaign when I realized every battle AI would march in a column for no reason. Yeah, fair enough. I've definitely seen that, and we've seen it in this campaign as well. Um, what can you do? Squad, your fear terror. They may actually want to confederate soon. Because they're just some crappy minor faction. Has he ever done a Skaven Slaves campaign? No, it doesn't sound like fun. I think it's really important, especially with Warhammer 3, to try to have fun. So doing like these ridiculous challenge campaigns, they don't impress anyone because the game's not fundamentally that difficult. And they just end up not being fun, so they end up getting burnt out. Yep, this campaign is going great. Cool. I think we're going to call it a day there because we're at eight hours into the stream and I'm starting to make mistakes because I'm, I'm pretty tired. Basically, what, what happens when you've been playing for this long is that you stop noticing things. Like, for example, that public order. Like, that would have been very easy to notice if I had even thought to check. Um, to, to start to get sloppy. So, good time to take a break. Alright, let's go see if anyone else wants a host. Just bear with me here. I just need to see what's available. Who's available to stream. Ah, uh, to, to raid. Just give me a second. I'll check if anyone's requesting it in the creator network. Uh, no requests there. Alright, let's have a look on YouTube. Who is live streaming, if anyone? Yeah, there's a few people live streaming. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Who should we track the host over to? I think we'll chuck it over to Teapot, Tom and Total War. Because I have definitely hosted Radiant Ash relatively recently. Yeah, we'll chuck it over to Teapot, Tom. Alright. Really appreciate all the support today, guys. I really enjoyed this stream. This is the last live stream for this year. So, I might stream January 1st, who knows. But the next live stream will be probably in January sometime. There's still going to be plenty of videos. So, don't forget to check them out. Uh, but yeah, have a safe and happy holidays. And I will see you in the new year. Anyway, later guys. See you next time.